good shoot there. Yeah, banger. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome right back to Owls 1 Arena Top 8. How are you all doing? Throw some ones in chat ones. if you want to see, um, I don't know, hype gameplay or something. What, what I'm Popstar. Chat, I'm here with my co coms uh, Hey, it's me, Ribbit. How are you? What's up? I'm glad to be here with uh, with Popstar, Tom, the boys, as one. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. To be here. It's been a great event so far. I've been oh, loving, really enjoying it. Fantastic. It's, been I've a lot like, fun. it's hard to like keep up with the bracket and play, but I've seen some pretty yeah. wacky stuff happen so There's far. There's been some upsets and stuff, yeah. Have you been watching the Amiibo cockfight? Well, I say <laughs> cockfight, but it's just a tournament. But it's basically Amiibo cockfighting. It's great. I, I've not been watching the it's Amiibo cockfight. I won't lie. Yeah, there's been a lot of upsets. We got the, the modded switch, the clean, clean modded switch. Yeah, I really, shout, I really shout like Shout out to Jazz Pikmin yeah, for that one. That's really, really solid work on that. And it's like not too much, you know? You see some modded stages and it's like bright neon purple yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You're like, come on, man. But no, this is tasteful. This is fine. Oh, oh, we got the Tekken intro. That's that's, that's kind of nice as hell. Right, we're getting into this first game. We got pa Palu, Palu, Pyramithra. <laughs> I'm not really sure how these matchups go. You probably know better than I do. Yeah, uh, so I mean, like, Kahal and, uh, oh, sorry, Selkie and Snook have a long history of going long, back long and long forth history. with... Uh, and not so much recently, actually. In this year, or this past year, the, the record's been very Selkie favored. I think, uh, I think oh, the last seven, time, it's yeah. been seven old Selkie in recent history. Seriously. But historically, always back and forth, but not in recent in recent times. Yeah, because I, I remember they used to play the Palu Ditto back and forth, like, literally all the time. Yeah. But I think it's a combination of, like, one, there's a bit more competition in Ireland now, you know. Th oh, these yeah. two aren't, oh, yeah. like, the shoe-in for grand finals. Anything yeah. could happen. Yeah, there was a period of time in Ireland where, like, just these two were just going to meet. If it wasn't winners' finals, it was grands. Or, like, it was going to happen very, very late in the bracket. Oh, literally, yeah. Well, there's been so many good players coming out, like, like Dimitri, Cullum even. Um, like my call pops off every now and then. Like there's yeah, a lot. There's a uh, creeper constable running the place for a while. Like <laughs> Ireland's really leveled up. Like there's a huge amount of uh, top level competition. No big time. So I mean now we can get into some uh, matchups that are a little bit more interesting. The Palu Ditto. We got Aegis <laughs> versus Palu on the screen here. Now I don't know. I feel like if you're Mifra and you're like trying to play like that classic anti Palu, you know, stay grounded with punish Nair, that kind of stuff. Like, what better character could you ask for in a character like Mithra, you know? Uh, Mithra's just got it all, don't they? They've got a very complete kit. Obviously, having the two characters to go between, having a lot of different options with that. Uh, being really able to control the pace of the game as well. There's two characters that play at such a different pace, mm. you know? So they can really, they've got a lot of pace-making ability. But this is Palu we're talking about. There, Palu is, Ooh. and will always remain, like a very, very strong character, you know? Oh, as definitely. much as people like to say that they fall it off. They are strong still options. really, really strong tool set on, the, on that character. My, my eyes could be deceiving me, but I think Snook actually saved Selkie there. Going for the down tilt two frame when it wasn't strictly necessary, popping him back up into range. Uh, Snook is going to take the stock at the very least, but he's got a bit of work to do here. Yeah, he's got he's got a lot of percent to build up here quickly. Palu can do it, so it's not impossible. Yeah, true. And I mean, I, start the socks I, I know it's like memed on a lot, but like edge guarding Aegis, especially for a character like, you know, Dara knows what to do in those situations. He's not going to drop that kind of stuff. So if yeah. Selkie like, you know, maybe gives up a jump a bit too early, gives up an air dodge, you could spell curtains, but it's going to be curtains for Dara off that second stock. One thing I will definitely give Dara credit for is he is very next level when it comes to edge guarding. He's one of the best players in Ireland, I think, at, at going for edge guards because I've, his success rate, he doesn't always try to, but he has, when he does, he knows. You know, like yeah, he, he really, definitely. he always picks what he thinks is going to, like, is the best option, you know? He'll that was stay absolutely for the, fantastic. He'll look for the two frame or he'll look for the ledge trap if he thinks it's better, but if he knows he can get the edge guard, he will take it every day of the week. And it's, it's, it's actually really funny, like that last interaction there with the um, Blazing Edge or whatever. Mm. Like, that that's like the Palu thing Kahal like pioneered and has been doing yeah. for ages. And now he's just doing it again with Pyra yeah, and like obviously Snook's gonna know how to pick that one up. Yeah. So actually getting himself a bit of a lead here. It's not looking too bad for Big D. Yeah, this is a very even game now. Considering he was down an entire stock, I believe he just, I think he went uh, whole stock down like unanswered on, and now he's after bringing it all the way back. So that's very impressive. Yeah, big time. And I mean, it's it's going to be like did you a see little bit of business as usual. Did you see he just dashed underneath the Blazing Edge? Did you see that? <laughs> they they, yeah, but they really know the, these these characters. Like, they know what's going on. Like, the spacing that is being played is, like, crazy. Exactly. And it's it's so important, too, because, like, if you know, ex like, what's the easiest way to counterplay something? Or, like, in other words, like, oh, oh my God. What a crazy go Going here. straight through the up air. No shark I for you I was not today. ready for that. Yeah. Catching Dara trying to play greedy just spikes him down into the... No, not at all. Jesus.
A seriously, that was brutal. Seriously, seriously mm. good play from Kaho. Um, like, I, I always feel when I'm watching Pyro Mithra, you get so used to watching the Mithra just like tap people, tap, tap. They don't feel like they do that much. And then you just get those meaty hits from Pyro. Like, it just, it's, it's pretty crazy. I'm never ready for it. <laughs> but, but that's the thing, though. Like, the quick switch enables setups like that to be, like, so much more effective versus, yeah. like, you know, you look at, like, PT or whatever, yeah. and switching could be quite a commitment. Yeah, Whereas, absolutely. you know, the, the Aegis switch will conserve your momentum, it'll keep you going, it's not really a resource, so you're not, like, really stuck. It can be punished, for sure. I, I definitely feel, as a former PT player, I do like the way that their switch works better. I like the, the feeling that um, you're always supposed to be, like, constantly changing your character for better options in the situation. Yeah, Whereas definitely. You, it's not as, like, fluid like that with PT, so I really like the design. Uh, for Pyramithra. I think it's really, really uh, neat and interesting. Uh, I'm a fan as well, but I mean, devastatingly, you know, it removes that uh, potential drawback of fast kill confirm characters of, mm. you know, not really having so much stray hits, because if you can get the positional win and then switch into Pyra, get that stray hit, get that meaty down air, that meaty fair, yeah. just that, like, really strong edge guarding hit, you can really, like, circumvent that problem of fast characters, you know? Mm, absolutely. Mostly the tunes are on point. What are these tunes? Yeah, Who made this playlist? Whoever's, really on the, whoever's on the, whoever's connected up, like, is, knows what's <laughs> going on, like, yeah. I feel like I'm at a sesh or something, like. <laughs> but it was a big thing. I think it was, like, community collaboration. So everybody mm. threw in a few songs, you know. I believe Caden yeah. put the set I even together. threw in some songs, because I, I remember I threw a song into the Discord. I didn't think anything of it. And then I heard it earlier. It was uh, Ground Zero Funk from Tekken 5. Oh, And I was nice, like, oh, no nice. way. It's in it. Like, yeah. So the tunes are absolutely on point. Yeah, it's good to see. We got the uh, As One, like, proprietary setup now. Mm, yeah, it's awesome. I'm, I'm a big fan of this uh, custom setup we've got going for As One. Obviously, As One, you know, very high level of production. Celtic Throwdown. Yeah, fantastic. Carrying Dublin for literally mm. as long as I can remember. Are you ready for Celtic Throwdown? Are you as excited as I am for that? Oh, I'm dude, so it's, it's going to be so good. Like, as a competitor, terrified, of course, but it's going to be absolutely fantastic. It's always such a good time and mm. such a good atmosphere. Yeah, for anyone that watching that uh, isn't too familiar with Ireland's um, and As One, uh, we're having a, Ireland's essential super major in, a, is it a month's time? September 24th? I believe September twenty yeah. fourth. September twenty yeah. fourth. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be so fun. My yeah. like one of my like life highlights is uh, CT two thousand nineteen, where like all the dra top Dragon Ball players were there, and I got to watch oh, like, high level yeah, Dragon Ball. Oh yeah, of course. Didn't Daigo come to one of them? Daigo was there too. I watched Daigo. Oh, play. that's it was, so sick. I watched man. Sonic Fox versus Goichi in Ireland. I was just <laughs> like, am I even living like like this is in Ireland? Like so yeah, definitely go to CT. Check it out on the, the September twenty fourth. Definitely. Um. And yeah, as one always putting on a show. But speaking of putting on a show, Selkie not slowing down here. Oh yeah, nice, nice whatsoever. back air there to catch the uh, the neutral get up. I think they got up and held shield, but they let go and just got back air. And I mean, it's, it's interesting too, because like you could almost like the, the way I think about it is, you know, s both Snook and Selkie parallel like different ways of thinking about the game. Selkie's creative guess-based advantage state, whereas Snook is like. Heavy, rinse and repeat, stay safe, stay optimal. He really likes to take what's guaranteed. He's very, very, like, doesn't wants to take that, you know? Absolutely, but I mean, you can see some drawbacks here. Like, you know, he's, a he's able to make this back now, but unless he, like, really pulls ahead of a momentum, it kind of seems like he's trailing a lot of the time Ooh. and just always trying to make it back, you know? Yeah, having a creative play style is definitely helpful in the sense that uh, it creates leads or makes things happen for you. It, like, it advances the game that wouldn't typically otherwise happen, you know? So um, not having that, obviously, I mean, Dara has it to an extent, you know? But oh, like, no, definitely. But uh, if you're going to talk about, like, creative players, like, like Selkie, literally one of the pioneers of, like, the Palu meta, created so much tech and, like, options with, like, Explosive Flame and other options. Yeah, other absolutely. Moves, you know? no, no doubt an inspiration for Palu Tain is everywhere, Arlen notwithstanding. But, I mean, I don't know. We'll have to see, because it does kind of seem like sometimes Snook's play style kind of gives free rage to the opponent, you know? If you're rinsing and repeating these dash attacks, at some point you have to swing. And if you're guessing versus Selkie, that can be dangerous. Mm. But I mean, all of that said, it is Snook with the lead now. It, it is a mind game he puts on you, right? Like, because he does the dash attack so much, but then when you think he's going to do it, there's a grab. You know what I mean? Like, he is at that level. So, like, it is a very close set right now. I mean, like, I mean, he's up. He's up two stocks. Well, he's <laughs> up a stock. Music. Sorry. Is it? <laughs> I think I, I it think is. Yeah. I think it's Delta Rune. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Even better, bro. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize we have fans in the audience. I, I'm <laughs> oh, he's dead. Oh, he not just, bad. Yeah, I guess the fire recovery is not able to cut it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of tough, and especially with that strong positional play from Dara, like, even being at the ledge is a risk, a commitment, you know? So you don't want to. Oh my god, Jay, thank you so much. Thanks for the hookup. Oh, I appreciate G, it. Shout out to JV4. Tournaments in Ireland. Tournaments, Tournaments in, in Ireland. Oh, like, I, could, you, I couldn't be on Nazwan and not have a point in my hand. Like. <laughs> Uh, it's good to see. And Ooh. it's even better to see Big D yeah, on the board, see? man. Snook he, he actually bringing it back to 1-1 here. Um, yeah. 
Def uh, that, that was a, that was a good game. I d I, I, d I do. It is like kind of jarring when you see a top tier character not have a great recovery. <laughs> oh like, yeah, no, like definitely. Like pirates off stage on a jump and they're dead, and I'm like, that's like I, I, that's the game. <laughs> I'm so used to top tiers and ultimate just having amazing recoveries. It's so it's kind of <laughs> refreshing to see one that doesn't, you know. Or like a punishable smash attack. Oh, we're on the, we're on the Palu Ditto now. It's time to be lame, boys. Oh no. Nice. I actually won't like. I really enjoy watching these two play Palu Dittos. I actually enjoyed a lot. And hold on, after selecting the music painstakingly. Oh no, here uh, we it's go. A, it's a it's a Hitay's shadow from Tekken Seven. <laughs> Great song. Yeah, not bad. And this is, oh, folks, this is going to be exactly what it says on the tin. These two so evenly matched in this specific matchup that they've both said themselves it comes down to oh. who can hit the dare two frames. I love how they're spacing right now. They're both just trying to land back on each other, and it's great. I love watching that kind of gameplay. They, they, this is what like people who complain about Steve and Kazia want the meta to be. You know, return to this. <laughs> return to return to return back to Palu. Oh, no, the, the, there's a very delicate. I really enjoy watching their their sets, right? Because there's a very delicate level of spacing where they're just trying to play. Like, because obviously they're the same character, they have the same moves, same options. But so you just need to just slightly play outside of their range. To be use, that little to use bit more range, creative, you know? yeah. yeah. So it, like the the, the the level of spacing they have to play at is so delicate in the duel, which is why I really enjoy watching it. I know it's great to see too, because like. Neither of them are dropping any unnecessary hits whatsoever. They've yeah, both done this song and dance so yeah, many times. The movement and everything is just so condensed. Like they're like iron type focus on like how to how to win, like what they're gonna do next. Like it's really I really do enjoy watching their sets. Oh, he no, could have punished definitely. there, but he wasn't ready for it. Yeah, it was a very good pop up from Dara, getting himself out of that situation. Oh, goes for an, just meaty F smash, maybe an miss input. Just neutral get up F smash. <laughs> <laughs> Neutral get up F smash. Neutral get up F No, honestly, listen, if it works, it works. If it works, it works. It's Absolutely. fighting games. You don't need to you don't need to be smart, you, you just need you to be right. You never need to explain yourself as long as it works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, will that work? No. Oh. No, actually not getting the layup there. Unfortunate for Dara, but still an oh, intensely oh, even oh, game. Dragon and a trade puts them both here? on the stage. Oh. Safe recoveries, okay. they're both nice, soft. Nice, nice. Dara gonna take it out yeah. with a back. I thought I was gonna see some freak, freaky shit, but no, they just went they just went back to stage. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. You know, you can respect it. Want to stay yeah, in that top eight winners side? Can. This is this is high stakes. You don't fuck, you don't mess around when you're in top eight winners at this at this level at this stage. No, not at all. Especially nobody wants to go in. There's so many so many killers in this bracket. You do not want to go into losers. Oh, if you don't stop. Have to. I don't want to. Losers has been absolutely who's, terrifying all who's day. Down there, we got is Rapid down there. Is Yamchat down there? Bro, I don't want to play <laughs> these guys in top eight. Are you crazy? Everybody like the stakes are genuinely very high right now. Nobody does, but I mean, it's a tough call. I'm like. I think it's cool too to see like all of the boys who came back from regen, a little bit more oomph in the play. Oh yeah, yeah. You can see that like that little bit of stu a little bit of swagger, a little bit more cleanness in their movement. You know. Definitely, the Irish going international and paying out dividends. Of course. Of course, yeah. Snook's did been doing it for a while, but I mean, great crowd we had out how there. Did, how did the boy how did they get on? These two, they were these two were both at regen, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. it how was. How did they do? I think Snook, Selkie, and Dimitri made top 32. Nice. Um, Carl was. <laughs> Yeah, no, literally. And then Carl, Carl was like 25 or something at that. Damn. Yeah, yeah no, you can see that obviously a very high level of competition that we're watching right now. Oh, is this going to work? No, just barely. No, definitely. It. Yeah, that was quite weird. It almost seemed like he went up a bit. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, goes for the Tomahawk grab, whiffs there. Nice whiff punish with the dash attack. Oh, that's so funny. Dash attack versus back air. I never thought about like yeah, what happens what, in wins? that situation. I don't know. Nothing happens, I guess. <laughs> um, an unstoppable force versus an immovable object, you know? Yeah, no, literally, they're like, <laughs> all right, guys, come on, calm down, run it again. <laughs> but yeah, I or mean... Actually, I think this might be the closest game we've seen so far. And it's funny that it's the closest and they're, it's a Palu Ditto, you know? <laughs> of course, yeah, but oh, I mean... Oh, look, Dashtag beats it. Dashtag wins. You heard it here first. You saw it here first, folks. Dashtag beats back here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's interesting enough, though, because, like, of course, like, none, like of the, none of the tricks, really, are, like, going to work on either of these players, but tricks notwithstanding... Palu can be, uh, dare I say, honest in terms of like how she scores her kills, you know? A lot of rinse for P2 framing, a lot of like tight corner play, all of that sort of stuff. Nothing out of the ordinary, but it can yeah. lead to situations uh, like I this where no, there's only three minutes left on the clock like, and nice only two stocks have been taken. From getting hit by the explosive flame there. Oh, nerf, near nerfs, not gonna kill. Yeah, it kind of seems like the What's only the thing either of them oh. can land at this point, but gonna clean that up. Dara, I'm once again. I really do gotta lead. put a credit to Dara's awareness there that like he chose to teleport onto stage and like how rare of an option is that? You know? Like they've been doing it a lot though, right? They're just teleporting past each other back on the stage and Dara being able to read that and punishing him for it. One hundred percent. Oh no, catches him with the explosive flame. 
But yeah, I mean, it's the whole thing of like, you don't want to put yourself in the down tilt situation for free, you know? Yeah. Even if you do get hard punished once or twice, if you can get Palu to actually think about it a little bit, mm. well, that's I, like that little bit much better. What I also think is really interesting about it is that like, these two are both so good at ledge trapping each other that they're trying to take these risks to get onto the stage without going to the ledge, you know? Like, Big that's time, the level yeah. of play that we're at too, you know? Just trying to find more creative ways to get around it, but I mean, so far it has been Dara in the driver's seat just by an inch for the entire game. Yeah. Kahal is like definitely the kind of player who could steal it back out of a situation oh, like absolutely. that. absolutely. He's got such an optimized punish game, and the way that like he mixes you so hard with his explosive flames and everything. Like if we're gonna talk about mix, right? We all love to talk about mix. Don't oh we all love the yeah, mix. big time. We, we we know we know Silky's got the mix, you know, like so he could very easily just like one mix up and it could be over. Most definitely, but I mean, it's hard to like get your best mixes going if Dara isn't compromising positionally at all. Yeah, and even then, Dara just knows like they know they play each other. So we can't stress it like how much these two play each other. They play it nonstop, you know? <laughs> like, this, this is a tune we've seen many, many times in Ireland. Oh, no, literally. The OGs, for sure. And I mean, yeah, it, it, it literally is. Like, it's basic. There's not much more you can do mm. apart from what you've got going. Maybe slight miss space on that? Yeah, very slightly. Um, but we're just going to go back to the neutral, I guess, in an instant repeat. Man, it's just so close. It's hard to, like, even say anything other than, like, because really, when a game is as close as this, it's just going to, like, Either it's just going to go somebody's way. One or two interactions is literally just what's going to decide it. You True, know? you know. they're going so back and forth. How it's all about who wants it more. Like, how much can I look at this and say which player is playing better? Like, <laughs> they're like, it's just so back and forth. Like, any hit can end it here. Like, this is so even. I actually love how that timed with the music break as Ooh. well. Pretty dramatic. Not going to get the dramatic finish, unfortunately, is Dara. But uh, oh, that's gonna keeping take himself it. alive and yet yeah, eating that. One too many nairs off the ledge. I think that might have been the second or third in the last minute. Yeah, definitely. You're going to get Ready caught for out it. for that eventually. But I mean, you know, like you were alluding to earlier, against like these players and like, if you do the normal option repeatedly, you're just getting rinsed and repeated. Oh, you're going to get smoked. You're just going to get Like repeatedly, smoked. repeatedly, yeah. repeatedly. So eventually you have to like start risking with these like, you know, drop down, options, double jump you know, options, yeah. but it's always the risk reward. If you guess wrong on those, you are smoked. No matter oh, what yeah. percent. No, you're like at. you use your double jump with the ledge, GG, GG. Like you're, you're dead. You're so dead. I Absolutely. Guess too. Get ready for the next battle. I'm yeah, ready going for straight back in. So. Oh, same song and everything. Literal. Oh, we've got we've got a different costume though. I think you went from black to blue, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the dynamics of the match. <laughs> like, oh my god. Maybe this reflects his emotional state. <laughs> Dara going for an interesting drag down there. Not exactly going to pan out, but I mean, yeah, once again, Ooh. back throw off stage, take the stage control. This is literally all you can do. Ooh. They're just barely outside of each other. Needles, out uh, needles reach out of each other's range. Oh, nice, nice get up attack. Oh, good punish. Yeah, throwing out the throwing out the F tilt, not something you want to do too often as a Palu. On a platform, probably a misinput, maybe. Yeah, big time. And I mean, you know, we were talking about like Selkie advantage state earlier, but both of these players' disadvantage state is actually ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not, neither of them are able to really get more than like 10, 15% yeah. off one interaction. Although that is going to be a shield to the face. Dara like, looking to make this back. Especially when you talk about their disadvantage states, right? Like, like, how many times do they throw out the explosive flame off stage or something? And they're always ready for it. Like, their defense is just at that level. They're just ready for any attempt that could kill them when they're off stage. And they're just ready to go back to neutral again. Absolutely, and this match has been nothing but neutral so far. Yeah. I mean, it really does seem like they're both edge trapping efficiently, but it kind of seems like, you know, they're rolling the dice. Every every interaction feels like a bit of rock, paper, scissors because they're yeah. not dropping any execution whatsoever. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, actually catches the teleport this time. Not, really, not, really not the second one. Nice, the nice back air on nice. the neutral get up. You know, smart usage of like the runoff jump back neutral air, the passive Ooh. nair. I like that he went to the ledge there, and then instead of looking like he was going to try to go low and edge guard, he jumped back onto stage with the nair. Yeah, just really, really strong play, but I mean... Oh, he read that roll. <laughs> oh, Dara's cooking. Dara is cooking right now. <laughs> oh, what the going slow walk up? Going on a little stroll, like, oh my god. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, nice, some, back here. Some oh. creative neutral for sure. Gonna I, thought, I thought that explosive flame almost caught him there. Yeah, this is rough, and Dara just really not able to hold this lead. What I really uh, love, so right? So far, at the very least. What I love is that, like, once da Dara makes like a good read, right, and then Selkie immediately responds by trying to read like several options. You know what I mean? Oh, big like, time! Once you yeah. notice that, like, they're starting to catch on, you need to start throwing things out there to change up the, the pace of it. You know? 
Now Selkie, definitely a player who kind of like takes a lot of pride in their adaptation, you know? Oh yeah. If you mix Selkie, you better be sure they're going to try and mix you back. Oh yeah, Are they, you, you're not going to hit that mix-up again. That's that, that more than anything else. No, not even you know, they'll, they'll be ready for it next time. But yeah, no, keeping it tight. Dara once again with a tenuous lead, going to oh, rack up maybe damage. 30% here. But yeah, once again, the advantage today is so tight. SDI up and air dodge up, completely negating all of Palu's common yeah. follow-ups off of that situation. You think out of that? Oh, big time, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, straight no. up. Oh, yeah, look. oh, he read They're the jump away. There. Nice. Oh, oh, he's no jump. He's no jump. Okay, he got back. Yeah, unfortunately, a little miscue on that passive there, maybe. Maybe I thought maybe he might go for it all, but it just deciding to play safe. In fairness, he's up a stock. He doesn't have to risk anything. Yeah, but true. He's going to lose his stock. But a nice pivot though. grab. Actually going to beat the spot dodge. I love that, too, because it's not even like I'm grabbing you for spot dodging. It's yeah. I'm pivot grabbing you but for spot dodging is, so yeah. I can get the back face, so I can get the kill. So no, smart from Zelda. So, like such a high, like just a level of optimization you don't see from the average player, you know? Like they're really thinking about like the best punish, you know? Absolutely, yeah. And using all the tools at your disposal as well. Like knowing what your best punish is, is great and all, but like situational awareness of like where you are in the stage and stuff and what will kill is like so valuable. And it's hard to build as a player. You yeah. really have to be that guy. Like you have to be at that level to be able to recognize those situations, you know? 100%. Oh, he actually gets oh caught by the explosive God. flame. And that'll take game four. Game four, yeah. Game, we're going to game five. So once again, these two neck and neck. Snook with his chance to break the curse here. I'm not going to oh, lie. Oh, it is looking likely. It is looking likely. But we'll have to see what will happen. Maybe a character switch? We could Maybe. see Maybe. I mean, Nan Kahl, for those of you guys who don't know Selkie in the chat, somehow oh. at this point, somehow Selkie is know. a filthy counter picker, to uh, say the least. They're like really deep pockets. I, I would not honestly be shocked that these two just pull one Kirby or something <laughs> <laughs> right now. Oh, back to the pirate? DK Ditto. Oh, we're back on the pirate. Okay, we're going. And you know what? I actually kind of like, you know, like, if you look at the, if you're just looking at it game by game, those Palu games, like, might not have been that much. But you need to consider that now Snook is going into this game with no data. Mm. Oh, like, there's so much mind games going on in each of these games, especially with how back and forth they are, you know? So, like, when when you change one aspect of it, it can it can have a knock-on effect. But, like, we'll have to see. Like, Snook is is such a great adapter. Like, I really can't say how much enough, oh, like, how no, good seriously. he is at, like, figuring people out. But this is definitely gonna, this is definitely a wrench in the plan. Throwing in a new character, you know. And you know, it's it's kind of funny because new character and new stage too. You have to also true, take that actually, into account. Yeah, that is true. a totally different set. Of, uh, this is a totally different platform layout to like Battlefield. You know? I didn't even notice, and like the Persona Five music as well, which is yeah. funny because Snook actually looks exactly like uh, Joker from Persona oh my God. Five. Now that you say so, it, you know, I'm looking right it's, it's at this. It's kind of like it's pretty interesting. Looking at in this man, regard. and yeah, he looks just like him. Uh, <laughs> 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 you heard it here. Oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> Did you see that? Like the official Atlas account came out and was like, "You don't look like Joker." Oh, like, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, that's, oh, it's like a general thing. Like I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. I thought he's a self-insert character. <laughs> what the hell, Atlas? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, going for the downer on shield. Yeah, no, not too much. Once again, like no matter what the matchup, no matter what the stage, neither of these players are giving up an unnecessary inch. And it's great too, because both of them are avoiding the kill at all costs. They'll take 10% oh, if here. it means not getting killed. Oh, okay, Ooh, interesting. I, I wonder if up air would have just killed. Uh, interesting choice with the up beat. Yeah, no, definitely. Some uh, some custom combos going on here. Not exactly going to work out for Selkie just yet. Not yet. It's going to be a tougher situation. Definitely something that's going to come up. Oh, nice. Yeah, up reverse up tilt. Really, really good as an approach option. I definitely think that... Um, the difference in recovery is going to matter here, right? Like, it, at, even, like, reads and any other thing aside, like, Pyra is going to have to use an air dodge or a resource to avoid these explosive flames, you know? Like, they just try to jump back because they have to, and they get hit by the explosive flame. Absolutely. Like, it, it really is going to matter in this matchup, you know? I mean, that said, though, they have been managing to get away with it so far. Mm. We'll have to see how things it's, pan their out. Their advantage has been so good. They haven't even had the chance to exploit that aspect of them, you know? Oh, like, fully. We're, we're at 170 on their last stock. Like, they're not making any mistakes right now. Yeah, not giving up any kills. And especially, like, keeping the stage, you know, nothing Palu's going to do here is going to kill you. Maybe a back throw, but that's about it. Yeah, like, also, like, Selkie being so familiar with the character knows what options he has to avoid at these percents, you know? Nah, absolutely. And, like, so far, yeah, like, the Pyro Mifra has given him, like, that slight edge mm. in neutral he might need against a player like Dara, you know? Dara running a tight mm. ship with that Palutena, but yeah, so far, it just hasn't been able to, like, Find the place he needs to push. I think more more than anything is so. I, I want to stress how important the momentum is with these two players too, right? Like I think even like with a little bit of momentum, just a crumb of momentum, and Derek could easily find his way back into this game. He might he might find his stride with that dash tag to take out that first stock. 
Yeah, big time. Actually, gonna avoid that down air by the skin of his teeth, but it oh, is, is still that kill? tough. Yeah, oh, okay. absolutely, son. He has yeah. down an entire stock here. Oh, getting out of there. Shades of Ike with that up B out of shield. Not a bad option for Pyro if you know how to use it. I, I really want to see can Dara take this, because I, I believe, I definitely believe that he can do this. But he's going to have to dig deep. This is not an easy comeback to make. Be oh, the crim, but the foresight, getting through just one hit of the Nair, actually optimal and going to get the juggle situation out of it. Damage racking oh. up already. Thankfully, uh, Py Pyro not really massive damage on their aerials, so hasn't taken too much damage yet. But yeah, it's, start, it's starting to rack up. He really needs to he really needs to find an answer here yeah, and going, start getting the momentum back in his side. Good going dash for broke there. on that F smash, but uh, you know, not really going to hit the mark just yet. But so far, you this know, isn't good for Dara. He's trading like they're they're too close on percent. They're just going back and forth, the same as the set has always been. So like, it's hard to tell Dara like you need to like you need to like take a lead. You know, you need exactly. to do something. It's so hard to do when the whole set has just been this back and forth, and he's down all stock now. And, so and I do believe he can do it. He definitely can. That's the thing. You can keep rinsing and repeating, but if you want to get like an early stock on Selkie, you're you, gonna have to win. You the gotta mix. take risks. You gotta do something. Oh my god, like yeah, this is down air forward air, this just is looking about rough. not taking it, but... Oh, he's, this is a scary spot to be in, nice dash attack so to get So patient the in the corner, gonna get That's out gonna there, take it. giving up to neutral oh, air dodge, okay, we're on last down stock to a situation. last stock, baby. Oh, he falls out of it, oh, the tech change! Not too bad, and actually follows up off the missed neutral beat, Selkie's so proficient, oh. but gonna take it. Yeah, Snook going straight for stage control, scary. not giving up the air dodge. Good air dodge, great air dodge. Both players gonna have to play really careful here. Not bad. That's and good damage. Oh, good air dodge. No fast fall oh, on that. Oh, that's going to no, take it. Oh, unfortunate. The up tilt going to do what it. A, what a nail biter said, I must say. Seriously, these two always so good at putting on a show. Well, I, I, what a clutch factor from uh, from Caldo to be able to just, you know, like hold it down in such a scary, like that's such a scary situation. You know, when you're, oh, when big time, you have yeah. that stock up and you feel a little bit confident for just a little second. And then once you lose that stock, you're like, oh, okay. And then you get nerd and you're like, oh, okay. You uh, know what I mean? Especially but holding like it down, staying clutch and taking out the set, you have to give it to him. Especially I think compared to the Palu ditto, you know? Like oh, Palu, yeah. Palu actually having a lot of really viable win conditions on mm -hmm. Aegis, but not quite being able to bring any of them to bear. Selkie yeah. holding his nerve. Yeah, interesting. Uh, it's interesting too that he managed to like play so well even while switching characters throughout the set. I think that's actually, honestly, not enough people talk about it. It is pretty hard to swap between characters mm. mid-set, you know? It's Big a time, whole different yeah. mentality vibe. Like it, there's a lot going on. And Carl just seems to be able to do it. Like he just, he just built different. I mean, Carl's yeah. the master of pockets, you know? You know? Deep, yeah. deep pockets at all times. Yeah, I have to credit to, you have to give him credit for it. Like, it is, it is a very impressive thing to be able to do at such a high level. But yeah, you're, like you're saying, James you know, with the Ireland really flag. Ooh. Can we point that out? We'd love to <laughs> see it. If he is in it. Ireland and everyone here is from Ireland. But wait, who is No, no, th this is, this is who Remy. Is this so this Remy. is, this is oh, an interesting match. This is the title defense, right? Oh, the Yank is here. The, the question today has been, can we stave off the American defender? Can we stop this Yank from winning our can tournament? We, can we stop the Yank? <laughs> we need to stop the Yanks. And like, take over. It's not just any Yank, too. Remy, Remy, 17th at Genesis 7. Seven. Brother. I, I, did, I didn't, I didn't so know we had a beast like this here. I didn't know that. So Who's yeah, he seriously, seriously good placements. I've seen I've seen them on Lucas. Lucas? So far what? today. So it's going to be a really, oh really my. interesting match. Okay, I'm, ex I'm suddenly very excited for this. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. There's a lot at stake, a lot on the line. But of course, as well as uh, Farm Produce, we have our homegrown oh, killer here. There's James. a lot on the line. He's got the flag on. He's playing for Ireland right now. He's he, really, he's doing it for everybody. He really is. He's doing it for the bog, <laughs> baby. He's doing it for you the bog. absolutely know it. James, isn't James a farmer or am I wrong? I actually couldn't tell you, but a proficient fisherman. Oh, he's a fisher. Yeah, oh. yeah. It's, oh. it's so funny. We, we have the Dublin group chat. I'm like... For a while, like him and Michael were just sending like back and forth pictures of like them with the catch of the day. Oh, <laughs> that's hype. That's godlike. <laughs> it's really, really funny. James reeling in a fantastic oh, trout well, the other day. Well, Let's go, James. Hopefully, you can reel in a win here. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. But uh, no, uh, angry spec, James. Obviously, okay, he's definitely angry spec if he's a fisher, surely, right? So, <laughs> like, he's got the flag on, doing it for Saul. He's got that inner piece, you know? He's got what's it called? What's that? What's that? Oh, what's that farmer brand? He's wearing it too, isn't he? The jo jacket jumper, it's, I swear it is. It's not Helly Hansen, but it, it looks like I it. think it's the farmer brand. I can't see the logo on it, but you know, you already know. He's got the flag on. So it's, we like, it's like Helly Hansen style, you know, it's the pullover. Mm. Oh, yeah, and like I've seen so many like lads in the parish dressed like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> in the parish. <laughs> in the lads in oh the parish. Oh, my God. Yup, yup. <laughs> But yeah, guys, for those of you who don't know a bit of local history here, James 102, an up-and-comer in the post-quarantine era. Mm. 
showing off with some really, really impressive results, taking some tournaments here and there, and performing very, very well at the Odyssey. I must be yeah, some super major. I believe he bl he won uh, Minus Meltdown 4, right? Minus Meltdown yeah, 4, yeah, top 8 at the Odyssey. Mm. So definitely somebody who's on the rising line. Oh, yeah. One, one of the best players in Ireland, without, it, without question. Absolutely. He's at that level. Also, a Falcon main. You don't see too many of them. True, yeah. And a smart Falcon main. You see even yeah, less smart. of those. He, does, he doesn't play like the, the typical Falcon. He actually uses his brain. It's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not something you see too often. It's like the only <laughs> Falcon to ever use dash back, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've never even seen him throw out a Falcon Punch ever. That, that, <laughs> that, that, that's crazy. Like, <laughs> well, there, there was that one clip. Did you see oh, yeah? that? No. Oh, no. It was like he was doing like the upper, upper, upper. And instead of knee, he went for like B reverse Falcon oh. Punch, followed a drift. Oh, Smoked my God. Him. Really yeah. good clip. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, he is, a, he is a fiend for the Twitter clips, to be fair. I don't. Oh if I know anything about James, it's that he, has, he puts up so many clips on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's a weak grinder for sure. I really think that uh, this is going to be a lot of fun because both of these characters are just going to try to mix you in ways you're not going to expect, right? Oh, like definitely. we saw it there in the first dog, like he like upbeat him while he was shielding on the platform. He just falcon kicks onto the platform, like like that. Who does that? And Lu Luca, <laughs> Lucas, I think, is like a really interesting archetype of character because it's like I, I genuinely believe Lucas is the highest APM character in the game. You oh, need yeah? to press so many buttons, like oh, oh my Ronnie, God, Ron raw in the middle of neutral. He just does it to him. God damn. But, you know, it's, it's interesting. Like, a lot of really, really privileged frame data super fast. That was crazy. He did, like, Nair 1 up tilt? Yeah. Uh, that's mad. That's that's real. Some that's really, cool. really interesting stuff. But, I mean, the problem oh. is all of the hits are so slow that you need to make calls constantly. Mm. Although, James, giving him the respect he deserves, allowing him to get that grab out of that situation. Look at the way Remy moves. This guy, this guy's good. I can tell from the way he's <laughs> moving around. Like, okay. Let's go, James. Yeah, keeping it tight so far. Up air jab. Oh. That's saucy. That's nice. Nice little bit of damage here. James with the ledge trap situation. Oh, Going to try and keep him teleporting right what into his crap. loving arms. Oh, uh oh. He gave freeze. Okay. It's so weird to see Lucas. I honestly don't think I've ever seen somebody play this character in a tournament. Oh, no. I'll straight. Like, this, like, is, this <laughs> is a rare character. Yeah, and it, is a, it is a rare treat for the one stream. Oh, and a great recovery. Not going to oh, upgrade it out. Oh, my that God. That was crazy. Down tilt, F tilt. So good. Oh, trying to snack. Oh, another raw knee. Oh, my God. James's success rate with these raw oh, knees. Oh, he's just is doing like them and it's working. <laughs> oh, my God. The patience. Did you see that? That was great. That three, was three perfect fox trots. That was, that was very good. Just using all the stage available to him. Oh, and yeah, just keeping it oh. tight so far. Nobody really pulling ahead. Luke is fair. A, a surprisingly good spacing tool, actually. Quite fairly disjointed. Oh, nice. Yeah, absolutely. No, Great down smash. nothing left there, especially with that bit of charge. That is a checkmate situation on a recovery uh, like Falcons. Do you want to hear a funny fact about Lucas in Smash 4? Yeah, go on. So, you know his down smash? Only the first hit of it is actually a hitbox. So, you know the way he does the three? Yeah. In Smash 4, only the first impact is actually a hitbox. The rest of it is just Bro. an animation. It's <laughs> actually so bootleg. Like, what the, what the hell? Yeah, because that was like Smash 4 DLC pack as well. Yeah, like, he was whoa. DLC, bro. Like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm actually going to have to recover. James nice opting recovery. not for it. Tries to go for the jump. Oh, not gonna pan no out. way. He's oh dead. My God. Was that at zero? Was that at zero? That Remy, was at zero. please, brother. Not in, not in his home country, on his home turf. Not like that, man. Jesus. That yeah, was Re crazy. Remy, absolutely wise to that ledge drop attempt. And like you were saying, a clinical punish. That was him a out crazy at zero. Punish. True combo as well. That was true, too. That's mad. I guess Falcon being the, the fast faller, you know, like Falcon in every Smash game has been like, you know, combo food, you know? So I Big guess time. a lot of these Lucas stuff, you can just, you just go off, I guess. And, and that's the thing, Lucas has some combo game. If you're oh, not he does. If you're not familiar with this character, this character actually has a ridiculous oh, amount yes. of kill oh, confirms. Yes. You remember like, when Slingshotting came out and it's all a Twitter versus Lucas players doing oh, stupid shit? Bro. <laughs> it always is, you know, he, he's like the, he's the textbook Twitter character. Yeah, he, you know? he is. He's got, he's got a crazy punish game if you're able to take him to that level. Yeah, you'll, you'll hit the clip once in a while, but in terms of consistency... And Remy did just now. He zero to death, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it was a straight zero to death. Yeah, not bad at all. I was not ready for that game to be over. I, th I thought that was going to last... Oh, is that going to hit him? And really good. It's it's interesting that he goes for that, because, like, the fallout, like, it doesn't kill. It doesn't do that much damage, mm. but it's still worth it just to, like, get the better of the situation. Get the hit no matter what. Mm. Uh, it does a solid bit of damage. It's, it's, it's definitely good damage. It damage you take this early on in the game, you know? Oh, 100%, yeah. It's also an option, like, who plays against Lucas? You know, like, no one's going to be ready for that. No, big time. And we're seeing shades oh, of that in Oh, James. what? A, is Ooh. that like a... Like Zare a, grab, yeah. True yeah, confirm. Like a, that was you can bad. also you can also the infinite Zare into itself. And James 102 is looking lost here. It's just, like, it's just tough. Like, uh, how many how many Lucases have you played, James? Like, not, not too many, I'd imagine. 
finally gonna get some damage going there. Di out, gonna save Remy Silly. from any further follow-ups. Just oh playing my this God, so what is this well, punish? and he keeps going. Oh, he air dodges out there. There, I love the the little like it's not like a wait. Like he does like an air can. Like he just like fast falls down with doing like the zare. He like short hop zares and like like he cancels his jump. No, and stuff. it looks so cool. He didn't let that go in time. James just being caught on a few too many things. He's got to sharpen up here. Although that is into this credit from Remy's play. So far, really, really good. Oh, the, right the shield on breaks all sorts of strings. Oh, that's one of the strongest off smashes in the game, I believe. Damn, that's gonna that's just gonna decimate that shield. Oh my god. A practical use for that Lucas was That was smash. a great setup, but like you, I guess you have to react to the startup of the up smash because it is quite slow. Another thing about Lucas that you would, might not know, his up B goes so far. Oh, like you can, ridiculous. You can yeah. be in the magnifying glass and get to ledge. Like it's, it actually goes that far. It's mad. It's so, so good. And so far... Oh, ooh. strange SD there. Yeah, rare. Maybe that's rare. what James needs to get back into this, this game. No, definitely. Rare miscue from Remy there. We're going to see if James oh. can capitalize, but so far, I think... The tail of the tape has been a bit too much respect. James isn't sure mm. what he needs to look out for. This neutral is so like like above all else, we've seen the crazy punishes, but this neutral is so hard to navigate. Like that that short hop PK fire covers so much in front of him. It is really hard for a character like Falcon that relies on his dash a lot to weave in and around that. Because like how how good is Falcon's like full hop approach? Like it's okay. You know? He could be doing worse, but he could be doing a hell of a lot better. Not gonna mm. get that off smash there, Remy, all the wiser. Oh nice, nice up you there. He is, yeah. he is crawling back into this game. Signs we're we're, of, we're saying a lot about Remy yeah. right now, but this is close. He's close enough to taking the stock here. Another raw knee, and this t the stock is done. He's been landing a lot of them. 100%. And obviously, Falcon, crazy explosive character. It's not like he's going to struggle to pull out a kill out of nowhere on the last stock, you know? Not at all, but we're seeing more and more of Remy's combo game come into effect. The Zare sending into a tech chase. Didn't uh -oh, follow uh -oh. up that time. But oh, nice oh read my on God, the air and dodge. He's there. Great coverage. That's, a, that's hilarious. An American yeah. punishing the American air dodge. Oh, yeah, the American air dodge. Uh, he he, he, he plays in America. Honestly. He's too ready for it. He's too ready for it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Just the options. Like, uh, yeah, James definitely caught with his pants down on that one. That was, that, was, that was a tough game. That was a tough game, honestly. I, I, th I thought the, tough, the first game was tough when he got spiked like that, but that game was tough. But yeah, I, I believe definitely. in James. I know he can do this. He is cracked. He is really cracked. If anyone was going to make a reverse 3 here. You can see it in the player cam, you know? He's, he's taking it on the chin. It's he's not too to He's got to take it easy. Keep moving, you know, keep vibing. Mm. Like, this is like this is the character you've probably never played against before. This is all data, right? Like, this is your time to, to, to make it work, you know? Yeah, definitely. I Like, I, even there, right? He, like, the way he, he actually got around the PK fire there pretty well with the Nair. So, like, I feel like maybe there is a chance that he's going to... Yeah, I think I think that he's starting to, he's starting to figure things out, I think. Like the, end of, the end of that last game, he was bringing it back. Like I think he started to figure it out. Getting there for sure, but mm. will it be too little too late? But this yeah, Remy, obviously, like this guy's so cracked. Like, is that the is jump is gone? No, he has no, the jump. He, he has the jump. It. Oh, nice recovery. Yeah, no, not it's bad. So, I'm so like hard for Falcon to edge guard Lucas. Lucas having a surprisingly good edge uh, recovery with that Zare. Like it really helps him so much. No, definitely. And Remy not giving up anything up for Oh, you whatsoever. go for another shield break. Not gonna work twice though. Speaking of shield breaks, if that up smash two connected, that would have mm. been a stock for James 102. Unfortunately, Definitely. not quite in there. <laughs> he did a little fist bump after the jab. <laughs> I love that. Oh my god. You know, definitely. And like both of these players still on winner's side, so not the end of the world. Not, yeah, absolutely. But a win against the player of Remy's caliber. Oh uh, yeah. Would be really, really good. Uh, Great for a like nice point on the CV. For, for, sure. for, for a young player too. Like that's so good, right? Like if you're an older player, you played a lot. I think like that that win is like okay you've played so much you at some point you were gonna get the win but like you're a younger player it's so good like to get that confidence early on well so you can play more with that you know and learn from that yeah no, absolutely and yeah just I think I don't know it's just he he's not really pulling the trigger on punishes and I get mm. why you know I well, could yeah well uh, to be, oh, oh well, that's just gonna kill him. that's angle. dirty that's so dirty that just worked poor Falcon. <laughs> I'll say, I'll say poor Falcon. Oh, that was he, just he sad. Deserved it. He deserves it. <laughs> I guess he does, but. <laughs> oh my god. Uh oh, not and the landing up there with that landing up air. Oh, so wow. good. he just went for an up smash raw there. Does does Lucas up air have invincibility in this game? I think it didn't smash four. I it, no, it doesn't. Only it not the up in smash. This game? Okay. Yeah, I mean, so oh. far just not able to get like anything, especially not oh kills. My god. The punish yeah, text one doesn't oh tech the God. other into a that down was, smash. Honestly, I don't think it was a zero to death, but that was very close to a zero to death. Like the, the punish game we're seeing from Remy here is honestly a level that I, I honestly I'm gonna put it. It's not a level I've seen too often in Ultimate. I don't think I could say 
I see too many players with just like that crazy combo game that just carries you to 100 so easily. And but it's, Remy it's is doing it so consistently. It's like, Jesus. Well, what makes it all the more impressive, I think, is the fact that it's all strings. Mm. You know, so much of it is strings that Remy is just repeatedly like, guessing correctly on. He's even, but like, what, he's getting these kills too, right? Because he's throwing in these mix ups, right? Like, he's, oh yeah. my god, you can't caught stay on the ledge there. Lacking. The James. three stock, not the three stock game. It's not like this. He he oh. played a patient, but a bit too patient, bit I think. Too. Really Tough. couldn't pull it out of the bag at the end there. Big three stock from Remy. Remy, man, all right, he's put on a show. He's he's letting us Irish know. So he's here to take over. Yeah, that that like a uh, <laughs> Irish flag, like flowing, oh. like flying off James's shoulders, anime style. You know, it just crumples That's to the um, ground. Somebody steps on it or something. He steps on it. Oh no, Remy, please no, <laughs> don't, don't step on it. <laughs> oh imagine if he, if he, if he, if Remy won this tournament or something, and just grabbed the flag and yeeted it or something. Yeah, burns it in the middle <laughs> of the thing. Like, oh my god. Oh man. Matt, Re Remy, by all accounts, a lovely guy. Oh no, I'm sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> <spread> <laughs> not trying to spread oh, anything. Always <laughs> gotta throw it out, you know. Yeah, no, I it, I seems it. like a pretty cool dude. Cracked loose. Because he gets a thumbs up in my book. Yeah. Yeah, not too bad. And he will be moving on in this winner's side here. James 102, you know. Gonna, he still has losers, of course. Still, of still course. has losers. And and I, I, I don't even think that was like a playing bad thing. Mm. So much as it was like a not having answers thing. Yeah, yeah. He's got to dig deep and figure it out. I mean, like, like it, he has all day to learn, learn. Learn. I'm sure Remy would play a few friendlies afterwards. True. And, get and some, it, get that's what these monthlies are for, you know. Yeah, exactly. That's what the yeah. grind's for, baby. Yeah, I mean, not, not to disparage the, the Aswan prize pot, but uh. Oh yeah, well I mean, like we're all we all have a little bit of a glint on that that, that cash, you know what I mean? <laughs> everybody has a little bit. <laughs> you, you got it, you know. Yeah, you take a it's, second it's take. It's why you everybody know? shows up. Yeah, you, you, you second you, take it. Like you don't glance over. You like you, you take a double take. You know, you know how much is on the line if you're, if especially if you make it a top eight. You know, then it's suddenly like feasible. You know. Big time. So let's yeah. have a look at our bracket. So we have Brian and Wamba. That's who we have Ooh. up on the stage right now. Brian gave me an old cheeky little wink there. You love to see it. Go on, Brian. Go on, Brian. Are you going to play Robin? Oh, he oh, gave me another cheeky little wink. Oh, oh cheeky oh. wink coming out from Brian. Oh, man. Looks like we could see the <laughs> Robin, see the Robin. coming nah, in Nah, this here. guy's a troll, bro. He'll play wherever the fuck he feels like. <laughs> he's, he's just trolling. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about deep pockets with Selkie, but... uh. Oh, Brian. Brian just plays whoever. I kind of hate it, but I like I respect it. He, he's one of those like everybody gets into elite smash. You know? Yeah, like, but like I, 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 I would. I would Brian, Brian's actually a Wi-Fi kid on the slide. Oh, he's he such a Wi-Fi kid. But, like, Fort Trinity. Oh, oh, Fort Trinity. he's trying to get all anime. Oh no, he's gonna get Fort blasted. Trinity? Oh. No, Wom and invoking the Trinity name is a curse. It'd be so funny if Wombat always did has for, been, for Belfast be. or something. If Wombat's from Belfast, right? Nuri, I believe. Four fish. What's that? Oh, lad. Yeah, Brian playing with some ghosts here. Yeah, there's May ghosts. Maybe thinking about Roy. All <laughs> of them have their hands on his shoulders. Or maybe thinking about Roy. <laughs> maybe, maybe, you know. Uh, Wombat, a DK player, I believe, right? Yeah, DK yeah, player DK. from Yuri. Um, doing very well, you know. Close sets with Creeper Constable. Mm. All of that good stuff. Some good wins that escape me at the moment. Oh, uh, the, the North are just brewing up some really good players at the moment. Like Big Fish. Big time, Just yeah. Big Fish, Big Fish, Big Fish. Big fish. I'm gonna say it a few more times. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Yeah, big fish. Big I mean, I'm big sure fish. you guys got enough of that on the yeah, last block. Yeah. Good grief, Gabe <laughs> big, and Leo. Oh, it was a big fish Gabe on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there, there, no there, shot, there's a bro. lot of really great players coming from the north at the moment, and obviously Wombat make a top eight here, Sean. Make that's a statement. I didn't think. I, did you? Did you think Wombat was gonna make top eight? And I, I, I don't know. It if was, I thought he was, it was on make the cards. It was. It, it was wasn't impossible, but he's shown it's possible. You know. He's shown it's very possible, and get used to it as well. He's saying. Got a piano piece. Yeah. What is this? I'm very relaxed, I won't lie. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, what's this from? I recognize this. Uh, I don't remember what it's from, it's though. It's got a nice melody. Yeah, I, I, it's oh, familiar. Oh, hold on. Is and the strings? Oh. Oh, he's playing Funky! Oh! Oh my god, Funky is here, lad. This I honestly, so cool. I've always wanted Funky to be in the game. <laughs> I'm so sad that he's not. Oh, it's Vegas, dude. Does he have, oh, the, it's Street does he have the voice lines? Fair enough. <laughs> oh, he might. Actually, I really hope he does. Yeah, and like you were, like you suspected, Brian on the uh -oh, Robin here. Uh oh, this, this Funky's on his flame right runner, man. He knows what's up. <laughs> Good grief. Oh, oh my God, he has the voice lines. I love yeah, this, man. Oh, I love this. Jeez. Oh, uh, but it'd be way better if they changed his intro to just drive in on the flame runner and get off or something. That'd be way better. My God, looking good for Wombat so far. Pretty much all of this damage unanswered, and he destroyed the arc fire. With his arm? He actually is playing Robin, by the way. I I, I called him out, but no, he, he backed it up. He's actually playing Robin. This is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he would. I thought he was going to play Roy or Inkling, but no, we got the Robin out. For Trinity. Uh, of course, we're Trinity known for their Robins. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, true. <laughs> you know, it's, it's interesting so far on Wombat, like, playing a patient for DK standards. 
Yeah, like, uh, there's, there's a DK, obviously, a big character in Ireland. We've seen a lot of DK. He definitely he definitely looks different. Like, he, he, the DK, the Irish DKs like to play a bit wild, you know, go for the clips and stuff. Oh, definitely, um, yeah. You know, you go in there, it's like, am I going to back her or yeah. am I going to downbeat? I, I'm not to call out the Irish DKs, but you can tell this guy mains it when he takes a lot less risks. You know oh what I mean? Like, God. oh, 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 not oh do it. no. Oh, still gets the kill the anyway. No mash actually saving Brian's ass there. Yeah, but then, <laughs> then he got up here, so. Oh, needed to be mashing air dodge, I guess. Oh, Ooh, nice. Yeah, nice. Down smash. I don't think that was even a two frame. I think he just hit him. That hits so far on yeah, the ledge. It's, it's actually crazy. Oh, oh wow, my God. confirms the off of that. conversions? Uh oh. Yeah, 68% no. by the way. Jesus. No tech chase there. Not going to be able to keep it going. And Brian with a little bit of a juggle situation to work with here. It's 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 actually kind of jarring to me to see like, oh, he's just trying to go through it. But it's so weird to see like a DK like suddenly just get, he literally just got 68% off of down B. Right? Like, all the DKs I know, just, just go up and grab, carry, go throw, up air, up air, up air. You know, like, you oh, know the folks. Yeah, the, the classics. This guy, know. this guy does Dash attack, back air, back air. This like. guy is optimized. He's doing stuff off of down B. Like, this is a main. Like, you know this guy mains his character. Oh, oh what a Oh, my God. He cannot be rolling off the ledge against Wombat like that, apparently. Yeah, the ankles absolutely yeah, shattered Yeah, your ankles are broken. That, there. You, hate, you, you, you hate when that happens to you. You feel so bad. You feel like the worst player, but. I know, like, I, I think, like, this kind of play really lends credence to the fact that, like, we're not that far into this game's lifespan, you know? Mm, like, if you want to optimize DK, you absolutely can. There's oh, yeah. so much oh! more to be pushed with all that of these 47 characters. That's 47% off of one move. What is this crap, bro? What is this? He's got max so, rage there. DK so with max good. rage is, in fact, a character that could kill <laughs> at any point at this moment, it at any time. The, the character it can happen to you. Sure. It can happen to anybody. Like, he's at 180, bro. Like, you're going to get hit by something, and you're like, it's going to hurt. And yeah, not following up off the arc fire. Oh! There. Okay, nice. crazy down here. So good. Yeah, he forced the air dodge with the book Ooh. and then immediately converted off it. Brian's so good, but I want to oh. see him maintaining. Oh, okay, a he doesn't bit have those punishes. Safe range here. Okay, this is very doable. I've, I've played a fair bit against Robin. This character has a punish game and a half. Like, Robin can really ramp on you. you like, you'd be surprised. So oh, this is very, very doable. So it's almost in the even. wrong situation. You could be looking at a shield. You could break. take you could so much damage. This could kill. Oh, barely misses it there. This is suddenly, this is, they're suddenly even. If anything, Ooh. Brian might have a slight advantage. Oh my god, yeah, he actually if, has if, taken back if the If Brian lands down be here, oh my. It's oh, nice. Yeah, mixing Great, in play. with the book, Levin Sword back online. Wombat can't get out of the corner and hasn't been able to. Oh, what do you do here? Oh my god, just do it again. Wow! Uh oh. oh. They're both no push. Oh, yeah. that back air? catches nice. it. Great, great. Just about a sigh of relief from what? Brian there. That was hard for him. Crazy comeback. Crazy comeback. Was he down two soul stocks? He might have been down. He was down. Oh, a stock and a half. He was down stocks. a lot. Was like great comeback. And especially after that F smash two to roll read. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean yeah. bread and butter for DK mains. Don't I mean, get me wrong. Once he like hit that down air, he just took all the momentum. Like that down air was a real changing point for the game. Oh right. no! Please play funky. Please, for me. <laughs> and you know we, we oh wait I think is there a controller issue we were seeing shades of it last time I don't imagine we're going to see a switch from Wombat coming in here but I, uh, as far as I know he is solo, solo DK. DK yeah nothing but it uh, I don't know if there's a character lock for Brian but I'd, I'd imagine he will stay wait never mind okay no no no, no. he changed on the alts and heroes like, man, no man, way. messing around a, a lot of yeah. heroes at this tournament I've seen at least two or three Really? Yeah, I had to play one first round. It was it was scary. Oh my God. <laughs> Our Ireland and Dublin especially are just crazy for that kind of stuff. Oh, they love it. We're back on the same stage, same song, back and back straight back at it. I think it's really interesting to um, cause right. Oh, 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 oh okay, Smash Four. Seventy five. Oh, Smash Four. Seventy five. Jesus. He got seventy five off that conversion. <sighs> yeah, this DK. Is DK. These two characters punish so hard. Oh, what? Speaking oh, of conversions, oh, oh, oh. Though. Not enough to kill. Not enough to kill. Barely. What? Look at how much damage they've just done to each other in the last 30 seconds. They're both already at 100. Smash Ultimate truly is this the is fucking crazy. game ever. Like this yeah, is this is this is, ha this is things are happening on screen. Really bizarre. Yeah, good uh, good thunder there for coverage. Gonna get him back oh! on stage. Oh my god, I thought he knew. I thought he was gonna kill him. Maybe a misinfo. Maybe he did know. What yeah. I think is really interesting, actually, is that I think it's I I always like when somebody goes back to the same stage. I think that's because it's like it's like I know I can win. You know, yeah, like change, it's, not, it's not stage, it's not stage, it's not character. Like I'm better. I I know I can win. Change like, the game know? plan, not the floor you know? plan. Yeah, for sure. Uh oh, we're doing some stuff. No, he's not gonna die there. Yeah, Ooh. good di and a good mash is gonna save his skin there. Okay, how's he? Is he gonna survive this time? No, oh, no. Isn't the back throw stronger? Or am I wrong? Um, no, I think that's the strongest one. If you're trying uh -oh. to send him, steal his lunch money. 
My oh. god. Yeah, gonna miss the arc fire conversion there, but still a nice oh, bit nice of damage, and this is tough. That's oh. his last up beat. He can't recover. He's got nothing left. Oh, that, that <laughs> really, that's hilarious. I don't think I've even seen that before. Bro. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. What a, what a oh Mickey Mouse character, Bro, man. I hate, when, I hate when you run out of uppies. Oh, like. uh, yeah. Imagine playing this Michael Mouse character. <laughs> <laughs> Just bizarre. Like. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, able to keep this stage control so far, and that really has been oh, like the tail of the tape. He just barely dodged that Eric Thunder. Look how much oh damage he gets God. from it. Up to 69 already. But he is at 69. Okay, never mind. <laughs> and yeah, it's tough. Like, in these zoner matchups. Oh, like, what a. P oh, no, okay, okay. Guess the tech. That was really nice with the wave bounce down be there. That was that was mix. Oh, nice two frame again. Yep, gone once again. Hitting that again. That's oh, a rough angle. Not gonna rinse nice and repeat. Back. Oh, not enough to kill. Oh, yeah, what? Yeah, very what nice. Going straight, straight out there. Straight out there. He does not care. I mean, what can Robin do, right? Right? You know, once Robin's yeah. out there, what can they do? Just go out there and bully them, I guess. And it, it's it's funny. Oh, too, is that gonna kill? Oh, they no. almost like overthink Levin. You know, like, do I want to use my aerials in this mm. situation? But you could take advantage of that hesitation for sure on Wombat doing just that, but Brian evening it uh -oh. up. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, he knew an air dodge was coming, but it just didn't know where. Yeah, nice little cheeky B reverse there. This could be oh. some damage, but no, unfortunately the wrong way. Maybe some snapback. Oh, he's going for it. Uh-oh. This is a big punish here. He's got the book. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, that's, gonna that's take dead. It. That's dead. Yeah, that uh, that like landing B reverse uh, mix up for DK. It's so it's it's, it's been the bread and butter since week one. That's so it's, mixed. It's like so it'll, it'll all, it will and always be mixed. It's so mixed. It always hits. I I I, I, I got I got hit. Like, yeah, that, that, that that hit me. Like <laughs> I, I won't lie. That second hit, you know. Really I'm not the, ready really for the, the B difference reverse. maker in those kind of situations. Mm. Wombat will even it back up now. Best of five set. We got a lot of ground to work with here. Yeah. I, I'm not sure we're gonna see a switch from Brian. Hmm. It's po like it's possible because it's Brian. But uh, who knows true, what he'll do. True. Oh, we're going to an Amori song. Same stage, again. These fellas do not want to play a stage other than Battlefield. I mean, to be fair, you know, slightly more interesting than PS2, so I'll take it. True. Oh, we, do, we do have the sick mod for PS2. We haven't got to see it yet on stream. Well, streams already see it, but that's, I haven't seen it while I'm on. That's facts, actually. What the hell? No PS2 yeah. in this top Come eight on, what's going all? on, boys? That, that's ridiculous. Everybody grow a brain that's all ridiculous. of a sudden. Like Jazz, Jazz didn't work hard for this. Like, come on, lads. Yeah. Like, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, it's like, like the one week actually, everybody doesn't auto go. That's disrespectful. PS2, like, like, Jazz oh worked God. really hard for that, lads. <laughs> <laughs> just for you to mindlessly pick Battlefield. It's not like this is calculated either. Like, you could just go PS2. <laughs> and I mean, like, it really does seem like the tail of the tape so far, from what I can see, is who can hold stage. You know. Honestly, I think that I think it's just who can punish the other harder because like. The punish games we've been seeing are actually insane. We've seen so many stocks go to like oh well, 0 God. to 70, 0 to 90, 0 to 100. That that was a poke, but if that wasn't a poke, that would have been a shield break. There's kind of like... Oh, nice item play. I feel like so many of these stocks are decided in one neutral interaction, you know? Oh, yeah. Just when the punish is at this level, like, yeah. You just need to win neutral once and suddenly they're 140% nearly. Well, like, even beyond punish, right? The, the advantage that these two characters have is so good. Like, especially Robin, like... He just nowhere to run there. He tries to jump away and like Robin, three steps ahead. Blah blah blah. You know, <laughs> you know, you know. I, I clap it up, clap it up. You I, know, three I steps ahead. <laughs> I, I, I will never forgive the Robin mains for calling that kill confirmed checkmate. Checkmate. Like oh, actually, like, right, bro, actually, bro. actually grow up. Actually yeah. grow up. <laughs> Robin mains on blast right now. Bro, bro's hitting like down throw up air. Is it checkmate? <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like oh <laughs> my god, you're not in Fire Emblem. <laughs> Oh, uh, poor! All all two Robin mains in the world are yeah, so upset seriously. right now. Fran, uh, Fran and Franmo's crying in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "What the hell, man? That's all." I really want to see him use more Domi. I love I love Robin Domi. Yeah, it's it's, it's oh. an interesting one. It's it's like the most like technically a command grab thing in the oh, game. Oh yeah, it's know? yeah, it's straight straight up. Uh, but it has a unique property with obviously the stealing health and that. I mean, yeah, so far, Brian just holding the center. Really I think this game has been a very different, just because it's not like straight up combos. It's just been this like oppressive advantage state that Ooh. Brian's just been holding him down. Like he's just like when you're getting comboed, right? It's like, okay, I can't do anything. I just DI, whatever, I get hit. But like every single one of these, he's like, I can, he's trying to escape and it just doesn't work. Like he's trying, like a neutral get up, gets hit. Tries Big to roll, time. gets hit. Like the advantage state on Robin is just so oppressive. It feels like he can't even do anything. So. My God, and yeah, like oh my God, the book every time he gets a hit, it's so much and damage. And it's so devastating. It does so much. 
the double air fires into Levin Sword, like it does so much damage. I mean, that that is the drawback of DK, you know. Yeah, of course, a, a character buddy. with a fantastic advantage. Oh, oh steal his lunch money! Oh my Grabbing god! Grabbing him out of the berry. How much that's, health did he get from that's that? That's tough. Man. I think like five. It uh, no, he took he got a lot of health back from that. <laughs> Funky's lunch money has been taken. Like all that <laughs> health is gone. Like he's not gonna be able to afford to roll the lunch anymore after that. Like, my God. <laughs> Yeah, that was just a that was a dominating game. That was really dominating. The first game was very close. That was that was one very one sided. It, I don't. It, it, it kind of seems like Brian's like tightening up, tightening up he on his punishes yeah, yeah. as he goes, and it's like like the disadvantage, like the advantage state was just so oppressive in that game. Like it felt like it was nothing one back could do for a most of that. Every hit was sixty or a kill. Yeah, yeah. At, at minimum. And at then you're minimum. stuck at ledge against arc fire. Like oh my god. Like it's just like. What does Donkey Kong well, yeah, do? What's, so what's DK big. doing what about he, He's that, so you know? big, like he's gotta get around this. He doesn't have like that. Like the the advantage state's there, but the disadvantage state is just like mm. it's, it's a function it's, of the design, you know. But to be fair, Robin also has a terrible oh disadvantage. Oh my god, banger! Oh, we banger. got Yodel. Oh, I remember playing Tekken 3DS and having this song play all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's so just a Tekken gas, 3DS man. that no, that game was like nobody played it, but I liked it. <laughs> I believe the song was from Tekken I, I 6. Le I legitimately least. didn't even know there was a Tekken on the 3DS. 3DS? It was great, right? You bought Tekken on the 3DS, you got Tekken 3D, which is basically just Tekken 6, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and uh, it came with a movie as well. It came with Tekken Blood Vengeance, the movie. Seriously? Uh, yeah, oh that movie was such hot garbage, but it was funny. <laughs> like, they, they, they the spoke Final English Fantasy in it. Um, <laughs> there was something really funny in it. I can't remember what, though, but it was a bad movie. <laughs> oh, bit too tricky on that B-reverse there. Gonna drop an early stock for no good reason is Brian, unfortunately. And uh, giving Wombat that kind of leeway could be tough. Okay, well, he's got a ledge trap here. Um, yeah. What? See, like, the, le the, the ledge trap is really where Robin shines, right? Like, that air fire is so... And even beyond the air fire, right? Ooh. Like, the Levin Sword, no oh, even, like, the Bronze Sword doesn't even need the Levin Sword. The Levin yeah, Sword, our normals are so big and they last forever they're out for like 30 frames maybe like there's they linger forever so it's so hard to get off the ledge against this character they're, they're meaty as hell but i kind of feel like i don't know the, the way i think about robin is like robin gets to be a smash ultimate character sometimes <laughs> oh steal his lunch money once again how much money how much health do you get back after that 15 percent? not bad not bad okay keeping it tight <laughs> yeah, now Wombat making good use out of, out of the central platform, and I think the platform layout helps a lot, you know? Because, like, getting off ledge, he's got that much bit more, like, airspace to work with. Mm. In terms of not immediately being trapped. Oh, this is a like punish. Oh, no, you messed up the punish. Is he gonna. Oh, the sword came Ooh. in clutch! Did he know? What is he <laughs> cooking? Did he know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Brian clearly working out of the library here. Clearly. But, uh, <laughs> Hit him with the checkmate, Brian! <laughs> Do it for all the Robin mains out there. Yeah, Brian like adjusting his glasses <laughs> in the player cam like as we speak, like fool. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might back it. <laughs> thought you were gonna do that. That's why I had my sword. Uh oh, oh, we got those ladders. Oh, that's, that's, into no, the back gonna air. Not gonna take it, but uh, maybe on a lighter character. Uh oh, only eight percent. That's okay. Uh oh, oh wow, he just mashed through it. Fair enough. I really want to know who put this on. Cause it's uh, like, I'm pretty it's, sure Brian it's did. It's kind of I'm a banger, but like... I, I think Brian did. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure. Yo, he just oh, he punched the arc it. fire out of existence. Okay, that's going to take it. All right, we got a pretty close game here. A bit of a percent difference, but like in this matchup, it really don't matter. I don't think the percent's going to nah, matter not, too much. not even slightly. It's really just who gets who in disadvantage. And then just exploits them for like a minute and a half. <laughs> that's really been the matchup so far. Yeah, speaking like, of look how much damage he just took. He's on 30. He just took 60 from like two up airs. The center platform put in so much work for both of these guys. Like, oh, Wombat kind of really able to just like stay under it and like shark oh, the for book. bear, shark for up air. Yeah, a lot of weird item play going on here. Not going to lie. Uh, oh, like when you're when you're trying to fight Robin and then like you feel like you think you're going to get a punish and then there's just something hits you in the face and you <laughs> die. Like, it's just like, what the hell? <laughs> it's so annoying. Oh, my God. Yeah, all, all part of the plan, of all course. All part of the plan, of course, bro. <laughs> That's gonna take it. Yeah, Brian. Honestly, the toes on that fair, one. fair play from Wamba to be able to bounce back right there. Because like I, I said it like after the last game, it, it was a tough game, very one-sided, and then just bounces straight back in the next game. Key, like nothing key, happened. Key, key, key stage count mm. pick there. All, it's I all think. business for this man. Like it's nothing happened. It's on to the next game. You have to respect that. And we're going straight back to battlefield once back again. On, back on battlefield once no, again. Nobody's particularly surprised, but. Uh, well, I guess we're just playing battlefield today. I do <laughs> want to see the PS2. Honestly, yeah, get get away from Hollow Bastion. DK with that center platform was oh, yeah. trouble. Oh yeah, no, no, like so he, much trouble. He, uh, that like sets up the cargo throw up air stuff so well. That like platform, it's like safe falling up air, all of that good stuff. 
Golden Vengeance. I don't know what this song is from. It's kind of a banger, though. All right, so the, I like... Oh, my oh, God. Jab oh, one. Oh. Okay, we're good. We can see you again. Uh, interestingly, I think it's odd to see that the, the DK is platform camping the Robin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Not yeah, something right? you thought you'd see. Uh, that's not something I'd see. It, it kind of makes but. sense, though. Run out the resources and then engage, you know? I think he's just trying to be very careful, though, when he comes in. Because look at how devastating the punish game is, you know? He might be... I think he's dead. No, he has jump. He might be dead anyway. No, he's okay. Yeah, not giving up that free reversal there, but... That's tough, you know, Brian, so like clinical, using uh -oh, that like this single is a big hit of funding. The sword! The sword saved him. That was that was almost that was gonna be like forty percent, but the sword said no. That keeps happening, man. Poor Wombat. But I mean that's to be fair. It's like one of the best defenses that this character oh has. Oh my god, actually, the, the helped book him actually, out there. yeah, actually oh steal his lunch money. How much health did he get? Oh, it wasn't that much that time. Yeah, not bad. Keeping a tenuous uh -oh. lead here is Brian, but it is. A, it's still close. Like he can. Def oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Only thirty. Okay, not yeah, the worst. Catching him on the noggin, completely bypassing up the armor there. Some good play, and yeah, it's just like throwing out these projectiles to stop up the. Not something I thought about, but I guess it's a pretty good option. One one neutral win with stage control is a stock for either of these guys. Like, oh yeah. This is What's really really here? tough. Ooh, nice. very good call. Read out. the jump. Yeah. To be fair, Wombat has been good on his ledge trapping. Like, we saw it the first game where he just read the roll and smashed him into another dimension. You know? And, like, while we're here, shout outs to Wombat. Wombat, of course, rocking the four Wombat tag. But yeah, yeah shout, shout, out to, shout out to Wombat. Shout out to Big Ol' man. Such a wholesome guy. Yeah, it's like, pretty really, wholesome. Really I like nice. that. I like that. That's pretty wholesome. Big Ol' Wombat. How old is Wombat? Quite young, right? Yeah. That, like that is young talent. We were 14? talking about James being young talent, but this 14? is young. 14? 14. Something like that. This is, that is talent. Man, it's, it's a young man's game. It's a it young is, man's game, really honestly. Is. Makes you feel old watching these kids play, man. <laughs> 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 nah, we, we've got a rich history in Ireland of like yeah. getting dunked on by kids. Oh, yeah. Know? Like it started like, what? Well, was it Selkie? Sel yeah, Selkie was like one of Selkie, the first, right? Creeper Constable. Like yeah, Creeper. Yeah. Now Wombat. Yeah, Wombat. Yeah. A rich Wombat's tradition of making kids top playing top eight here. Like really good. And doing it with DK, so everybody loves you. Like if you're from Ireland you play DK, you're just like... You're the people's champ. It's the <laughs> you, 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 yeah, it's, it's truly it's, is the people's champ character. It's some shit. Oh my god, frames wow. away from just straight up dying. That's gonna there. kill. Yes. And yeah, true confirm. Uh, Thunder wanted to grab. Kind of, kind of cute. Oh, kinda clean. Big world. Not away. gonna take it just yet, but close. Oh, <laughs> hey, Wombat might be the people's champ of Ireland, but right now Brian is the people's champ for Trinity, right? With the four Trinity tag. Oh Every my god! Yeah. I know you're probably popping. They're, they're holding it back a bit, not to pop off too much for him. It's it's <laughs> it's robbing gameplay. I mean, <laughs> let's be real. Let's Never be mind. Real. <laughs> like, it's just robbing. Nah, okay. I, I love Brian. Brian's a homie, but this is like such a tight set. I really like. I'd feel stupid cheering either way. You know, I feel like both of them are one interaction oh, away. Oh, the up beat going straight that, in. No, that's not dead, right? No way that kills. No way that kills. That that's oh it. Oh my god! That's it. Wombat takes it over Brian. I didn't think that was going to kill. Was that bad DI? That may have been bad DI, may have been fresh. Yeah. Wombat with no w rage. Wombat but just I took mean him out. Uh, yeah, fair play. Wombat out here and has one arena. Make uh, it top eight and then what? Is that fifth? Fifth? Guaranteed fifth? I, I've got to say, Brian played great for the oh, whole set, yeah, but I'm yeah. so disappointed. Who doesn't see Cargo Punch into Up B coming? <laughs> That's every Irish DK. <laughs> And uh, they all think they came up with it. It's game five, all right? Like, you know what I mean? You haven't seen it all set, you know? Yeah, it, 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 okay. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let the man okay, okay, catch okay, a break. Okay, okay. <laughs> fine, oh, fine, fine. Even the commentators, we're not safe here. They're right there. <laughs> we're not safe at all. We say oh one too many God. things, but the players are just going to come up and just end it. Like. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And if there's one thing you could say about the Irish, they remember. Oh, yeah, yeah. Especially with a few points in them. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Jesus. So I know you were really excited by that Robin gameplay. Are you ready for Belmont versus uh, Steve? Is that like something you signed up Belmont for today? Belmont Steve, honestly, sounds great. Yeah? Like, double item play characters are like my guilty pleasure. I don't know. Like, the thing about item play, it is fun to watch. But the thing about item, like, I feel like the physics engine in this game is like, it's tested enough when it's just two characters on the screen. Mm. But then when you have a character on screen that also has items, that just like... The physics engine really struggles a bit. And then oh, now you just yeah. two characters with the items. Like, there's going to be some janky stuff happening. For, from a competitive perspective, for sure. Because it's, it's a nightmare. You know, you got to lab all that shit out. you got to know mm. all the niche interactions. But it's like, as a spectator experience, I think it's completely Oh, it's good. It, it is fun. I love watching items happen. But it is a, it's going to get a little janky. Oh, we're not going to see him, though. We got, the, we got the Sora out here. I do love this mod. 
I love Halloween Town. Sora, okay. Oh my god, yeah, what is with that edgy ass it's, skin? It's, it's Halloween Town, Sora. Did you, play, did you play Kingdom Hearts? Out of here. I played a uh, 365 two days. Oh, I love that game. That, was that good, game's yeah, amazing. That, was that game's great. But uh, yeah, no, Halloween Town, he turns into an e-boy an e that listens to My Chemical Romance. <laughs> and Eb, <laughs> Eb has their Minecraft skin. That's oh yeah, that's, I, I thought that earlier. That's pretty hype. I like that. What's that? <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, we <laughs> finally got it. We got the modded stage. Let's go. And ladies and gentlemen, I know you've been waiting for this. Oh, finally, a game on PS2. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're coming straight <laughs> we back We finally here. got it. No, it looks so cool. I love the purple. It looks really great. I, 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 I'm not afraid to say it. I'm honestly... I actually enjoy watching Steve. I, I, I think it's funny as fuck. I actually oh, really... Time, yeah. I actually love watching Steve. Such Especially since they just do... Like, Steve does have so much funny stuff. Like, there's so much dumb stuff that they can do. And they have the funniest names for their kill confirms. But oh, I, it depends God, on how, yeah. how dumb the Steve's the mob in the grinder, game. The XP like, farm. I, I really hope Eb just starts drawing like L's and dicks on the stage and shit. Like, that's, <laughs> why, like, that's why I live for that. Like, I think it's so funny. It, it could be like so hilariously yeah. toxic that you can't help but... Oh, it's, you know? it's great. Like on stream, you just Hold gotta on. do it for the culture. What does that say? Twin the, craft, the crafting table has a sign on it. Wait, it does? Oh, I'll wait till it's out oh, of the no, I can't see that, yeah. Can't read it. I don't know if I want to see what's going to be on it. It's going to be something dumb as hell. But yeah, well, one thing coming in here is a lot of ledge planking on both sides. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sora loves just putting those hitboxes out over ledge. Yeah, Might uh, nullify a bit of that strong <laughs> Steve ledge traffic. I was saying it to Dara earlier, but there's just something about Sora's, right? When they're off stage, they just absolutely have to just take as long as possible. Oh, to they have back. to. They, they have, have to. to. They, they, they have to use every single B move. and like every, They just have to make it, like just to show that they know how to do it. Uh, you, like they you, just take for yeah, you know the, You know the meme format that's like, you know, there's two paths ahead. <laughs> and one leads to a beautiful castle. It's like, one's so just, back, just get back to the stage. So and then the other one is just like, learn your kill confirms or learn like the <laughs> annoying ledge planking. Oh my God, you see like how much- every single Sora, like <laughs> skirting into Just straight over to just being annoying on stage. I love, did you see how much butter he put? He put him in the blizzard and then he just charged the hell out of that up smash. <laughs> I don't know how I feel oh about that. God, oh my god, with the double what bounce. What is going on? What is this tech? And the minecart body blocking <laughs> the Yeah, that was going on. Oh, he's <laughs> fishing the wrong direction though. He's not as good as James at fishing, clearly. He's throwing his, he's throwing his grab the wrong way around. <laughs> yeah, no, true. He needs to, uh, I don't know, get some tips maybe. Get some real Oh practice. wow, he just, flo <laughs> he just flew away. What is going on? Oh, the minecart. Yeah, what is going on? Boost straight through that. And I've just spotted it. The the crafting table says, ah, got him, GG's. <laughs> got him, GG's, <laughs> amazing. He's got the diamond now, so he's at kill percent here, but he might choose to, to oh, oh. My okay, God. okay. But um, yeah, the diamond is in play now, so probably next stock, see some diamond weapons, which is pretty scary if you're a hackle serpent. And so Sora is literally as light up as kills? light. Well, you know? I learned today that Sora's up throw kills. <laughs> I guess it kills at 180. <laughs> yeah, we got the diamond sword out. Time Apparently, to see some stuff. Yeah. No, I mean, this is going to be tough. Sora's going to die so early to any yeah. conversion. Oh, any you, oh, conversion. Wow. you know that Eb, like has those combos down, too. Like, Eb is such a nerd when it comes to this character. Like, they do all this stuff. They know it, they know it all down. I, I, I remember once I like wrote on the server, like I wanted to learn Steve, and I was like half serious. I wasn't like that serious about it, you know? And then Eb sent me like two, like, like, like just like documents upon documents of like Steve tech. I was like, what the hell? Honestly, <laughs> they are on it, like, you know? It's so good to see like that level of passion though. Cause I don't know, like there, there, there can be a bit of a culture of just pick up a top tier, you know, mm. like half the people in Ireland play Wolf or Palutena early meta. Cause yeah, like how yeah. much do they really vibe with those characters, you know? Uh, yeah, you do gotta appreciate how much time they put into Steve, right? Like let's- Oh, big time, yeah. Like even if Steve wasn't that good or if, got, if they got nerfed, they're probably still gonna play Steve, right? Like they've put so much time into Steve, and their Steve is really top notch, to be fair. You have to do, you do gotta give it to Eb. That their their Steve is 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 pretty correct. <laughs> losing the, losing the diamond sword there didn't even take a stock with it, actually, no, which is pretty mad. Hackle's kind of turned around. Yeah, he's doing Hackle's he's doing a lot of like very specific counterplay, and it's working out fantastic. Yeah, we talked a lot about Eb, but Hackle is cooking. Not bad. Definitely more work to go here. Eb has been an absolute oh. terror in this bracket so far. Oh, I do wonder what the how Sora does versus Steve, right? Like, because to be fair, he's got some solid projectiles. Has a sword. Steve yeah, players hate swords. Like the the thunder does not care about blocks at all. You know? It'd be an interesting one. Like definitely a lot of like multi-purpose tools. Like you know the counter, the projectiles. Oh, he's oh, oh my nice god! Punish. Just runs up and does it. Just played a bit of neutral there. Let him. Oh wow, we got the diamond. Oh no. That's so lucky. You got that in between stocks. Yeah, no, that's serious. Yeah, he, he had enough online. time to mine the diamond. Like he upgraded to iron, mined the diamond, and upgraded the diamond. Like in between stocks. That's crazy. 
Yeah, if, you, if there's one thing you can say about Ebb, definitely They're a They're looking quite low you know? on resources at the moment, though. Yeah, it could be tough, but I mean, how much do you really use Minecart in this, uh, in this uh -oh. matchup? Who knows? Mm. Uh-oh. Oh! No, 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 nothing yet. Oh, they have, like, a mod on the, 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 the Flintstone. It's a different color. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's weird. Okay, Ebb really fighting their way back into this game now. Oh, no! Oh, unfortunate SD. Unfortunate, yeah. A little miscue yeah, there from Hackle. See, see Hackle is the one Sora that doesn't... That You know, we were talking about the Soras, that all they do is be annoying offstage and don't learn the kill confirms. It's, Hackle's different. He took the other path. <laughs> True, the path yeah, less the, taken. The, the one. He, is, he is the enlightened man, you know? Right. I don't think he said that. It's a got to thinking, you know, like hmm? <laughs> a real thinker after that one. Oh yeah. But yeah, unfortunately, Hackle giving up a bit of ground to Ebb here. Oh, uh, it's it's an unfortunate SD going straight to the Richter though. They're just not playing around with Sora. Oh really? Yeah. There's look at it straight straight to the Richter. They're just not playing around. Damn. Yeah. Not yeah. not even thinking about it. No, either. not like not even like like because you could have said to yourself like because he, he was doing very well that game. He was good and then SD unfortunate, you know. But to switch straight to Richter is kind of like. Yeah, maybe the, maybe they were thinking about it. Maybe during stock two, they were. I don't know. Th this is obviously premeditated, you know. Yeah, definitely. Maybe it was the thing of like, oh, I'll go sorry game one. No matter what happens, I'll go victory game two. Maybe I don't know. Like they've played each other before. They've played at uh, they played a kingdom, right? Yeah, so they did. They, that's also, there's also a bit of experience there that um, of like at least how the players play and how they work, right? Like I, they I have know. a little bit of knowledge of each other to to I work know off. Stephen you know? can get like a little bit exasperated about Steve. Ooh. In this thing, it's it's a bit of a mental uphill battle. Yeah, that, that, that is a very clean stock for Ebb. They're barely taking any damage there, just ramping constantly. Yeah, and this like mentally, this is tough for Hackle, you know. How oh, do you he's going to walk him back? down. <laughs> I love that where he slowly walks at you and hits you with the sword. It's so oh, funny. It's so brain. Though. It's so funny. <laughs> it, it's literally just the Minecraft thing, isn't it? It's so funny. Oh, oh. man. Yeah, it's, it's like free update Minecraft PvP. Yeah, did yeah, you, ever you get just into carry that? people into corners oh and then leave God. them in the corner. Oh, did I get into the PvP in Minecraft? Man, I used to grind Hunger Games game modes and shit. Oh, <laughs> so seriously? I was yeah. on it. I was mad into it. It's so fun. That stuff's bootleg as hell, though. I'm so glad they updated it, honestly. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh my, Clean confirm. as hell. Using the item against it. Clean as hell. And, and they, they also have the diamond and the, and, the, and the gold in the back. Oh, and they upgraded oh, the diamond this there. This is rough. Hackle is reeling here. It's interesting there that they actually upgraded straight to the diamond rather than saving it for the next stock. They're looking at They're out for blood. Like, they want to end this game now. And by the looks of it, they definitely can. I mean... Oh, yeah. Like, we've, you know, like they've just been carrying them to 100% every stock, like, so effortlessly. Oh, nice ledge trap. Barely misses the catch on the neutral get up, though. Yeah, not not too bad, but just kind of un, like unable to oh, find this wow. killing catches blow. The oh, the item! And okay. yeah, the, the item play from Ebb so far has been so, yeah, so impressive. Like, I think if you, like, it, it's it's once you have the item, right, how you use it, you know, fair enough, like, people lab that out. But, like, knowing when to grab it, right? Like, because it the bounced off one. their That's shield, the and they one. immediately jumped and grabbed it. Like, they've they've done their research. They're, they're, they're so ready for this, you know? And yeah, oh. of course... I can Catch imagine like a lot of experience against Arya and that kind of stuff, but mm. Hackle is looking a bit lost here. It's looking a bit yeah, rough it's, for it's, Arya. It's tough. We're probably going to see another character switch. Should we see the Terry? To be fair, the Sora didn't do that bad, so I wouldn't be shocked to see another Sora play. The Sora really did. It did pretty good. It's just the SD. Like it happens to everybody. They just, you know? Slightly ill-advised switch, probably. Unfortunately, oh, but yeah, yeah going to eat that anvil. No yeah. chance of you. That was there. A, that, that was that was a clap. That, that game was yeah yeah. You just shrug it off, shrug it off, it didn't happen. Eat that meat, eat that meat. I mean, on the, on the flip side, you know, mm. you, you get your ass beat that badly. Yeah, you just, like, uh, when it's that bad, honestly, at some point, you're just like, all right, whatever. You, you, you come you in know? and it's yeah, like a yeah, mental yeah. reset for you. Yeah, you it's just, like, okay, like, let's, like, let's I, I forget about the conditioning cycle. Let's forget about all this stuff. Yeah, We're going to run like, it from the top. When you get beat that bad, like, it was like, uh, I like I love Elden Ring, I love the Souls games. There's like, when you walk into the fight sometimes and you get hit like twice, you're like, all right, just kill me. This is over. Like, <laughs> let's, just do this. let's just do this again. Like, it's over. Like, yeah, like I'm oh, not going to bother man. just drawing this out. Let's just go. Oh, I love this song. I d I'm not an Undertale simp or San, but I do love this song. This song bangs. <laughs> oh, oh! I love that they get to pick their skin. That's actually so tight. Yeah, we love to see it. And uh, in the player cam, you can see at least one of the players having fun here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a little disappointed that their, their, their skin for Minecraft is pretty boring. You know what skin I rock in Minecraft? I'm a, I'm an Akatsuki Pepe. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm, I'm still rocking the Datera skin from like 2014. Ooh, nice, nice. Yeah, going in the return of Edgy Sora. He's back in. Yeah, business. Sora's back out. I agree with this. The Sora definitely did pretty well game one. 
Um, I don't know how good Terry is in the matchup, but Terry was an option too. I'd but say no. that's dicey. Like, well, yeah. what are you gonna do? Down to blocks? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, Sora was doing pretty solid game one, but honestly, how much? It, like, we, we, we saw game one, and Sora did do good at game one, but on, we're not putting enough credit on Eb here, right? It might not be anything to do with the character, you know? No, like not Eb, at all. Eb, like is Eb, is, Eb is good. Like, you know, Eb, 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 as much as, like, that the second game looked rough, it was rough because Eb was just commanding it. Eb knew exactly what to no, do. All, all of the correct plays, all of the correct like, callouts. Played we're just, very, very, like, well. Which like, is in line. And the setup game as well has been fantastic. Yeah, they're just doing just, everything right right now. Even, like... You know, when you have a block formation to deal with Sora, that's how you know this character's got oh, yeah, back yeah, edge guarding. Yeah. You know, they're changing their block formations depending on like what's happening. Like, it, like they've really done their homework on this. Oh, I love the song. <laughs> it is a bit of a oh, banger. Oh, runs uh, a counter when he's placing blocks. Interesting. Maybe he did counter the anvil actually in the first game. Like uh, the turret dropped anvil and he did slip counter and it worked, which is odd. It's it's true. Oh, oh my God! Get cheese, kid. No. Get get debated. They were waiting. Absolutely they yoinked, were waiting. Yeah. What was he cooking? That's what he was cooking, bro. <laughs> oh, they're always fishing they're for always that cooking as well. For that. Oh my god. But yeah, no, just oh, he doesn't have enough iron there. Stuff. You see, he went for the anvil there uh, to edge guard. It actually would have worked, but didn't have enough iron, unfortunately. See, it's interesting, though, because when you reflect anvil, I'm not sure which oh. hit actually gets reflected, you know? I don't know what happened, but it did 40% when he did it earlier. So oh. it did a lot of damage, yeah. Not bad. Yeah, I don't know, like, definitely not out of the realm of possibility, but Hackle has been struggling to find answers yeah, this whole set. it is tough. Especially in the realm of closing out stocks. These block formations have been putting in a lot of work for Eb here. Oh, no punish on the whiff dash tag there. And actually gets put off stage. Nice edge guard. Is that going to take it? It is. Okay, signs of life. This is doable. Like, this isn't, like, a... This isn't a massive lead. This isn't a massive, like, disadvantage. Like, this is very doable. And, yeah, comparatively, like... Oh, well, the fire just went straight through the anvil. <laughs> that was... Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of funky <laughs> interactions here. For sure. I love the scene characters just walk up to the block walls and just be like, "Uh, what do I do now?" <laughs> it's it, so funny. It's like one of those rom-com <laughs> movies, you know? They're, they're both on like each side. Have like. you ever seen like that like meme of a uh, Pulp Fiction where he's like, <laughs> like, like he's like, "What do I?" Like, yeah, he like, walks <laughs> in from his <laughs> coat, like, where he's like, what, what, "What's the big idea?" Like, you know? like, <laughs> like, what, yeah, or I like Donald like Glover that. walking in with the pizzas. Oh yeah, he's just on fire. Like, oh, he, <laughs> what happened? He's over there doing something. It's like he's a like hitting the ground. Bouncing something. off yeah. boxes. Like, what the hell? Like, what is this block alignment? Do you see that? That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, I could actually just walking right through it. But please draw an L on the stage. Wait, actually, there. Actually, I didn't even. What happened? The, they have the. Uh, Akil is the lead now. What happened to that last dog? I wasn't even looking. Yeah, a bit of good <laughs> play from Eb coming out here. Like you, like you kind of called out these uh, counters, putting in a lot of work. Yeah, the counter is really doing it. Suddenly, Hackle has a huge advantage. Oh, shoot him! <laughs> I love when Sora's just shoot it. It's so <laughs> yeah, he it keeps that. Oh, thing just does on it him. again. Just why not? Just do it again. I think maybe a platform drop uh, execution error there. Just doing an F tilt. Just, yeah, know. sticky platforms in this yeah. game are a really real uh, thing. You when gotta make sure to buff your walk. And oh no, that's uh -oh, dicey. Uh -oh, uh -oh, that's uh -oh, really uh -oh, dicey. Uh oh, 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 what? So much da 61, just like that. My God, yeah, Hackle actually getting caught on the block there. It it denied oh. DI out like completely. Mm. I want what tools are we working with here? They still have the wood, I think. So it's gonna be tough for Eb to find a kill. But oh, they're working their way it. into this game. We got some iron. Okay, we have some iron. Maybe they have a time to build something. The slide, yep, wow. Straight under. And yeah, Eb not willing to gamble on grab at the moment. It seems like the tough one. Hackle's oh. getting more and more comfortable walking oh. around. Oh, Eb said timeout. I, I Eb said timeout. I need resources. They don't no. have a pickaxe. Oh, oh, my God. Just throws out the down smash and gets him. Yeah, gives out the grab at the wrong situation. They're going to eat a hefty, hefty punish. Um, Hackle on the board. Absolutely. Like, I will, I will, we'll put it out there. Hackle's pressure has been very good because like, even if he's not hitting his shield or anything, like, he's not, he's putting him under pressure. Being like, he didn't vicinity. have any time to mine resources. At the end there, his, his pickaxe broke. He was hitting the ground with his bare hands. Like, he had nothing. He had a wooden sword. It's, it's he had no pickaxe. He's just hitting the ground. Like, it is nothing. anti Steve counterplay to a T. You stay mm. in that mid range and yeah, you force you them to guess pressure. repeatedly between mining and attacking. Yeah, yeah. Because, so like, there's not that much lag on mining, but they can't do both. It is it is a tough game plan to execute because it takes a lot of mental fortitude to just stay there and For force sure. that issue over and over. Micro but decisions. Hackle like played that really well. So, that maybe, maybe we're going to see him bounce back. Maybe he's going to take this to a game five. We'll see. We're gonna have to see Eb with the music counter pick here. Yeah, so. Eb with all these Zoomer tunes coming down, <laughs> coming through. <laughs> and Undertale music. Actually, gonna switch skins here. Oh wait, we're going to this a different. Interesting. One? Is this like Dream Skin? Like, 
What is that? Oh my what god, it's is Dream. That? Oh, it's is that dream? dream? I don't know who Dream is. <laughs> oh. Oh, is he got. Is that, is, does, uh, does Sora have loops off forward air there? Yeah. Yeah? I thought he had, I knew he had nair loops. I didn't know he had forward air loops. That's pretty it's, tight. It's both, but they're both like. I think frame perfect or two frame yeah. perfect. Somewhere around there. So you see most Sora is just convert immediately into the off stage situation and to be honest I don't blame them. Yeah. It's yeah. a completely viable win condition to try and execute off, so. Yeah, absolutely. Uh oh, what's the mix here? Oh. Nice. I got him, GG's. There. <laughs> oh my god, the grab has a sign too. Oh we got the, we got the TNT on the platform this time. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm having a whale of a time just with your reactions to Steve things. Oh no, I haven't <laughs> seen a lot of Steve, so it's like whatever I see, I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> it is cool. I do enjoy it, but it is like it is. I daring. got him GG's. I got again. him GG. <laughs> oh he's on the platform now, that was cool. Yeah, Hackle just getting better and oh, better at threading this needle, but unfortunately, not quite there. Chunky backer taking him out there. Okay, it wasn't real, but it worked, you know. Like, fuck, it, it's one of those, you know, the setups that are just a little bit fake. <laughs> yeah, like, just, just, just a little bit fake, not like... Are you, are you, are you seriously going to air dodge up in that situation? Yeah, like, who's, like, who's going to get out there? Like, nah, you're fine. Oh, put a little butter on that up smash, but wasn't able to do it, though. No, oh, point blank fire to the face. Pulls out the gun and shoots him. <laughs> not quite yet, and, uh... I don't know, like still. Oh, what a counter! That's gonna take him out. Yeah, nice. Oh, he just wasn't breaks the crafting. And down table. smash, destroying it immediately too. Mm. That's a that's an anti-resource thing. If you break the crafting table, they have, they have to, to use create another one. To yeah. yeah. Uh oh, he's in the carrot. Oh, he's dead. Oh my nice, god. Nice, nice conversion. Doctor Ebb's wild ride yeah, taking him it. off the side there. Really, really good confirm. Uh oh, they're trying to mine off the stage. Uh oh. They they messed up. They messed up. They've no they've no materials right now. Nobody there. expects the third down. They have smash. just just the last little lick of resources to use the minecart there, but nothing else. Look how bare they are. Nothing. Oh, there. like literally nothing. Literally in the nothing. Tank, yeah. They don't have enough. They can't make a block. Oh, just just one. All right, we get we get a little bit of, we get a little bit of resources going. I feel like that's like such a Steve muscle memory thing of like you don't even have resources, but you're trying to do block place, you know? Yeah, you just yeah. It's like how often, right? Like I don't know how much how much it happens with Steve's, right? But how often are you this low on resources? You know what I mean? It's I don't see it. You don't see it too much. It's a testament to yeah. Hackle playing this match. Oh, nice, what a two frame! Nice. Hackle is playing this exceptionally well. In fairness, Hackle back in the game, and that's the thing too, because like you think of like the results of forcing Steve to guess as you win neutral or whatever, but it could just be you don't let him mine. Yeah, it, it is very. He's so crippled when he has no resources, you know. So the game plan very effective for Hackle right now. Well, so far, because he is at 100 on his last stock, or potentially his tournament life stock, because this is losers, fellas. Yeah, this so is he tough. really needs to he needs to make something happen here. Gets the freeze just about, but Sora is paper thin. Anything is uh -oh. going to take Loops. him out here. No. No, no he's too high. Actually, DIing up there. He learned his lesson from the last confirm. Ooh, this is scary. Oh, just the first hit. Oh, what a read! My god. Okay. Hackle is in this game. Hackle is he, alive he, right Hackle now. Hackle is looking for the kill. Like he's in this game. He 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 tastes. He smells blood in the water. He's ready. Yep. Roll smash attack. No. <laughs> oh. Gets over the minecart. Has thunder here. Yeah. Ooh. Bit of bit of ledge cheesing. Oh, that's yeah, gonna do it. Unfortunate. Ebb with a Close hard game, fought though. game four do win there. Yeah. A hard hard fall. Really really intense set. A lot of back and forth. Do oh got to give it to to Hackle. It is tough. Have to play such a demanding matchup and then, you know, lose in the end. You know, after playing like he had a, such a good game plan, he really looked like he was bouncing back. You, you can't help but imagine, uh, you know. Yeah, it what, is. What if the Richter didn't happen? What if the Richter didn't? What know, if the Richter didn't maybe. happen? You but know? I mean, he did. He did. He fought well in the Sora. It definitely looked like his game plan was working at yeah, times. Yeah, no. But Eb sure. is just Eb is just really good. Eb and it's it's good. devastating too, because like, you can you can stack the deck in such a way that like things could go well for you. But even then, like with a punish game like that, with oh. an advantage state like yeah. that, sometimes it's always gonna be dicey. Sometimes when you're playing against other players and they have that punish game, can feel so like hard because you're like, man, I have to hit them so many times. They have to hit me twice and I'm dead. It's 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 definitely hard to mentally come back from, you know. Definitely, and yeah. like fair play to Hackle for like keeping it as close as he did. Yeah, no, he, he did play well, but well, I mean, he got himself what? Is that fifth? 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 That has one? I mean, it's still a good I result. Think Still, still good. Yeah. I mean, that might have been seven. Might. Well, that, we'll have to see the bracket. But I mean, top eight. Yeah, top eight sure. has one, nonetheless. Top eight has one. Yeah. Great, great feet. Nothing to shake a stick at. This is a re This is no average as one though. This is very stacked.
I'm actually shook. I didn't think there was gonna be this many people. When I signed up, there was nobody signed up, so I was like, all right, whatever. The and then everybody's Dublin here. Month. It's like the only like Dublin events we have at the moment, mm. apart from grind sessions at people's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so know, there's not, everybody no is out here. No like you got that. the Dublin boys. I mean, I came up from Cork to this, you know. Everybody's up to this. Yeah, you know? fair play. Yeah. But yeah, no, definitely. We got like half of the damn PR here, just like. Yeah. Chilling. No, this is such a stacked, stacked tournament. We got Wamba versus Snook. This is gonna be fun. Oh, mm. we can see the bracket now. So that is seventh for Hackley. Yeah. So we got Snook versus Wombat will be our losers. Is this losers quarters? I don't think. Wait. What's that? What? This is losers quarters. So we got Snook versus Dara. Oh wait, sorry. Yeah, we're doing it the top four. My bad. I got right, confused. Right, yeah. Um. But yeah, no, Oop. not bad. This is gonna be an interesting. Yeah. One. No. I don't know if these two have played before, but um, I don't want to call Snook a gatekeeper because he's one of the best in the war in in Ireland. You know. But he really, like, he's a gatekeeper for, like, top three in Ireland, you oh, know? Wow, you know? Like, it's so hard to beat him unless you are, like, top three. Like, he is so, so good. Just, like, really seasoned veteran decision-making. I'm, like, yeah. you know, like, we, we were talking earlier about maybe feed, like, his playstyle, you know, lending itself to, like, reversals on him, feeding his mm. opponent rage. But I guess the character, like, DK, you know, how much mix-up potential do you have to avoid the killing hits? Well, like, one thing that I think is really scary when I see Dara play against new players as well is that I've seen I've seen the song and dance so many times where they actually have a good first game, right? Right, like like the person that like Daryl's played for, they have a good, really good first game. Mm. But he really, really picks you apart in the long set. Like Dara is so strong in a long set. It's top, it's top eight, so it's all yeah, top five. Best of five. He has four all four this time like to learn you because he hasn't played you before, you know. So he really, really does put your play to the test because he will, he will like put that pressure under you, and any cracks that are in your gameplay will show, you know. It's literally just like Fundy's decision making repeatedly. And yeah, he's had it's, so it's much experience. Like you were talking about his adaptation before and you're so right. Like Ooh. just so so good at tightening up yeah. in the right spots. Because like he really he re like uh, like you said, like he really tests your fundamentals. Like if you really need to be at a you need to have a level of fundamentals to really even compete with him. And like it really puts that to the test. And like if you're trying to push into like the top cut of Ireland, you know? This it, is it the really, you have to this go is the, This is the, the level this of fundamentals you got to have. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to be at this level. You got to be able to contend with this man. Oh, oh he's yeah, not going to make it back there. Living there. Good two frame with the F2. Putting him at such an awkward angle makes it impossible for him to get back. Good stuff, honestly. And yeah, he's got the headphones on. So you can oh, tell he's using oh, the audio cue. Incredible recovery. recovery. Yeah, I didn't think he'd be able to do it, but he, he's got it down. And oh. that's tough, yeah. You know that Dara has definitely played DK before. He knows, he knows what to do to exploit this character off stage. Yeah, no DK Dittos to be seen here today. I you wonder know, if he went out. Palu because he has so much experience playing Palu with the DKs more than Min Min. Maybe. I haven't seen much of his Min Min today, actually. I could see it, but I mean, what? It's like the difference between a plus two and a plus three. Like. But even uh, more than that, it's like he's played, he has the experience with the Palu and not the Min Min. Like, he, like sure, the Min Min might be a bit good matchup, but he hasn't played it before, you know? Yeah. Whereas he, he's played this so much, you know? I can see it, man. He eats that. But SDI down and out is actually going to get him out of the uppy in those situations. Oh, he jumps off stage and shoots the lasers at him. Great two frame. That might be it. No, oh, just barely, yeah. barely misses the, the the down air. And yeah, wow, Wombat like really good at making things work with limited resources. Dara really good at making things work with a lot of resources. With a lot, so of, a like lot of re yeah, definitely like you're no shortage of resources if you're playing Palu anyway. No, not even slightly. So any win here is going to be hard fought, but it's making it all the more impressive, you know, like. Dara has his foot on the pedal, but I genuinely think if Wamba takes this stock, it's doable. Oh, it's very doable. Like that'll be a DK with rage, but well, fortunately, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Like it's, it's yeah, the game true. is over. You got back here, game two. <laughs> you know, it is it is tough. Like I can't overstate how hard it is. Like how good Dara is and how hard it is for a player at this level, right? Because like I'm I'm not 100%. that good, but you you're you're that good. So you know, like true. like it's hard to get against these fellas. You know what I mean? When you're trying to break through into that level, you know? Oh, definitely. And I mean, like, you know, Donkey Kong definitely with some good tools, you know, some good ground coverage, the dash attack's fantastic, the backer is fantastic. But the issue is, if you've got no disjoints or no frame data, it's so hard oh, it's, to challenge Palu so in these situations. And yeah, once again, any misface is going to get him eaten by, like, one hit of Nair, and then that's advantage state. Ooh. And it's so, so tough to get out of this corner. It's going to be his life's work if he does. Yeah, it's, it, it certainly is a, such a big body. Like, getting out of the corner is just it's so hard. Especially against Palu of all characters, too. Like, yeah, oh good luck. Like. And Snook on Palu as well. 
Yeah, this no. man has been playing this character since Smash 4. I know it says, it's probably said every time he's ever played, but like, he has that level of pedigree <laughs> from playing it from a different game. Yeah, he's one know? of those Palu mains who like, really loves Palu, but like, they're not kidding, you know? Yeah, like, he actually like, likes Palu. Like, <laughs> not, swears not because she's broken, guys. <laughs> yeah, nice. Optimal punish on that. Gonna punish the last hit of uh, the DK up there. Get that hard F smash. Yeah, you get a like, really hard punish on it, so you gotta be careful with throwing those out. And especially like taking a DK stock at like a reasonable percent is so so important. Yeah, you don't want this character to get rage. DK DK with rage is a character in Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Switch. Like you don't want that. <laughs> you don't want that. Time, you don't sure. want that character with rage. Wow, that Uppy is doing work for Wom Wombat. It took out Brian, and now it's taking out one of Ryan's uh, one, one of one of Snook's stocks. Yeah, not bad here. Shooting I mean, right keeping right. it really tight, and it's only getting tighter. You know, no I jump? feel like he's like working his way through the maze. But the thing is. Like, it looks good right now, but everything he's doing to get in, everything he's doing to maintain advantage oh, and win wow. neutral, that's all data for Snook. Even when he wins, he's losing. Oh, he's dead. That was so clean from Snook. Like, he just, when he, once he noticed he had no jump, he just took it. Like, he just, that, you were dead. Like, there was nothing you could do. He tried so hard to mix up his recovery, too, but there was just nothing that could be done. Yeah, it was, it was the same mix-up from earlier, but Snook not yeah. falling prey to Snook. But, like, what other mix-up does he have? <laughs> he just has to try <laughs> it, you know? He just has to go for it. Uh, oh, big OP. Air dodge. Uh oh Oh, he's okay. In a hurtbox shifting, saving Wombat from losing his ledge trap situation here. But uh, oh, I thought you read the roll. That there, explosive but no flame is fantastic because it gives you a plus on shield situation while you're recovering. Yeah, it's so good. See, so, you know, keep oh, it tight. Oh, reads the jump. Get hits with an air. Oh wow! Oh my Crazy God. Crazy shield break. That's gonna at least put him back into this game. But both. Are, oh, the taunt. Taunt to get by. No, like no, no. a balloon. It's, yeah. this is do we were saying it last game, this is doable. He's we're both on they're both they have the same stock count. That's all DK needs. That's all that's all he needs. As long as you're on the same stock system. I mean definitely some chances here, but Dara's been clinical at keeping Clin him in the yeah, ledge so far. Like Dara just plays this so safe, he knows the matchup too well. Like it's just, it's very tough to make something happen. But I mean DK is not a character to without cheese. Like there is this is there is a way for him to take this stock, and I know that's there. Yeah, but it's like it really is finding the needle in the Ooh. haystack at this point. If anybody can do it, it is Wombat, but it's going to be a toy. Oh, he's using the aerial up, but he's beginning to believe. I thought when I saw he had the fully charged DK punch, that might be it. That could be. If there is a move that'll take you a, a take a set for you, it'll definitely be the charged DK punch. Oh, uh, big time. I mean, we saw shades of it last time against Brian, but uh, yeah, going to need a little oh. bit more to get out of this, this is corner so situation. Cl this is like this is more or less even at this stage, considering how much rage he has. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, he has to go hide it. That was forced, oh, and he's in lag. Is this Back gonna throw gonna take no, him. No, not yet. Not on DK. Yeah. How does he get off the ledge here? Good angle there. Nutri get up, gets punished by the back here. Yeah, very, no, very clean play from No Dara. mix up saving you there, unfortunately. Nothing you can do. You shouldn't have neutral get up, I guess. But like this, like to be fair, very close game. I, I, I was crediting Dara's ability to adapt, but that's game two, and that was closer than game one. Yeah, you know? seriously. So maybe I, maybe I haven't been putting enough respect on Wombat's ability to adapt. You know. No, well, Wombat 100% is a talent, but I mean, for sure. we're, we're going to have to see how much is in the tank, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't doubt that it's doable, but, like, if you want to, like, even get a game off of Snook, it's going to, like... you you got to play really good if you want to take a game off Snook. He's so consistent. And that's the thing, you know, you take one game with a trick, can you keep getting away oh, with that? Yeah, yeah, maybe it might work once, but... Where, well, maybe the switch to, to Donkey Kong and not Funky might be what he needs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, filthy counter picker in the house. <laughs> Yeah, well, once again, just keeping it tight. He's kind of like, he's choosing his options Ooh, like nice pretty time. well. But the problem is it isn't enough, and Dara's doing too good of a job denying kills. Uh oh is he going to die here? Oh, oh just barely enough nice. to kill him. Very nice confirm. I, think I, actually love, I love that he throws the little the taunt, the taunt him whenever he gets the chance. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought he was going to go down there and kill him. Risky Could you imagine business. what a hero he would have been if he followed Palu down there and down aired him? I thought he was oh going to go for God. it. Oh, my God. Yeah, coulda, woulda, shoulda, but it would have been a fantastic play. Either way, still with a little bit of a lead to work yeah, with here. Yeah, he's got the DK punch too. Yeah, he could make something happen. Not bad. And oh, he hits oh it there. Oh my god. 30, solid, just 30% out the bank. I I'm seeing a lot more whiff punishing coming out from Wombat, and honestly, I love to see it. So, Hon so yeah, important great. versus this nair heavy game plan. Yeah, no, uh, DK, great character to whiff punish with. He's got really good tools for it as well, so... One thing that's very deceptive about DK, at least what I feel when I play him, is that backer. Backer's so big and disjointed. It always catches me off guard when I'm fighting DK. Oh, it's ridiculous. I think he was actually fishing for a neutral air dodge there. Wanted to go for oh. the dunk. 
even him right back up, give himself the lead, but oh either God, way, he's gonna get 77% damage and climbing. Can he even survive here? Okay, he, he gets to the ledge. Oh, well, he, okay. He, he just barely makes it back, but he's taking so much damage now. This is tough, but yep, gotta once land. Again, DK with rage. Oh, was that a shield poke? Looks like it might have been. And yeah, I feel nice like grab. Wombat had the right idea earlier. You know, these Nair's putting in so much work for Snook, but just not really willing to roll the dice, and I don't blame him. Palu's such a scary oh. character to have to guess against. Oh, what a strange, very strange tech club there. Maybe he tried to explosive blade? I, I like guess. to think it's intentional, you know? <laughs> he's just he's like putting the fear of God in him. <laughs> he's just letting him know. He's just going to teleport out of just a play. <laughs> you think I can't reach you out there? I can't. Imagine if you just read him doing like early upbeat or something and teleported at him so that he got hit by it. <laughs> uh, just, just a flex, like, just why not, like? My God, yeah, I mean, even, you know. even Stevens here on the last stock of game three. Yeah, Honestly. Snook giving up a bit of ground there, but it doesn't seem to be mattering too much because this that is going to be huge damage. Yeah, even despite that SD. Oh, what another one? Double SD. Oh my, you hate to see it. You really do hate to see it. Yeah, dicey. What's yeah, two what's SDs up? like that. What's Those up? are what's going on? I wish like I like some SDs I can like be like, oh well, you know, you air dodged and they you know, like oh well you air dodged off stage by accident because of buffer or whatever, you know? But those are just like those, like maybe the first one maybe it was a miss input on explosive mm -hmm. flame. But that one, like, you just ran straight off and died, like. Yeah, unfortunate. I think a bit of a fast, un unnecessary fast fall coming in there. You don't need the fast I mean, fall to hit the down yeah. so. Uh, uh, maybe, he's just got, maybe he's just getting the SEs out of his system, you know. I mean, uh, game three isn't the worst time to get that out of you. It's better losing this, losing game three rather than losing game five because you SD'd, you know. That, that's facts, yeah. And I mean, like, SD is not worth standing. Dar is playing this fantastically. Mm. So I wouldn't be too concerned if I was him. But that said, he does still have, like, one more game left to get through. It could be dicey, you know? You're 2-0 up, you're against a heavy. Like, closing it out is like, it's a test of nerves more than anything oh else. Oh, yeah, yeah. And if Wombat has anything, it's nerves. Yeah, heavies are so scary to get, play against in tournaments. And you don't, especially in top 8 too, right? Like, they don't usually make it that fair. So playing against a heavy in top 8 is pretty scary. Oh yeah, you, you, you know something's up at yeah, that Yeah, you point, know this guy's sure. cracked. You know, you're like, oh, crack. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ooh. so far, keeping it tight. Uh, Snook with an entire one stock lead, so not doing too bad. Yeah, he's Wombat a good, kind good, of good strong lead here. Maybe maybe a little bit dejected after all of that. You know, you get one on the board, but did you really? Oh. 69%? Uh oh. Not bad enough. Nice. Uh oh, uh oh, 69 percent <laughs> Is he gonna do it to Honestly, like you, oh, okay. you, you might be thinking like, oh Palu DK, whatever, Ooh. that's free. Man, he almost ran into that force match. I thought it was gonna happen. Yeah, seriously. But like Dara's like minimization of the DK advantage state has been fantastic as well. We're seeing Brian, you know, taking like 80% of an interaction yeah. easily. Snook gets hit by one upper, that's it. Yeah. Well, straight back it down. is also maybe the stage too, right? Like, uh, choosing to go PS2. Well, gives D DK loves PS2. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he gets uh, Ding Dong on the plots. Yeah, but does he get Ding Dong as much as he does in Hollow Bastion, you know? <laughs> oh, true, yeah. Well, this is Wombat's counter pick here, so you'd have to imagine Snook banned Hollow Bastion going in. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess, like, the Ding Dong is there, but it is, like, still a percent specific mm. thing. To be so fair, we haven't actually seen the Ding Dong come out of Wombat yet. I guess it's it, it's in the arsenal. It's there. But um, he's been using those uppers for a good bit of percent. But uh, no, no kills with them yet. You'd have to imagine. And uh, Wombat not falling prey to the Ooh. F smash there. Ooh. I love that one. I love when Dash Tag Forwarder com combos his DK. <laughs> I, think, I love it. I think it's great. Oh. Oh, my God. Scary. Yeah, Snook's in a bit of trouble here. 153 on Wombat, but hasn't found a kill just yet, and is struggling to do so. Nice. Yeah, Wombat at 167. You do not want a DK living this long. Oh, unfortunate. Yeah, no punish yeah. there on the... A few oh. miscues coming in here from Dara, that's but that's kill. a layup. Nice. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Dara really is just keeping it solid. Like, not I, I like that he's not taking too many risks for, like crazy smash tax in neutral or whatever because he doesn't need to like he knows that he just has to put him off stage and he's more or less gets it gets the kill almost guaranteed when he gets him off so stage, much you know? damage off corner situations as well mm. and actually optimal punish on that down air they're going to be able to extend for just one more aerial the damage is starting to rack up now at 61 percent oh now we're at uh, 80. unfortunately oh, giving no up jump. that shield grab a bit no it's starting now just oh, about nice early up to get out there Oh my god, Dara's switched on or something, but the disadvantage state has gotten potent all of a sudden. This is looking tough. Oh! 
We did see a shield break in game two, I believe, but maybe it's possible again. Yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, Dara, maybe not liable to give the same thing up again, but he will have to get out of the corner here. Nice. Oh. Yeah, it's one, good, at the ledge again, it's like, oh. Like, every, any, any hit that Dara is going to hit you with here is going to put you straight back on the ledge. Yeah, where you can tough. very, very much die. Yep, yeah, that's going to do there. it. I mean, not bad, and like, I, I think the key is Dara is not afraid to get the hits that won't kill. D Dara is not afraid just to just play in whatever way he needs to to win. Like, he just holds it down, sticks to the game plan, and like, it just... When someone's like that, like, committed to the game plan, it can feel so hard to do anything. Oh, know? no, definitely. Because like, so many people, right, like, they'll get into a set, then they'll maybe the first dog, maybe the first game, they'll have the plan, they'll be, they'll know what to do. And then at some point, they just start pressing buttons, you know? Yeah, but exactly. Dara, Dara like is so, like, he's played playing. so much, too. He's so, so like, disciplined. He's so disciplined. Like, he's played so much. He's really taught himself to just relax and just stick to the stick to the plan. And honestly, like, you know, unfortunate showing for Wombat, but I genuinely do think there were, like, serious moments of brilliance in there, you know? Oh, yeah. You he saw at some points, like, he really flipped around to this whiff-punishing dash attack style. And yeah. it paid out dividends for him, but unfortunately, just guessing wrong one too many times outside of. Shield. I mean, it's a, it's one of his. I'm assuming. Well, I don't know how well Wombat's competed, but it's one of his. I'm assuming one of his early tournaments in Dublin. You know. Yeah, big time, big time, for sure. Um. Yeah. So no, like great performance from Wombat. I believe that's fifth, fifth, fifth. Yeah, fifth. That was one. Listen. Oh, yeah. No. Great. Yo, yo, you will absolutely. You, you take absolutely that. take that. Absolutely. That's a great result. We got a bit of a funny set here. We got two Zoomers playing each other. We got a uh, <laughs> got James one zero Zoomer and. Zomb Zoomer. Zoomer Ebb. Zoomer Ebb, yeah. Zoomer Ebb. Not bad, not bad. So um, yeah, Steve Falcon. Steve Falcon, that sounds fun. I'm not going to lie. A bit I would, wacky. Um, um, these two played. I don't know if they have, but I'm assuming they've played each other at least. You, you'd have to imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way, like, because, like, right, they both came from the COVID era, right? They both came from the online era. You yeah, know? big time. There's no way they weren't I think I'm, I'm not sure, because there were a lot of, like, Wi-Fi crews, and they may or may not have been in the same crew. I'm not sure. I, I, I think that there there's no reality where they at least haven't played each other before. No, so they definitely yeah, not. Yeah, they, 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 I, I think that this is going to be an interesting set. And I mean, it's interesting, too, because I wonder, will we see the Falcon from James? He has been known it's to counter pick yeah. from time He has to a time. lot of pockets. More pockets than you realize. I think the one that he really uses in tournament is mainly Roy. Roy, but, yeah, um, I've seen a lot of times. He does have Stick a lot of others. He, yeah, he, he uses a lot of sorties and friendlies, so he just likes them. The sword is known to be good against Alex as well, so... Or not Alex, but <laughs> Steve. <laughs> I mean, hey, you're right. I guess you're I'm right. right. So much Undertale music. I guess you, you know Ebb's on stream. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Oh. 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 It goes straight into reverse back there. James I like 102, a combo fiend. Yeah, really what I really... Good. like. So when we saw James last on stream, right, it was against Remy, and he looked rattled. Like, it looked like he didn't know what to do. He didn't know where to pick his spots. So I'm really hoping... Cause like this is a player he knows. I I hope that we see a more comfortable James. Cause like when he's on, like his combos are really like they're a treat to watch. You know. Oh no, definitely, and a really smart player too. Oh, we almost got him with the block there. Yeah, no, just good stuff so far. Both of these guys have been killers. I mean, James, we're like like you were saying earlier, a bit lost against Lucas, but the Steve will be a more familiar yeah. matchup. For sure, for sure. At the very least, you I know mean, this guy coming from oh, yeah. uh, coming from Wi-Fi is gonna know if he yeah, can do a Yeah, he's gonna know how this works, right? He's probably. He's probably part of those Twitter discussions whether or not you should ban Steve and stuff. Like he's, <laughs> he knows the arguments, he knows the he knows the receipts. He's got it down. Like he, he's he's informed to say anything. <laughs> oh my God, and like this minecart play from Ebb has been like really uh -oh. weird. Mm. I really don't know what the minecart's gonna do in half of these interactions, and that's the point, you know. <laughs> yeah, so like, ambiguous. You want it to be confusing, you know. Oh wow, nice nice like the bob upwards on the up to avoid that there. Yeah, it's cute little. I, I think that's so Elijah. funny because like that was pretty much the first like edge guard situation of the set, and Eb knew like I can't recover low eye against this guy, <laughs> and went immediately up like you know, and he he did he went for the low punish, you know. And uh, it's good to see. I mean, like we were saying, James one or two with a bit of matchup familiarity will go a long way, and he's holding this lead pretty damn well so far. Yeah, yeah, it's still pretty pretty close to here in stock. Oh, he's looking for it, and he yeah, gets it. Yeah, misses yeah. the tech, unfortunately. I don't know much about Steve, but you know, I saw that. <laughs> I, I saw the block there. I was like, oh, he's looking for it. He's looking for it. It's so hard to avoid, though. I mean, especially thing, since yeah. it's a tether grab, like it goes so far. And even know? if you know it's coming, it's such it's a so tight hard to deal with. Timing, yeah. yeah. We got the little L shape there. Yeah, well, I, mean, I don't understand, right? Yeah. Why did they give him the flying up? I don't know what that's from. Where's the Ender Pearl, bro? 
Bro, that's, that's the Elytra. When, when was the last time you played Minecraft? Bro, years ago. <laughs> 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 like, but come on, where's the Ender Pearl? Like, that's how you get around. That's, that's, that's been in the. That's been like a Minecraft mainstay for. What the fuck? Better <laughs> part of a decade. No, way. you're you're that's cap. That's so cap. No, serious, nah, serious. nah, 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 nah. Elytra's been around. When if you can fly in for time, nah, nah. All right, or maybe well, I'm just well, actually, I'm, it's not flying, it's gliding. Oh, all right, all right, all right. I didn't know. I didn't know. I'll have to boot up Minecraft when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get back. To the lab, <laughs> just boot it up, yeah. you know. Like, Embarrassed on commentary. Quickly like. throw it up, like you know. <laughs> my Minecraft knowledge has been called out. It's like checking your hand, like okay, so he's gonna burst him with the uh, <laughs> mine cart. <laughs> Uh, but most of my time playing Mon Minecraft has been modded Minecraft. Have you ever played Pixelmon? I love Pixelmon. Pixelmon. No, so, actually. So fun. It looks so weird, man. All like the blocky models. Oh, it's so jank, Nightmare but it fuel. is a lot of fun. Nightmare fuel. And yeah, James 102 just, you yeah. know, having we're a bit of wisdom, like not getting not getting the wool pulled over his eyes on any of these setups. I mean, we're seeing it again here. Ebb with like no resources. Is there something about, like these players just know how to how to keep the pressure on Steve, right? You know, Ooh. Wow, what an edge here. That was really so good. So clean, so clean. Yeah, not too bad. James 102's lead has kind of evaporated, but uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, and uh oh, this uh -oh. Is tough. Now. Oh shit, it's a zombie at nighttime. He's getting clapped up. Oh my god, my that god, was crazy. That actually was all true. That's insane. The the only counterplay you have there is you could wow. di in to try and not get sweet spotted. Damn, Eb. That's all. Know. That's all you got. Eb's got it. Eb, Eb, what? Are, why are they cooking? That's what they're cooking. That was crazy. I, I, oh <laughs> I, I when I saw the, the tap, 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 I was like, oh, that's funny. You know? I was like, oh, it's the Minecraft. You know what I mean? It's and then boom. Dead. And then like you're actually dead. That's crazy. I was not ready for that, but. And that that's tough too. Eb, oh, if, what the cloud? If you're James. Cloud. James up two whole stocks. We got cloud strife in the building. From James? I could see it to be honest. He's playing the cloud man. I, you know, I, I know, I know a t thing or two about I this guy. I fuck with him. <laughs> yeah, no, no we're Mr. gonna be seeing. Mr. Backer is in, is in the building. I was baby. gonna say Backer the matchup has just begun. <laughs> we're gonna see if uh, James's cloud has what it takes. I like that. Um, Eb knows the cloud. Like, so they immediately just walk out the gate up tilting. They're like, this fella is gonna try jumping me and Backer. Yeah, so they just time, walk out time. up tilting immediately. Like they're ready. And yeah, this is the danger about counterpicking a character specialist, you know? Mm -hmm. Chances are they're gonna know their bad matchups. Oh, a there's lot no way that you're a Steve player and you don't know the cloud matchup, you know? Especially an online Steve player like Ed. Oh, big time, yeah. But so far, I mean, going so well. So far, Cloud's looking great. Sorry, we do actually have a cloud specialist on the mic. Ribbit, what's, <laughs> what's your analysis here? Well, what do you think uh, James is gonna need to do to take this game home? Um, well. I mean, so far he's doing a lot of back air, which is good, right? <laughs> like, <you> can't, <laughs> can't, I, I'm not gonna cap and say he shouldn't be doing a lot of back air. I would like to see more forward air. I like, I think Cloud's forward air leads to a lot of great opportunities. Uh, that's probably the only thing I would say. But so far the Cloud is looking very, very clean. Uh, I'm not sure about these blade beams, but maybe he probably knows something about the matchup. I don't. Well, I mean, that's I about the size of it, yeah. Oh, camp wow, mid range. Nice, nice oh my punish. god, parrying that? I would, I would definitely feel like as a Cloud here, you would rather. Rather, oh, uh, that was that must have been a misinfo. He wanted limit blade beam, I imagine. But um, I would probably put more of an emphasis on either charging limit or just staying at least somewhat close to them rather than shooting blade beams, you know. But um, yeah, like maybe the blade beam does a lot to the blocks. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's not oh, bad. You, big chunky forward air. You'll still probably rather take back air, but it's the, this whole idea of camping mid range really, really hard. You know, we were talking about lack of materials Ooh. earlier, and assuming uh, Eb doesn't get. Uh, James 102 nice, for off stage nice. for too long. These materials are going to be a struggle. You're going to have to constantly second guess every time you have okay, to mine. Expecting a roll. I think it's a, it's interesting when you see a cloud player. Um, one of the first things you want to look to know what kind of cloud player they are is how they use their limit. You know. True, and, uh, actually. Yeah. Interestingly, there James is very quick to the trigger on it. You know. Uh, I think it's okay to do that early on in the set, but I think you definitely got to think about holding onto it a bit more. Because more than yeah, anything, definitely, it's an incredibly threatening scenario. That's the thing. Like, not even it's not even about hitting the limit. It's just about scaring the fuck out of them. You know? Wow! Oh, what? That's the thing. Oh my god! He had time god, to that, get a block out that during that. Crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Huh? Oh. All right, see you. But yeah, no, uh, James, once again, sitting on an entire stock lead, but we've seen this before. Oh, oh that was oh, class! That was god dirty. Like, Oh, that was sick. I dirty, like that. what the hell? 
All right, we have the limit on on, on board here. Oh, it's the little footstool. Oh, you fool, you cretin, James. You're trying to falling up here. Don't you know what game this is? This isn't Smash 4. It's not going to work. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then that, that little micro situation there was so funny. James with limit in shield, Ebb repeatedly up tilting. Like, go on. <laughs> go on, use your limit. He did, he did use the limit up. Use up your up limit up. Right surprisingly, now. a pretty, like, limit up is a very good out shield option. That will kill, like, later on, you know? Oh, big time, yeah. Don't really want to give it up that early, but I guess that was Ebb the process. Ebb is getting very creative with the way that they're trying to anti your cloud right now. Like, they're they're jumping up and putting a block and then charging an S-Smash to catch a full up. It's a, such a weird way to try to punish it, but I, I'm, I'm with it. I think it's cool. Steve uh, is such, like, a real paradigm breaker, you know? Yeah. He's really making us, like, rethink the way we think about, yeah, like, it's, positioning, it's crazy. neutral I, advantage. It's, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I think it's really cool. I, I really like that they, they have that... They can explore the game in new ways like that. 100%. So much room to grow and like be creative. Always put the little upside down L. But yeah, once again, I don't know. Ebb's brought this back and we've seen if Ebb can get it to last stock. It could be really, really dicey, especially with an exploitable recovery like Cloud. James 102 is still oh, going to have to play here. this to perfection. Oh, we've, seen, we've seen the Ebb punish game. You don't want to be given Ebb free punishes on your up like that because that could be the end of it. Like, Look how much damage he's put on already. Yeah, just about not taking it out there. Got the limit online. Oh, no ledge kill. trap. Nice ledge Yeah, trap. there we go. Not bad. James getting himself uh, yeah. back on the Great. board. Good, good ledge trap. Uh, to be fair, it's so tough to get off ledge against Cloud Limit, isn't it? Oh, what do you, what do, you do? Like, oh, the Limit Blade Beam's going to catch, like, anything. It's just Shield for three seconds. Stand still for yeah, five seconds. Like, jump back off I, stage. I, I, think it, like, I think Limit Blade Beam might even catch everything. It's just all timing, you know? Oh, so yeah. You, gotta, you really so, got to. So it's so good. hard to get off ledge against. Yeah, I mean, James 102, you know, definitely. Cloud's, Cloud's working out. Cloud's taking the game, you know. The, cl the Cloud counter counterpick you didn't know about. He didn't want you to hear about, you know. Not too bad. And no no zero to deaths this time, but still like zero to 70s, zero to 80s, all of that mm. good stuff. James definitely not getting off scot-free in these situations. I, I want to see a finishing touch. Bro. Uh, maybe I'm asking too much. <laughs> I don't know. What I want to see some. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of funky. I think it's more Delta Rune to be prob probably. I can see it, yeah. It's yeah, got Toby it's, Fox yeah, energy yeah, it's, for sure. So it's... Yeah, <laughs> I think that you're li unlikely to hear some sort of like bit music that isn't going to be Undertale, to be honest, on the setup. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, Cape maybe there might Cape be some story fans in the Ooh, chat. I would love some Phoenix Wright music. That'd be awesome. True. But I, I want to see a finishing touch. Maybe I would love to see some janky situation with the blocks, and he just mashes finishing touch and it works. That's what I want to see. <laughs> I think that'd be funny. Oh, nice. Nice yeah, double back here. There. Ooh. Yeah, not quite. Actually, gonna get out of that punish situation scot free. Yeah, it took. Yeah, it didn't take much. Uh oh. It's okay. Alright, spacing them out with the back airs. Oh, the commits to the full thing of the side B there. I mean, so oh, far he's in limit. Oh! Nice! Oh, he gave me what you I wanted. You manifested it. You manifested it. I made it happen. I'm gra that, was, that was very, very clean. Great, great punish. Completely, uh, totally optimal, too. Oh, yeah, no, fully. Like, literally the best what way could you could have done, done better? in that situation. Killed him at 60. He was at 66. Well, he was 65 and he took one damage from the fucking... It's an <laughs> interesting so anti-blade beam option. It's so funny that finishing touch is 1%. It's such a <laughs> random thing. Like They were like, you know, let's just make it do 1%. Like, why not? I mean, true. You're not there yeah. for the damage. <laughs> like. Uh-oh. He's doing it. I don't know why he decided to do that when he had limit. I, I felt like that limit blade beam was 100% coming. <laughs> I think maybe a whole bit of like... You know, I should camp out this meter. It makes sense, but not against that limit blade. Not, again, not against limit. It goes so far below the ledge. Oh, oh! I was a trade with the first hit. Side be there. I like the very like. This is such a different style of like. So like we saw the Falcon game one, right? And he was on his ass. Like he had barely any resources. But this this, this, this pace is so different. Like Ebb's almost got like full like the, you know bear for the 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 blocks and stuff. But he's down a stock, and like it, it, the lead, the lead is only growing for, oh. for for James. Good throw there to to even things out. But it's yeah. such a different like pace than like the the, the Steve sets we've seen so far in top eight. Oh, big time! And it's working out for him too, you know. I guess he's that's not the really difference like giving up any free position. Oh, like nice catch on the neutral get up with the back here. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I wonder if him going into the limit there was bad. Yeah, uh, yeah maybe, I, I was thinking he that falls maybe faster, mess right? up the wave, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh that my god. Out. I would like to see um, him using the limit for movement purposes. Because I, I, I think, especially when you need to navigate. Oh, that's going to kill. That's that's brutal. Good that was at like 50, 60 ish. Jesus. I didn't even know if that was the right DI or not, but I'm not sure what it mattered. Oh, nice. 
Well, I'm a big fan of um, just using the, the limit just to just to get in, right? Like, so you have to get around these blocks and stuff, and the the adva the, the increased movement really helps. Like, is you can throw out back here so much faster. That's, any, that's a very interesting point, actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh in my God! I'm smashing him out there. What the hell? Ooh. Yeah, it has to land. Oh, on he tries to snipe you there. Yeah. Maybe. I thought he I thought he did up you. I was like, no way. That's gonna nice. no. Nah, that's not gonna kill. That's oh, not gonna what? kill. Yeah. I was like, there's no way. I've never, I haven't seen that kill move, that move kill in so long. <laughs> yeah, not what it used to be, for sure. Oh, it is. It's, it's falling from grace, but it's not a bad thing. Oh, okay, just raw dash tag. Great, nice whiff punish on the grab. I he mean, was, the, the, there was a smell of want there. James James, James could smell the want off him. Like, he put the block, you know, he was looking for a grab tick oh, again, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I mean, so, we, you know, we saw game one, yeah, too. Like, yeah. James just waited for the grab a chance. and finished it. It was a good idea, to be fair. He was down quite a bit, I think. In percent, so it wasn't the worst show. It's it's always interesting. Like people talk about like risk reward a lot with these characters, mm. and the risk reward on like grab in that situation. Oh, is it's so, so good. skewed in Sea Saver. At least there's a tell because the block is there, you know. Yeah, but, um, true. Yeah, it is very, very, very much in their favor. But cloud J really James working out. Is this the first time he's used cloud in tournament? Um, I think it might be. I've yeah. I don't even think I've seen his cloud in friendlies, honestly. I've seen his Ike. I've seen, yeah, I've like seen the Ike. I've similar. seen the Roy, but the cloud is a new one for sure. Cloud's a new one, yeah, for sure. I mean, like, I, th if I think it's nice too. If you like can play sorties, like, you're gonna be able to play cloud. Like, let's just, yeah, like, it's not, it's not gonna be too hard. One hundred percent, big time. And the game plan, you know, it's not, it's not exactly rocket science. Let's be real. Mm. Yeah, you just gotta throw that big old sword at them. Oh, I like, I love that. Oh, that's my, uh, my favorite thing to do is cloud is just to. Jump past people, cross them up and back here. <laughs> I <laughs> love doing that. It's so fun. Is that? Did I see an Among Us? Yeah, it's the Among oh, Us shield. Jesus. Oh yeah, there's shields in Minecraft now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, grabs in the wrong direction. Oh, yeah, barely doesn't get grabs, the, doesn't so. get the sweet spot there, but that's dangerous. Like once you're after taking Cloud's back throw, you gotta be careful because that is a mix-up situation. There is a lot of things Cloud can do to Ooh, you there after so eating that. So good. Yeah, no, this is this is like the win condition, and James is doing it to a team. Oh, his Jesus. corner pressure has been phenomenal all set. Oh, why wow, the block? The block stop that? Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, no punish. Uh oh, he might die here. No, he's okay. No jump. No jump. Getting a nice still no jump. Cheeky bit of a punish. He doesn't have a jump. Go get him. Get him. Nice. Yeah, fair play. <laughs> I, I, hope there, I he, hope he couldn't hear me there. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking reverse snare, but back air will absolutely yeah, do the job. The back James, there. once again in the driver's seat. I don't think there's a single game in this set that he hasn't started with a lead. Yeah, he's been... since. I mean, there was the Falcon game, which went was very in Eb's favor, but since the clouds come out, it's been nice. all—it's been very, very clean play for him in the cloud. I wonder if James even told anybody that he had the cloud ready for this. <laughs> I, honest, I wouldn't be shocked if he just was at home thinking to himself, I'm going to pull out cloud against Eb if I have to play them. Maybe he was looking at his projected bracket. And it was th just put some work into it. Who knows? But even then, like nah. he's gonna come into Ebb nah, at some stage. Nobody you know? does that. Ah. Nah. Oh wow, oh, that's just gonna do no, it. No, 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 no. James, what happened, man? Losing a not oh. too big. Uh, they of have a the lead, diamond sword now, so this is scary. Uh oh, you went for falling up there, you buffoon! Up air, you yeah. fool! It's not a thing just anymore. Don't go for it. Like I know it's. Uh, you have to go for it because it's cool, but like it barely ever works. <laughs> Yeah, it's so tough. Any hurtbox shifting on the part of Steve will get uh -oh. him out of here. He is in limit now, so like he can move. He can do combos here. He has the threat. He has the mix-up available. Oh, he just spends it there while well, he was farming all the way from up there. Oh, no jump. Oh, nice. Yeah, really his, great his, his juggling is getting yeah, better this, and this better as the set been goes very on. Good. I think that's 100% unanswered. I mean, not bad, but we did see Ooh. an entire stock from Ebb unanswered, so James does have his work cut out for him. This back air is not going to be staled here either. Oh, nice, gets it with the, the limit, nice. limit blade beam. This is a very doable stock. If now, there's anything Cloud can do, it is less like, oh, no, he's dead. Oh, he barely made it back. My god. Are we going to see, like, a game that Cloud steals from Steve? It's possible. It's more likely than you think. <laughs> oh, he's dead. No, yeah, no jump after that, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, Cloud, like, what? He hits you, like... He gets like two neutral wins and suddenly you've taken like 70%. Like he can make the comeback so Or like back easy. air fair, back air limit cross slash, all of that good stuff. Suddenly you're just at like 100%, like just that fast, you know. Or, dead, one, or dead at 40. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, you just get finishing touched again. It did, was that? He landed the finishing touch in that game, right? I think it was the was last this the one. game before? Mm. It was game yeah. two, yeah. Punishes like that are really going to set the pace of this set. Like being able to get a punish like that off is really going to like put that game in your favor, you know? Nice. 
Nice, we got the guys. The let, let's rhythm. get some love for XC3 in chat. Uh, XC3, I don't know if you're playing XC3. Uh, of course not. I'm not playing that weeb trash, bro. <laughs> bro. I, I know you're uh, a JRPG head. Sorry, I'm not JRPG. a JRPG head. Okay, I like J some JRPGs. No, don't even, don't even try in front. What I do know. you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? I like you like Fantasy. Pokemon, don't you, buddy? I like Final Fantasy. I like Pokemon, but uh, no, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't really fuck with Xenoblade, unfortunately. I tried Xenoblade 2, and I, no, nah, that game was trash. Oh, well, yeah. I heard Xenoblade 2 is actually just bad though, so yeah, I might Xenoblade like the 2, yeah. I might like the first one, but yeah, this, the, the first one looks a lot better to me. But uh, the second one, I played a bit of it. It was. Nah. I think mechanically it was an improvement over the first. Story wise, no. Nah. Yeah, character design, no. Nah. Yeah, gameplay wise, it wasn't bad. I didn't mind the gameplay, but Jesus, the characters in the story was. Oh weird. I just yeah. Couldn't. No, something fierce like oh. for sure. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't get him out of there. It's so funny when you just get nabbed by the main character. I don't know. Yeah, but then Steve can't follow up, so you're just yeah, kind of chill. You're just kind of chill, I suppose. It looks so funny, though. Yeah, not bad. Once again, a corner situation. Gonna let the limit blade beam. Oh, sorry, yeah, limit cross rock. slash rip there. Let it rock. I mean, it does a good bit of shield damage, I guess. That's helpful. And in the corner especially, like, you bet on an up smash, you bet on an F tilt. Yeah, like, I mean, honestly, after after shielding, like, one, maybe two back airs, that limit side B will break your shield. You have to be careful. But once again, you wow, know, the patience from James just standing completely still and letting him back off. Like he he quite literally did not throw the move. He stood at the edge and Eb ran away to the other side of the stage <laughs> and, and he and got and backstage and control. And check out this. <laughs> like, look at that. Eb, look at his Eb, neutral. Eb inviting James to the housewarming party. Like come in, <laughs> man, make yourself a home. Oh, what oh, a throw. Let's it rip once really again. This calls him out running at him. That was really good. He knew he was going to run at him there. That was really smart. It's that conditioning, right? It was only because of stuff like him just standing there. That would make Ev run at him, you know? Which oh, le lets time, yeah. him do stuff like like just throw out the limit side B and gets the kill. Like his no, conditioning is really paying off here. He's looking so good in really, this game. Really, really smart player. Yeah, good no mash out there. If you mash out early, you could get like a follow up in a position that you don't necessarily need to get hit in. James, getting the better out of that situation for sure, but it's still going to be dicey. This Steve has proven to be an absolute menace in terms yeah. of advantage. Oh, yeah, it has. I mean, we don't want. We, if for James to say we don't know, we want to see another zero to death. <laughs> it's, it's it's on the cards though. It's never not on the cards when you're playing against this character. Yeah, not too bad. Oh. Okay. Yeah, uh oh, oh, oh. Okay. I thought he was gonna go for oh, a, a, a little a little risky tech chase there. It's so, what? Oh wow, that got that him. Caught him. Yeah. Oh I'm my so god. So far from downtown. On that platform there, it's like C4 on steroids. Like it's actually. Oh yeah, insane. yeah. It's so big and like it's so like non. It's so, it's like not risky at all to Steve. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> like they wanted it to be like Steve has to avoid it as well, but it's so like not an issue for them. There, there, there's know? actually <laughs> like an individual hitbox for Steve. Oh that's yeah. Smaller and it can Bruh. only sour spot. Oh my god, <laughs> that's so dumb. <laughs> so yeah, like just in case, you know. Oh, we got the limit here. Okay, yeah. I thought yeah, reading the roll. You always know the cloud's gonna be looking for that when they have a limit when you're on stage. Like, <laughs> oh my god! Oh wow, that was a new weird option. Maybe he was trying to spike him. It, it extended off the crafting table yeah. too. I wonder if there's something you could do. With oh, that. oh my treats. god! That just kills. And it works out. James in pole position to take this second. That was a great. Finally, with a lead, one stock left. He needs to take this home. Oh, just throws away the limit blade beam again. Doesn't need it. Yeah, who needs that? He'll get another one. It'll be fine. Yeah, once Big again, corners. Elytra Tricks being called out here. James in the corner playing oh, so patient. Just it again, I guess. Oh, wow. Just, that is four dash attacks unanswered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's throwing it all of this meat out. He's throwing all these I attacks out. I, I really don't know. Because the only thing that would have punished was Eb doing Elytra again. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> <laughs> maybe a little bit of disrespect here coming out. But uh, Eb, not going to fall victim, unfortunately. I don't know if you want to be throwing out disrespect like that in game five. You need to be getting your game face on because this is... You're down a stock here. This is a very healthy lead for, for James, you know? I mean, big and this time, is tournament things, stock. Are look, things are looking tough for Eb, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, like, not that many resources. Cloud has limit. You're on your last stock. This is, is tough. Oh, that might be nice. Oh, no, he's got limit. He'll be okay. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Pineappled under the blocks. Wow. Eb evens it up once again. Damn, this is that terrifying. Just, it just works. Okay, this is... This is oh, he's looking for it. The, you know that any... I've said it so many times during this top eight so far. But if any character can, you know, it's going to be Steve. You know what I mean? Oh, it's going to be this God. guy. Yeah, this is so Oh, wow, tough. the standstill again. The nerves of He's steel. staring at He's burning holes into him right now with his eyes. Like, he's just staring him down. They're actually just, like, doing so much <laughs> stat next to each other and do nothing. Yeah, it's crazy. I feel like they're trying to, like, play a Genjutsu on each other or something. Like <laughs> All right, yeah, not too bad. 
James once again keeping a vantage state, but he needs no to close it out here. Doesn't pull there. the trigger. Could have limited up either. Could have done anything. Back air, not quite. Oh, that's gonna. Oh, he fell oh, out of it, and he's dead. Oh. No. What a way for the set to end. I mean, he fell out of the limit side B. You know, there's no limit side B would have killed. It's not the worst. He, he fell out of the limit side B, buffered in there. It's a, a little bit uh, unfortunate. A little. There. I s even I'll even if he didn't, like he, he, James is still in a really good position to just down air him. So. But, but so would he have gone for it is another question. So but, good. Yeah. Guys, that will be the end of Ebb. James102 moving on in the bracket. Mm. It's been an absolute pleasure yeah, commentating It'll also be the end guys. of us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're, we're about we've to be heading We've got the top off. cut, top four, the four killers remaining in brackets. So stay in shoot. A lot of really good matches coming up. Guys, it's been fun. I've been Popstar. That's uh, Rivet here. Yeah. Thanks All for right, having me take on. It easy, we'll see guys. you later, guys, in a bit. Yo, what's what's up, everyone? Welcome back to As One Arena. We've got top four coming up for you guys today. I'm Hammer. I'm, I'm joined v today by VKC in apparently the Italian flag. This is not coming out well on the oh, camera yeah. at all. That but, is uh, so red. Forza Italia. In real life, too. Forza Italia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we got a great set here coming in. We've got Remy, an invader from the United States of America, oh. Kelly. This guy is unstoppable so far, let me tell you what. He plays Lucas, mm -hmm. and he's got all the tricks. We, he, I've seen same. him do crazy edge guards. Um, his neutral's really solid. Uh, he doesn't just spam PK um, mm -hmm. freeze. He doesn't spam anything. He doesn't <laughs> spam. Yeah. But, he's just, yeah, he's super solid. He's beaten everyone so far. Has he dropped a game? No. Uh, In fact, he's been so. three-stalking quite a few people, yeah. myself included. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I've been talking. I was talking to Salki just before this set, and Salki right. does intend to play Pyromithra first, just because Pyromithra is a better in the matchup. Right. But he has a lot. Of, he has a lot of experience in this matchup with Pajena, so the Pajena might come out later. Oh. I didn't think anyone had a lot of uh, experience in this matchup in Ireland. We don't have a Lucas in Ireland. Yeah, I guess you get the Wi-Fi Warrior. You know, that's that's Salki's real strength. You know, I think that's why Salki yeah. does so well. You see a regen last week. Salki on the biggest run of anyone oh. in Ireland. And that's a uh, Wi-Fi practice. You get like the de the the depth of matchup experience. You An know, incredible run. What? Well, uh, 30, oh. No, 17? Uh, 20, yeah, 20, I think so. 23rd? Might, might have been 25th. 20, 20, 20, 20 25th, sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is a Lancelot, though, who'd been upset. So that's not a bad run at all. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, that's oh. it? No, that's not that's stuff. Yeah. And here's another thing about Remy, right? Remy played a lot before COVID. Remy beat Chag, yeah. top player Chag, at Genesis 7. But the thing about or that like is. like slag, am I Yeah. Right? <laughs> 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 oh. But the interesting thing about that is, Remy does not have a experience against Fighter Pass 2. Remy right. has been playing as much since COVID, so. This is interesting. You might have experience in this matchup, so yeah. we'll see how this works out for him. And I was talking to Remy just earlier as well. He is feeling quite tired and exhausted, I think, just from... Mm. He's here on holiday right now. Yeah. Um, this is like a stopping, a stepping stone for him, right? Yeah, yeah. So he was in um, Aberdeen, I think, he said. He told me mm. where he went before, so... Uh, it's been a very long trip. He's been yeah. playing a lot of Smash today. He's been it started early, you know, 12 o'clock like everyone else. And yeah. I mean, he was telling me, like, last month he was in Africa doing military training. Yeah. Because wow. he's, 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 he's in the U.S. Army. So, like, this That's guy's been insane. traveling a lot. He had a cliff of Moher. Oh, very Oh, nice. the down smash. Great catch. He was a cliff of Moher yesterday, and now he's here. And, of course, he's going to be wrecked, yeah. you know? Exactly. He's going to be super wrecked. Uh, but he's having a lot of fun. I think he's really enjoying the time here. That's good. Um, That's good. He's As going to. He's going to. my heart. 
He's going to enjoy it more, I think, if he gets this W, which I think yeah. he's capable of, but it's not going to be easy. We know what Selkie's capable of. We've seen Selkie take more than one as one arena at this point. Yeah. Oh, the PK freeze. The Perfect night. game. Yeah, that was so good as well. And yeah, that's like Selkie definitely having a bit of a lead here, but Remy's at punish game and vanish state is so immaculate. You yeah. hear this a lot, like Europe's more neutral, America's more punish. And you see that with yeah. like this, oh, these cannot escape. Down here. No. And this Oh, that's unfortunate. You hate to see that. Such an early kill. Yeah. And now Remy is going to kind of try to run away with this if they can. Mm, and it's that, that, that situation, situational awareness Remy has, you know? Like yeah. once you're disadvantaged, he knows exactly what you're going to do. Yeah. And he has so many tricks oh. that you just will not be ready for. Oh. Oh, oh, like that! Like that, ladies and gentlemen. That is the game. And what would look so clean for yeah. Selkie was a two stock, a clean two yeah, stock. Yeah, exactly. Like, Selkie got that first stock. In just a minute, that switched, and that is out of advantage stage. Can we talk about that uh, shield break setup for a second? What was that? That was like... I'm confused. It, there I'm was some shield pressure. It was like jab, jab, and then up smash. Yeah, and that's the thing, right? Like, that was a read. Like, yeah. in that up, up smash is, is like the slowest up smash in the game. He knew yeah. Selkie would wait in shield. He yeah. knew Selkie was afraid and had that hard call out there, and that was fantastic. It's such a good call out there. Selkie going to clean their glasses. Yeah. No. That's great. why. That's why uh, Selkie lost that match right there. Yeah. I'll just See, uh, a, a, a straight a straight two stock. I think would have been fine, but the fact mm. that it was a reversal like that, yeah. I think it makes it all the tougher for for for, for oh. Selkie right now. Can we talk about the modded setup we have today at Aswan Arena? <laughs> We're getting <laughs> Undertale <Ooh>. tracks. <laughs> We're getting Shout the Undertale Fox. tracks. Toby Fox. Shout out to Toby Fox. Yeah, I, I was kind of shocked when I heard them earlier. The, the, what a cool thing with this modded setup is you can play yeah. any song on any stage. It's exactly. really cool for players. It's really good. The, the music counter picks are real. You don't have to go Battlefield. You don't have to go SBS. You don't have to go FD. Yeah. Whatever you want. You can go wherever you want. And we do see the Palu here. This is more of a comfort pick for Call. Yeah. All the matchup might be as good. He knows how to play this matchup. He has yeah. experience in this matchup online, and he'll know what he's doing here. Let's see how we get on with this Ooh. matchup. Game two. Oh, great use of that f tail. Oh, I love that. I love, like, Selkie, if Selkie's known for anything with the Palu, if we to any of our Palu in the world, it's the explosive playing usage. Yeah, like, such stylish combos, such amazing plays and reads. It's really cool to see. Yeah, absolutely. Here we're going to see, oh, misses the tech read. Down okay. throw, fair, just classic, get some damage on. Oh, but oh. This is I like it, though. You saw how Lucas is when they try to get, like, the infinite loop. Yeah. But really, in the end, even if you do the loop across the stage. Oh, oh I thought there was going to be something after that. God, that's crazy. Like, exactly. Even if you leap across the stage, that's there. It just you get like 15%. It's yeah. Game mode. So he's like, no, I'm gonna get my value. I'm gonna get the position I want you to, do, and I'm gonna get that combo. He's up airs. No, we're not gonna get a second one there. PK fire might kill soon, actually. Yeah. On stage like that. Potentially. So that sends us such like a, a horizontal angle. Mm. And as well, like Lucas has a strong kill options off the side, like that. That ice smooth. I thought oh, with the ice PK freeze. Yeah, PK yeah. freeze. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He has back throw, <laughs> he has like F tilt at ledge and fair. Yeah. So it's oh, yeah. fair. And a stage like town, you're going to die story to those moves. Yeah. We're going to see what the edge guard is here for Selkie. Not going to get anything. Nice patience there from Selkie there. Yeah. Not going to overextend, but now he's going to be caught into some air loops. Yeah. Gets out of the second one now. It's you really know, well done. When you, if you ask me in Palatine and uh, Lucas, who'd be in the near looping? Would not have told you, Lucas, but here we go. It's actually been Ooh. really clean so far. And the up airs. Oh, almost the last one. And with this rage as well. Oh, gosh, not killing. Not killing, yeah. The, uh, the no, hot, no low seating in this stage. And that's mm. going to be an unfortunate thing for Selkie here, but. Okay. We'll do it. We'll do it. I was afraid that that uh, was for the wrong character. <laughs> what was shocking there is that still traded, despite the fact that I was back air. Yeah. Yeah, back air is meant to be in this Yeah, one. yeah. Uh, but I guess they're still disjointed. It went through it, I guess. Mm. Oh, nice flooding up oh, right there, but 200% to get a combo. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no way. Nasty. That was gross. Nasty. How do you do that, sir? This Lucas is really cool. Remy's <laughs> just a master of a character. Lucas is one of those characters that everyone talks about, like, no, they're actually really good, but yeah. no one's done it with them. And you hear Lucas is good, Lucas is good, but you never see it, so you never rate Lucas. Lucas feels like a really difficult player, a difficult character to play because yeah. all of their options are quite good, and optimizing a character with like those kind of options is mm -hmm. is hard. Exactly, right? But then you see a player like Remy here, and he's really showing what this character can do, and yeah. and he has the results to show it. You know, he's been doing so well today, but also just like wins on Chag, wins on Saul, all these top American players. That's, that's really 
<laughs> wins on, everyone's been memeing that um, we've been saying that he has wins on Spargo. He doesn't have wins on Spargo, <laughs> but we're for today he does. He has wins on Spargo like today. He's beat Shag, he's beat all of Mexico. Yeah. You know, he's beat Leo, <laughs> he's been um, He's beat the all of Mexico. Big boss, yeah. he's beaten everyone, you know? <laughs> exactly. Oh. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice up catch. Till. Nice yeah. catch. And the crowd going crazy. Um, and so yeah, this is pretty yes. relatively even right now. Um, oh, but I, I feel like Luke's advantage is just so strong that yeah. whenever I see Selkie go off stage, I'm like, I'm nervous. Yeah, the neutral field is pretty even, but just the advantage state is so much so polarized in Remy's yeah. favor. And that's crazy because Selkie probably would be known for their advantage state more than anything else. Yeah. Now it's meaty forward smash there, the they, optimal punish. They'd be quite known for you know their strong disadvantage state as well and recovering yeah. and that sort of thing. Oh, oh, back throw. Not quite, yeah. Okay, fire could kill. But the great coverage there. Goes for the down tilt and then goes for the nair to cover both neutral get up and roll. Mm -hmm. And this will nearly Board do throw. it. Oh, that's so close. PK freeze. Oh, great, oh, great awareness reflect. for Selkie. But that could be. Oh. Guess and that it. teleport recovery saves his life yeah. right there. Having no. Uh, having those, like, full intangibility if you really sweet yeah. spot it is so good. And let's see now. Ooh. Oh, that's my so God. Selkie keeping space here. Doesn't want to. Oh, no. That's it. Up throw. Going to take it. Appreciate the idea, but. Yeah. This Remy was not good about well, that. It was not a bad idea, in fairness yeah, here. Not like, at all, but not at all. Um, it's, gonna, it's looking rough, Kelly. I'm not going to lie. The Irish are it's getting It's looking tough. Up. Uh, Remy's there, just warming up their hands. For you. For <laughs> Remy's you. like, can I win this bracket so I can go to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> uh, God bless. I mean, look, us EU oh. boys, we have, a, we have a time. We do our best, but yeah. it's rough. It is, it is tough. It is quite tough. You know, <laughs> we're in a little island here, you know? We don't live yeah. in the United States. I Next mean, battle. Selkie would be, you know, one of our definitely top players. And, um, yeah, I would, I'd say easily top two right now, yeah, you know? Yeah, you would think Selkie is probably going to be the... Um, At this tournament, making, highest Irish seed. Yeah, highest Irish seed by far. Pro by far, yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we saw Selkie beat Snook there earlier, but of course that's a... That is a matchup that Selkie wins a lot. So yes. I'd be interested to see how someone like Snook does against Ooh, Remy, but there? it may not get to happen. Oh, is that back air hit? That would have been so good. So Seki looking not very impressed right him. now. But the thing is, despite this this huge advantage right there, like still losing this match, you know, Remy still keeps getting the damage on. Like yeah. the damage output's been insane from him all set. Oh, here we go. Down smash. Uh, down throw, sorry. And the confirms are insane. And, yeah. And also, I love these fairs to cover Palutena's oh. jump. He got the absorb on the... Uh, on the explosive flame. So mm. now Selkie can't just throw out, like basically telling Selkie, you can't just throw out these explosive flames when you're yeah. trying to recover. You can't throw, Selkie can't throw neutral breeze, can't throw for explosive flames. Yeah. Because the thing. Um, oh, oh nice. nice catch though by Selkie. But then he's been calling out Selkie's jumps as well with fairs, just like that. Mm. And it's such a safe option to throw yeah. it actually, despite being a rising aerial. And that's been really being the di making the difference for oh. me here. Selkie so getting a lot done here at the yeah. beginning. Are we going to see a grab? No. One thing I've been really liking is Selkie's been playing with more grounded here. No. Oh! Oh! This great DI there from uh, Remy there to avoid it. Oh, uh, nice there. Gets out of there. Nice DI there. And we'll see now. Rinse and repeat edge guard. No, the edge guard against Selkie has I mean, they've been really good at recently. We saw it against Octave at Regen. Like, immaculate. Rinse and repeat. You cannot get out of the corner. But Remy just got out oh. here. And, oh, what was that? That was crazy. That was like four moves. Yeah, that was four seconds. moves in like a, a second. Exactly. It was like a nair down tilt jab. Grab. Grab. Yeah, jab. Grab. Show. After, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And now we see the Nair train here. Oh, and the up oh. airs. Oh, against three, tries to get a fourth one using the platform. And Selkie still has a lead here, but it's being crawled back every set, mm -hmm. every second here, and it's... Oh. Oh, miss grab, and that's going to be a big punish. That's the nurse, man. That's the nurse. Yeah. They should never have nerfed Palutena. Okay. They should. <laughs> yeah, man. Come on. <laughs> Iron takes takes Irish an American Manhattan. to come in to say, like, yeah, we, <laughs> we never should have nerfed Palu. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all I'm saying, right, is Iron's two, be two of Iron's best players, Pay Palu, yeah. would be doing much better abroad if Palu wasn't nerfed. Should oh, have been nerfed. That's a great back here there from Kala. Yeah. And, um, I think good. if Selkie beats Remy, that means Selkie's the best Palu in the world. Yeah, because he beat Chag, right? Yeah, so exactly. This is the best Palu in the world. But transitive I mean, property. <laughs> I do believe Selkie has a Wi Fi win on Chag, at least one. So, so, you know, yeah. it's, just, it's just definitive, you know? This is the it's best. 100% definitive. Well, this is the Palu Slayer, clearly. He's beaten he's beaten the best, like, the second best Palu in the world. Now he's here to claim the first, you yeah. know? This is it. This is big for, <laughs> this is big for Imagine Remy. Imagine Remy is like, 
Uh, I, where are the best battles in the world? I must travel to their country <laughs> to beat them. I, I love how Rhett's so casual out of using as well. You can't see it on the camera, but like his leg oh, off, yeah. no headphones. He's just chilling, man. He's just arms off, like hanging yeah. out. Like, oh, oh great counter. I think Saki's trying. Um, Saki's so, trying, I think, a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, Saki's yeah. animation is good. Saki's in gaming mode right now. Like, like a lot of callouts on the on Remy's most useful, uh, most used options. A lot more grounded play, being careful oh. to get caught in the air. Nair, nair. But the advantage state is all it oh. needs. Forty percent off one nair, I think. Oh my goodness! Oh, the back air almost killing oh. there. And that's another one. And that's two neutral wins, seventy-five percent. Oh boy! Oh, this is good. Nice. Yeah. And yeah. no di there from Remy. Good no. catch from Salki. Yeah, that and was great. Board. That was getting scary. The nairs, the fairs, the the aerial pressure. That's there on on yeah. a character like Palu that, you know, doesn't. Always want to be jumping, mm. but like is quite a, a aerial character, you know, especially in yeah. a damage state. Um, and a small character like Lucas, you know, you whiff an aerial, and Lucas is on you like that, like that, you know, you know and immediately. Like, like, and he gets, and he, and he gets so. There's so many combo stars. There's the Nair, there's the Zare, yeah. there's like all the like the down tills, like yeah. all these things, and it all leads into like forty percent or yeah. a kill. It's crazy. What was that? Is like Nair, Nair, dash attack, fair? Is what he got earlier? That's something crazy. like that, you know, yeah. it's, it's it's ridiculous. It's it's I don't know. It's not like you're it's gonna stick to the paddle. I think it's the right decision. Did yeah. do really well. Um but no. I know. I think Selkie should just go Kirby. You know what? What? You're not wrong. You're not <laughs> wrong. <laughs> you know, how is Lucas gonna hit you? Just crouch. Exactly. Just crouch. Okay, this Nothing is interesting. Hit you. Oh my god. The Undertale music is yeah, insane. It's good. <laughs> we got Bone Trazzle. Let's go. Apparently, the Undertale music has replaced the Kingdom Hearts music. There's actually no Kingdom Hearts music left in the oh. setup. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. It's it's the cage. This is like this is like Rapid and Jasmine setup, right? So they're right. kids. They don't know what Kingdom Hearts is. Yeah. Like what? All I know oh, is Undertale. They should know Undertale and like Minecraft. I hope they put the actual Minecraft arcs in. I oh yeah. Her. There's actually Imagine some really like good actual Minecraft songs. But like Sweden, oh. Sweden Grands, Sweden Grands. Oh my God, that go dummy. Sweden grads? Yeah, man. Okay. This is an interesting stage pick, I think. I think um, Selkie's been struggling to keep Remy in the corner here, so Remy can definitely use that center stage control to really put pressure in. But I would say in... Oh! oh great punish. Oh. What? Tried to grab in that whip. Kelly, why was Palu nerfed? Why was Palu That would have worked. That's been catching Selkie a lot. The ah. only reason America is beating us right now is because Sakurai sabotaged us. Yeah. And I, I can't help but fear that the reason why Selkie's messing this up so much is that Selkie, although ha they have a lot of Wi-Fi experience against Lucas, mm. he might have experienced a pre-patch pally against Lucas. Yeah. So one of his ideas on how to punish options maybe aren't up to date. Oh my goodness, that makes so much sense. That's why he keeps going for these grabs. Yeah, I thought we were going to see you know? an up smash, to be honest, uh, at nice the punish. There, yeah. As the punish earlier uh, on the whip down smash. Yeah. But yeah, it's okay. Okay. Selkie no. loves their def uh, falling down airs. Great combo starter. And there he is. Here we go. Nair, fair, up air, up air. Okay, this is looking, this is looking good. This is looking good. Yeah. I really think Selkie's figured something out. Like the neutral seems a lot more in Selkie's favor these days. Definitely. Are we gonna see a round back air? Not quite. Well, one but thing yeah, as well Selkie could reverse 3-0 this. Definitely. Yeah. It's, it's in the cards. And uh, which is bad for Selkie in a weird way. <laughs> Selkie, Selkie wants to uh, catch their tr catch his train. Uh, oh, no. And he's a bit like, uh, will I make it? But it should be fine. Yeah. It'll be okay. I mean, miss the train and like... But win as one. Win as one. Come on. You, know? you get a bit of money from winning as one. Actually, this has been a really big tournament, so yeah. the prize pool must actually be considerate. You know, it's more yeah. than just 70% of the uh, 20... God, what's the meme? Uh... 70% of the $50 or something <laughs> like that. I forget what it is. Yeah, I think this is the biggest As one since As one like February, I believe. She's the first one back after COVID. Yeah. Well, not like, I say after COVID, after the last lockdown. We had what, a 52, 53 entrance? Over 50. I think we had a yeah, couple 55. DQs. Yeah, 55. It's 55 today. A couple DQs, but at least enough to put us in, as a, um, in that upper tier. Yeah, an upper tier of UKI events yeah. and as a Smash World Tour event. And oh. so that. No, oh, that's a cool thing. Is that Explosive Flame is a bunch of small hits. Yeah. So actually, you didn't do that. You didn't heal that much there. Oh, that's interesting. But still, this is looking pretty strong for you right now. That could be hits. Oh, PK Rocket not gonna hit though. And still we're seeing Cole trying to get in here with these back airs, trying to maybe a bit oh, impatient wow. to get this kill. 
But so it's like Remy playing the the, the mid range so well here. It's making it so difficult for Selkie to get in yeah. and get anything started, you know? Oh. Okay, Fauna gets a grab. Finally gets that grab punish, but. This needs to end here. Yeah. There oh, nice, 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 nice. Yeah. nice. The crowd's and coming alive. The crowd's coming here. They want to see their boy win here, Kaho. Oh, Remy had the read there on the jump as well, but didn't quite pull the trigger. Oh, and this could be rough. Remy keeps making the right call out. Oh. Just one more of these. Oh. And yeah, and that's yeah. going to do it. That is. And America, baby. America, baby. Fuck yeah. Uh, I told, uh, I was talking to Remy earlier. I was like, oh, I'm not actually from Canada originally. I've been living here for like eight years. Yeah. And he's like, oh, yeah, Team NA, baby. I was like, mm, don't know if I can do that. Don't know if I can do that for you. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the thing. I think I'm so used to seeing a lot of like, we've seen the Canadian flag on these streams before. Yeah. We've seen the Russian flag, we've seen the Bulgarian flag, we've seen the Italian flag, Venezuela. Venezuela flag. But we've never seen an American flag. And it's so interesting seeing like, oh, we had Solar Beam. Over, oh, I, like, I missed that monthly. That's fine. Oh, that's yeah. Fine. That was only yeah. back in May, I think. Yeah. May or... No, I think it was no, definitely it was June. May. It, was, yeah. it was June, I think. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Being. I don't remember, honestly. I, I think I was gone. I think I was gone. Yeah. I, I don't um, think we had a... Did we have a June as one? Because of Odyssey? No, we did. Odyssey was in July. June as one was oh, won right. by Sa Sam. Was Sam B. Dimitri, that one. Remember that? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes so yes, yes, that yes, was yes. probably it, yeah. So okay. Here uh, we go, baby. Snoke versus James 102. James 102 on a run today. On a real run. And a tear. Honestly, this is becoming a habit. This is no longer a run, I think, for James. Mm -hmm. I think this is like, honestly, where he yeah. belongs and I, I, should I be I mean, yeah, I now. say this, but he was seed fifth, seeded fifth, and he's top four. So yeah. Like, like, he made, he beat the fourth seed as fifth seed. Yeah. Not the biggest thing. Exactly. Who's, um, who's the fourth seed? It or was Eb. So he beat Zombie. Oh, Eb, Actually, right. well, no, Eb lost to, I believe, Wall. Um, so Wall. And, and lost to, to and, Oh, yeah, yeah, Eb and James did yeah. play in Losers, and, yeah. Yeah, they, play, they just played before our, our Yeah, our so blocker. they got their set in the end. So, yeah, yeah it was Wall and the beat Wall. Yeah. James playing Cloud as well today. Yeah, in that's for the Steve Baxter though. I think that's not going to be the case here. No, no, uh, definitely not. But, yeah, we're going to see here. we got the beautiful layout here. Oh, it's so nice. The As One Arena. Oh, what? Sorry. The As One Arena. Like, this is what we're talking about. This is As One Arena right here. Liquid to Buzz, Samuel Busby, King New York in the background. <laughs> And yeah, this is a great match. I'm actually yeah. not sure if I've seen these two play. These two do a bit of, bit of Wi-Fi rivals, even though Snoke wouldn't play Wi-Fi. Yeah. Uh, maybe not Wi-Fi, but Discord rivals. Or Snoke would call him Bog Boy. He, he, Snoke and Greg would be like, wee you, wee you, wee you, whenever James would say anything. <laughs> but now James is here to show what's worth. You know, I'm yeah. just, I'm not a Wi-Fi kid. I am James from Meath. I feel like they've definitely played um, maybe ICE back in the day when I was all Wi-Fi. Mm. Uh, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um. So it's gonna be interesting to see what here what happens. Ooh. Oh, nice, nice catch. Just look quite kill. Not quite. That was a very direct. Oh wow. Catch, it? I love the use as well of just that um, down tilt. Mm. I never see a, a falcon down tilt. Yeah. Right. A lot of falcons moves are like actually really good. They're just maybe specific in their usage. Yeah. You know? Or it actually might have been a downward angle left tilt. I'm not 100 percent sure which yeah, what maybe. move I'm talking about here. I think it's. Oh. Well, it's honestly, actually, yeah. Falcon is the end of that. Falcon has up smash to two frame for yeah. some reason. The lagless up smash that kills at so 80 dumb. can two frame. Oh, oh yeah. Great edge guard there. Cobb between a rock and a hard place with that one. Not yeah. much he can do, but um, even it out there, it's a Snook. And now Snook's going to take oh. this lead. Oh, my goodness. No escape. Four no escape. aerials. Oh, that could be scary. Yeah, with that. That was <laughs> almost a stalk. Yeah. The stomp there was really scary. As well. Snook going for the Saki there, but doesn't quite work. Oh, this is F0 music, I just realized. Oh, nice. On on brand, on yeah. theme, and James is definitely feeling himself right now. And tech ch covering the check chase on the platform with OP, very smart option. Super great option there. We're gonna see, oh, nice fair there. Just catching, you know, these empty hops. Yeah, and that's a pile of bread and butter, you know, just yeah. covering that thing. And we're, not, we're actually gonna wanna see um, James play a bit more grounded here, which is what you're doing. See, see these dash dance and stuff like yeah. that, you know? And of course, Falcon has that turn on animation, you know, that makes it kind of easy to catch on the ground, but, um... Oh! Else? Just jumps on him! Nice. Nice. That was... That was good. That was some nice down airs. Mm -hmm. And here we see... Oh! Back air auto-cancels into dash attack? That was crazy. Oh, he goes for That's nice. This he is some Falcon stuff that you don't normally see. This is not like your... Your, you know, oh, it's Falcon Ditto. Oh, yeah. I'm so cool because I need. No, I'm this is actually... Oh! No! 
Oh! oh. Got the tech. Nice awareness nice there. Tech, nice tech. Teching on the kill screen like that is not easy. That's good play by Snook. Yeah. But yeah, nice. I, James definitely. Uh, I mean, during the Wi-Fi era, James would be considered the best Falcon in UK and Ireland, I believe. Yeah. I'm not sure if there's a top Falcon in UK offline, but um, as far as I can tell, James is one of the best. Probably no, he's probably be one of the best, or the best, I think. Definitely the best in Iron, anyways. Yeah. Oh, by far. Oh, goes for the hard read there. Doesn't quite get it, but doesn't get the punish either. Okay, let's see this ledge up here. Uh, Snook, known for his ledge hopping, um, catches James getting out of the corner here at the nair, but doesn't get a full combo off of it. No. James is able to get the gentleman there, and now mm. they're just kind of fish moving. They yeah. both know that like the next big hit could lead into the combo that kills. Yeah, exactly, right? And it's like, this is this is for the counter pick, you know? This yeah. is like, they both know they're both playing well. They both know they can both take yeah. this. And now they want to give it up. Oh! oh! So close. How did he make uh, the it coverage. back? That was crazy. Oh, oh, tries to read the roll. Yeah. James getting a bit of impatience here. But see if he can get that read soon. I'm liking these oh, nades no. here. Snow keeping his Not composure cook. here. Making it, he's gonna make it back. That's no, he it, doesn't yeah. make it back there. No jump as well. I don't think he could have made it back even yeah. if he. Um, I think what you saw there it. was the composure. Mm -hmm. James at the end there showed that up smash, those up smashes, chewed some yeah. of the reads, and Snook was just kept it cool. You know, you can tell he's yeah. been going in grands for or getting into top yeah, fours so for Snook years. Snook is not phased right now. Yeah. He's like, you know what? It's another day, another day in winners semis. You know, yeah. Just, I got. He's just thinking like, I, I gotta go play call again. Yeah. You know? Uh, and the thing is, right, is that we know James is at this level. We know James can do this. It's just the thing of like... Shout out to Captain Falcon, by the way. Captain Falcon. Yo. The, so Snook has been here so many times before. So that composure is naturally going to come to him a bit more, you know? Yeah. So James has to kind of play that, that bit better to compensate for that ex raw veteran experience that Snook has. So we'll see here how it goes forward. But definitely not a definitely a very close game here. And this could be anyone's set. This is anyone's set here. And we are on a Battlefield. Interesting, interesting. Uh, as they battle for the field. <laughs> no, <J> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting off, I'm getting off the mic. You're right. I am washed. <laughs> no, J James is known for his his platform extensions and his combos. Yeah. He has some insane stuff. So I think this is a really good pick for him. Mm. Although I will say, Pal, you like to extend up platforms too. So we'll have to see. Yeah, those nares can really extend easily. Up airs as well can mm. shark. I know Selkie's Pal loves tri plats. So we'll always pick yeah. them. So this is definitely a g not a bad pick for Silk. Oh, this is a Alvarez. really good place for. Snook to be. Ooh, and if Snook loves those ledge jumps, he goes yeah. from a lot these days. Oh, but here we go. We're going to see one of these platform extensions. Yeah. He's waiting. He's waiting yeah. for his opportunity. He's like a little shark, you know? It's like it's like Jaws. It's like <laughs> every up air is like. And it's like every up air like. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and then if I cheat the knee. It's like, oh, great. Um, Falcon kick there to make it down just a bit quicker. Okay, okay. By the oh, good yeah. catcher. Aware that Snook loves, Snook loves his back air ledge hop. That's his yeah. bread and butter. And catching up with the OP, though, those, the creative use of OP has been the name of the game for a lot of yeah. games when gameplay so far. Absolutely. But the back air will eventually get him. Unfortunate. But here we go. Oh, oh weak knee. Yeah, knee, knee definitely a really good option in this game. Yeah. Much more active than it was in Smash. Oh! Oh, great tech there by Snook. Let's see Snook responding with that back air. Snook going oh, in right now. Punish. Down air? No. Never relenting. And I, I respect Snook not going for these down airs off stage because yeah. we've seen him go for them like against Selfie a lot or whatever. Mm -hmm. But that threat of the up B is is strong, you know. Yeah, I think one thing we saw in this game is that patience for James didn't pull the triggers from his combos, and Snook was answered this patience back with this hugely aggressive oh. play. No, no longer will he waste trying at the ledge shot when he gets out of the corner. He's just running in and committing, and it's working every time. Always getting that reads. It's so, so good. Oh, the dash tag. Doesn't kill, quite though. do it yet. They're both at such high percents right now. Oh, oh, oh! No, that's gonna be. Oh no! Yeah. This is gonna be death. Wow. And, uh, James trying to answer the aggression back, but his aggression is He's not as safe as so yeah. Snooks right now. Has to watch out there, because that up, uh, that'd be a great move. Like, honestly, mm. super move. But, oh, oh the gentleman. gentleman. Uh, but if you whiff that up B, you're in such a bad position, especially yeah. against Palu. And I'm actually amazed that uh, Snook didn't punish, uh, didn't punish any of that. Yeah. One thing you see really, James is really well, though, is utilizing the Falcon's great drift to mix up the landing. So when you do commit to that option, even though it's a really bad position, he will try and mix it up. And he will just kind of wiggle back and forth really well, yeah. which is very nice. Like, you see here? Lands on the platform this time, but some, sometimes won't land on the platform, which is actually the beauty of Battlefield, the counter pick for yeah. him as well. Um, oh, yeah. back air there, and last stock. 
for James 102. Oh. Yeah, I must say here, um, Snooks, oh. just advantage has been fantastic here. Never getting yeah. caught by any of these combos. Yeah, like, really holding out when he needs to, uh, to not get, you know, comboed more than he needs to. Yeah. Uh, I know James is really good at, like, you know, if you DI mix up, he can frame trap you really well. Yeah. I know he's been practicing. He's in the lab. He's he's a Falcon labber. Yeah. A lot, a lot of these online players, especially the Swagtown kids, are all just really good at labbers, you know? Yeah. People like Fanta Lid, people like Ebb, and of course, James, most prolific of all of them, perhaps. The only one who isn't is the degenerate plant player, uh, Dimitri. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but he's just he's a gaming player, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, a plant player, come on now. <laughs> um, speaking of uh, not Dimitri. Oh, that up. Yeah, <laughs> mix it up there. But yeah, you've just seen, oh, yeah. You've just seen the Snooks doing this back down now. Yeah. And he's just like playing his game plan, what he's best at, just getting James off oh. stage and just keeping him in the corner. And yeah, keeps going for these yeah. trumps, but even though he's not landing to kill off the trump, he's getting the punish afterwards. Snook's reaction time is so good every time as well. Mm -hmm. Like, we saw him, like, narrowly avoid a previous Falcon kick. And, uh, yeah, just... Oh! What? No! He knew. He knew. He knew. He knew. Oh, my God. He's like, no, James has done that, like, three times before. I'm going to punish it hard. And that's the turn on animation, too. And I think that was such a Falcon moment to, like, yeah. dice with that. If they caught the turn yeah. on animation, I think we're going to switch here. Y you called it out, like, earlier on as well. The turn on like, you were like, yeah. the turn on animation, yeah, it can be yeah. a little laggy. Because the thing is, right, when he was trying to play more aerials, so he's yeah. getting that nair for free. So you yeah. need to play grounded, but if you're playing gr Yeah, I was going to say, this Roy. is going to come out. I wasn't, sure I wasn't sure if it was the Roy or the Lucina or the Cloud, but this makes sense. Yeah, I could have seen Cloud as well. Yeah. Uh, I think Roy makes the most sense, I think. But yeah, like well, especially after that kind of interaction happens, it's a yeah. Falcon-specific thing, of course you're going to switch. Yeah, and Roy is like Falcon with a sword. Yeah, yeah. it is. Um, yeah, Falcon mains at higher. I, I know a lot of Falcon mains that became Roy mains in this game, and I think it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. That aggressive, fiery playstyle. Exactly. Yeah. You can kind of just run in and push buttons. If and the recoveries aren't too dissimilar to others, honestly. Yeah. It's, it's a very similar to build character, just one is a sword, which means they're better because it's ultimate. Doesn't mean that he has like a very, you know, strong, oh, oh strong ranged uh, game, because the sword obviously only really effective at close range. Yeah. And Roy character, we don't see too much in Iron. A lot of Roy's secondaries, you know, you see M5. Oh, no. Oh, oh that's a jump. I thought he didn't. And that is the key to good Roy play, yeah, holding your jump. Mm. Always trying to recover without your jump, because if you lose your jump, it's free. Yeah, it's over. Still dope. Oh. I, I, I'm really, oof. Oh, the down tilt. We're moving. The crowd is coming live, counting down right now. I believe the Amiibo uh, Grand the Finals Amiibo is happening, bracket. and there's a timeout. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but still, um... Snook just still in a down position here. He's just, his stage control is so good. Oh, S nice. James, even when he gets out of the corner, he cannot land. Yeah. Like, he's just struggling to get stage and control space. How do you space. land against a character with, like, such a strong dash attack? You it, know? It's so hard, right? And, like, right? a good grab game as well if you were to, you know, if the mix-up oh, were to happen. What was that? F smash? He's yeah. desperate. Are we getting a little... Uh, a little antsy, maybe. A little antsy, a little impatient. The frustration's taking in. Oh. Which... You know what, at I this level of play, I understand, because Snook is, like we've said before, Snook has been here. Yeah, and James, you're down 0-2 as well, you know? James has gotten here a couple of times recently, in the last, like, three months. Yeah. And I think he deserves his placing a lot. Uh, but he's going to have to elevate that gameplay by just a little bit more if he wants to start beating Snook at yeah. a regular basis. Like, he's every shot is this PR level, but Snook, yeah. Selkie, Dimitri, it's another level. Oh! Know? And yeah. Jads, yeah. And this is looking rough right here. This is looking hard. And yeah, just gives up the jump and then it's yeah. free damage for Snook. Oh. Went for it. Went for the dare. I think it was the right choice. Yeah. Doesn't have to worry about. Oh, oh. red too. He just shit. knows. Snook knows. Uh, Snook has downloaded this man completely. And like Snook knew he did attack over ledge too. He wasn't ready for the side yeah. B, but like he's still in his head a bit. Oh. oh. Okay, that's one. That's one. Nice back air. Nice DAC back air. can do it, baby. I I don't. They I think it's it. too little, too late. <laughs> yeah. We're at we'll ninety-three percent. Snook has two stocks. If he's zero to death sim right here, then I'll say he has a chance. Yeah, but that wasn't a zero to death. But I don't know what he's gonna be getting. He needs like a nair up yeah. F smash. He needs a jab, a side B at the side. This is Town City, so you will kill very early. With you your will side kill here. early. I think oh. a jab side B could honestly kill at the side here. I love that James stopped there. Just kind of like. No, I have to stop just approaching recklessly. Yeah. 
and that nair, that, that rising nair, oh. is, that rising nair is consistent using the snook is punishing, even even if not straight away, but afterwards, and it's it's been a real special weakness yeah. here for James. Oh, great movement there, micro spacing by snook, gets that grab. Up nice air. there. Oh, I, I'm glad there. He, that that I like. I, yeah. Oh yeah, that and this throw. is that stage, and yeah, that's yeah. a set. That's a three zero. That Ooh. was rough. That and was now tough. Snook continues. Gets back to Selkie. Yeah. Um, Snook makes it back. But yeah, this is still tough for Snook, despite how impressive that game was. Yeah. Snook Selkie is, I believe at this point, this season alone, this half, this year. It is hard. It's 8-1. It is a difficult time to be Snook in the Snook Selkie matchup. I, I think it 2022 could. 2022 not been Snook's yeah. year. It could be 10-1 overall, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um, yeah, in, back in um, pre-COVID times, like, Snook was number one in the country, Selkie in second, and Snook yeah, did have exactly. the edge there. But they were very back and There was no one else then. in that echelon. Now we we're kind of seeing yeah. new players in that echelon. And at both these players were last season. Obviously, the new PR has been released yet. It's finished, but I can't leak who's on it, of course. I can leak. Um, but um, I am on it. I'm number one. I won. Can, can I, I get tell my tell money back? Up? What did I tell you? Can no, I get my money back? I'm taking back? you off. Can I get my Take money back? No. If... If you're not going to put me as number one, just well, give me my money back. Ladies and gentlemen, right. I'm happy to announce that Player 7 is now on the PR. <laughs> <laughs> a spot opened up. Yo, and it's Player happening. 7, let's go. Good job, good job. Um, but yeah, this has been rough for Snook recently. Um, and I was talking to Selkie about this at yeah. lunch there. And he was just saying, like, he just has, he just knows what Snook does. He says Snook's just kind of a bit yeah. predictable. He's gone to the point now where they've played. Because, like, these two, not only fight in all the grands of this Aswan Arena, they also fight in all the grands of the Cork yeah, movies. Yeah, exactly. So, these two have played a lot, and it's a thing of like they know each other inside yeah. and out. And I just I think Saki just edged that out and in terms of like they're the top two Irish players here today. Yeah, as well. Like, Gra sitting in Grands is Remy, American yeah. Invader. Uh, probably will go on a tweeting spree saying how Ireland is just so free. Yeah. <laughs> the Meepo <laughs> match is going. To come, can we get a Meepo? Can we, can AJ, we? can we get a Meepo on stream, please? I think yeah. I, I, I kinda, I, I've seen this set before. <laughs> can I, we I, can we commentate an amiibo match? Yeah, in fairness, <laughs> like, AJ, I think the amiibo match would be better on stream. We've seen yeah. this before. We, we can put them <laughs> over there. Yeah. <laughs> Selkie and Snook. I think we can both pretty much say, like, Selkie and Snook are most likely going to be on the PR, right? They're, they've been I don't one know about that, Kelly. I, okay, fine. Not Selkie. Snook good. for sure, but not Selkie. No. <laughs> yeah, Snook might get like bottom. I don't want to say where, but yeah, he might yeah. get near the end. Probably like know? 32nd or something. I I'll tell you this much, you know, that they're below Schmick's tape um, yeah. and uh, below Larry Lair, but we'll see after that. <laughs> okay, going forward now, back oh, to back to Below PSD me, I beat Schmick's tape at Regen. I believe I, it. I, believe I, beat, it. I beat Schmick's tape at Regen. Check, check the bracket. It I says will. I win. Oh yeah, you did. I yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he cute. I the win. Yeah, but so you, you know you could have been above these two on the PR, but unfortunately you're no longer on the PR, oh, Kelly. No. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, this is oh. big. I, I, I honestly low key would like to see how Snook does against Remy, but it is a thing of Selkie just has a number, oh. and I, I I know if this is like I don't know when the last time Snook took a set was, but yeah, I it's believe there was a ch there was a turn where Snook took one and Selkie took the other, so yeah. Uh, it's been rough. A lot of the thing as well in this matchup is like, I think Selkie has, the fact that Selkie plays like two, sometimes three characters in the set um, is huge. Because, yeah. you know. So there's a diversity there. Min, uh, sorry, not Min, Min. Snook gets used to the flow of uh, Pyra oh. and then like. Oh, oh is that an SDI out? That's an SDI, yeah. That's incredible. But yeah, I mean, he, he gets used to the flow, right? Yeah, exactly. He gets used to the flow of one character, and then, oh, I have to play Palutena again. And yeah. Like and there's only so much Snook can mix up the Palutena. Because this, he, Saki's been fighting this Palutena since early 2019. Yeah. You know, they, these two have fought, I want to say, like... Oh, nice smash attack. Oh, even outside of the smashy G sets, there's been so many cock monthlies on Challenge as well. Yeah. These two have definitely fought in like at least 50 sets. Oh, I feel absolutely. Like. And it's like, only so much you can mix up the Palutena. The yeah. Minmin doesn't work. So it's where Selkie has like the Samus, the Pyre Mythic, which is a more recent character for them, yeah. has like an other characters too. Like, Zero well, the Samus as well. You can see the Kirby Samus. come out, you can see the Greninja. We saw the, the cloud. cloud. Yeah. As so well. you don't know. Did you see the clip, uh, Sam versus Selkie, where no. he, uh, Simon basically won the game 3-0, uh -huh. but um, up beat, and so Selkie, like Selkie had no more jump or anything. And, uh, 
I couldn't recover. Mm -hmm. And he up and he hits Selkie, and then Selkie recovers, and then he reverses the yo Sam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Sam. If that you're reminds watching. me of a great. Oh, <laughs> oh nice up tilt. No, we'll leave it. Leave it. But yeah, yeah, really nice there conversion. And I think Selkie just staying because he's that little bit ahead. You know, I think really towards the end of the season, it's really become more and more clear that Selkie and Dimitri would be just a tiny bit ahead yeah. of, of, of Dara. And of course, Dara does have a good winning record on Dimitri. Um, true, but um, just overall, these big tournaments and these one-on-one -on -one yeah. matches, it really seems like towards the end of the season, it's been leading in one way. It's Dimitri had to run into like the region with uh, two Palus. So that's why Dimitri is leaving. <laughs> so he doesn't have to play a Palu. We scared him off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, nice! nice. There. That was great. And a bit of a bit of Selk, tasty Selkie's own medicine there, yeah. and Snook now keeping this even. And what an air could gross. bring this back to very. Yeah. Oh. oh, and the air smashes have been insane from both these players We've today. We've seen like three S ma or three or four air smashes now from uh, Snook in these I, last two games. I kind of love it, right? Because Palutena is a character that the main weakness is generally considered to be the ground game. Mm. So I realize these F, these disjointed F smashes have really makes it neutral. And now yeah. Snook is in the lead for the first time in sets. Oh. Oh. It's not over, though. Selkie Selk can come there. Getting so Selkie's aggressive right swinging. now. Selkie's swinging. I think Selkie's aware that there's... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think Selkie's just aware right now that... Um, the <laughs> Selkie's aware right now that the... Uh, <laughs> um, that there's not much power you can do out of shield at a high percent. So if you can swing yeah. there, it's kind of slow, and you're not getting much off of that percent. Yeah, exactly. So you can be really aggressive with that down air. There's aggressive pirate aerials that are so so shield yeah. stun. Um, and then if any of them work at all, you're getting a kill, basically. You're going to get, yeah, you're yeah. at least going to get an advantage, or you're going to get a kill. Yeah. So here we so go. Mithra, Palutena, game two. Are we going back to PS2? Are we? I'm not sure. Are I we? think there's a counter pick here. These two. Definitely have a lot of victory. I, 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 I need to. I feel like I need to stop talking. I yeah, have to like speak, when, you know? when it's there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's let's practice that next time. <laughs> is this right. like a persona music or something? I don't know. What Someone this in the is. chat tell us, even though we we cannot see chat, but tell us anyways, and I'll like yeah. I'll feel it. Oh, oh, my oh this goodness. is definitely persona. This music. This is definitely persona. One hundred percent. And it's always seventy-seven percent. This is so brutal. Oh my goodness. That almost killed off the top as well, that up B. Yeah. That was crazy. You saw that. You saw Selkie got a really cool kill off that up and up B like that, um, I believe. Oh my goodness, Selkie. Oh. Only been dominant. See, this is the same thing. Latin winners slide with these two fought as well. Silk did take a game. Yeah. But Selkie just eventually just pulled ahead more and more and more and became dominant. And I think this is what you're seeing here. This is what definitely what we're seeing here. Okay, well, nice. Let's see. Uh. Oh like, my god. So can't even get anything started. And this phase is so much faster. She has more of a disjoint. Yeah. And she gets more off her advantage stage. It's not easy. It's not easy for a, an out of date character like Palutena. <laughs> an out of date character like Palutena? Uh -huh. That that is that's a take right there, Vince. Don't get me wrong. Easy as cheese, but uh <laughs> come out to Mithra and nah. Mithra definitely more of a, a, a new top, school. A top, top two character, character, you know? Yeah. Versus Palutena. I know, it's hard on your Palutena. I think the nerfs read the number. I think Palutena still gets a lot of results because it's an easy character to play in, a really easy top tier. But, like, the ground game isn't great. Um, the out shield isn't great. Palutena is the, I think, and both these players do this, one of the perfect co-mates to have. Yeah. Right? Because it's not too much effort to be playing. Exactly. Yeah. I think Tilda once said, I think it's a great description of it, um, but it's like, Palutena's got a character that if you understand all the concepts involved in good play, She'll do the rest of the work for you, yeah, you know? Exactly. She, 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 has, she has such forgiving options, but like huge activity like Nair and Down Tilt and Up Smash. Yeah. Like, it really can make a lot of things like ledge traffic and combo game pretty easy, but you need the, the raw fundamentals oh to make that work. Oh my goodness. Just getting the edge guard just by pushing the B button. Yeah. That was it. And that's not going to lead right now, actually. That's actually oh. really impressive right now, and he really needs a game here. He needs yeah. a bit of momentum. All right. Oh, nice dash attack. Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah, and that's a weird thing, right? Snook's doing being smart there, waiting to punish the down air. Nice, nice bear, nice yeah. Dash. Oh, waiting to punish that down air because the down air is myth. Like, pirate disappears into the Z axis during that move. You know, it's impossible to hit her. So it's, I like how you waited there to punch it on after I landed it. I didn't know that. Yeah, she kind of like turns around to so all her only her head's a hurt box, right. and like maybe one of her arms. I ain't gonna remember <laughs> that. Now. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> As if that so down air needs to be any better, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I just knew it was safe as, you know, 
Uh, safe as it comes. Yeah. Okay. Good pressure from Snoke yeah. here. Oh, another back air? No, that could have done That's it. That's going to do a lot. That's going to put off stage. And this edge guard coming in. Yeah. Oh, that going to kill. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah. Snoke takes it. Big D. Big D coming in. Snoke taking it. Um, you guys probably saw on the camera there. We did look at each other. And I was like that. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> A bit of romance going on there. Little, you know? little romance, you know. W one off each other in the PR. We, we spent some time in regen together. Yeah, you know? like PR number five and six. <laughs> yeah. PR, yeah, PR number five and six. The two You're of five, us. of course. You're five. Obviously. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you uh. seen me lose the snook? No. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played snook in ages. Exactly. <laughs> when was the last time Kelly lost the snook? Exactly. I can't remember it. Oh, we're getting some tech music. Ooh. What is this? On Hollow Bastion. I actually love so much the tech music. It so much tech music is so good. It's actually, it's actually just like, yeah. oh, oh uh, what is this? Okay. This sounds Stop. intense. Let's go. <laughs> Get yeah, ready. We, we did like poses and the camera cut off. It was yeah. so sad. <laughs> let's see. I'm so afraid of this one this music is. Okay, red. Oh, oh my oh. god. It's, it's Something's happening. This is in game three. This is game five music. What are they doing? <laughs> They're burning it early. Yeah, they can't use this in game three. They're going to put on the yodeling song for game five. <laughs> okay. They'll put Megalovania on for game five. One thing I love here. Oh, this, this goes hard. Um, one thing I love uh, here about this pick, though, is that Snook, even though it's it's Selkie's corner pick, I think Snook is going to do well here because Yo. the stage control is so good on Snook. I mean, that's one of his strongest attributes. This, this slaps so hard. This is going to, I think we got to stop commenting again. Yeah, yeah, no, let's <laughs> enjoy the music, guys. Let's have some respect, <laughs> please. Oh, wow. Just barely hitting that explosive flame. And Selky rocking the TM85 tag. Does anyone know what TM85 is? Um, I'll look it up. I'll okay, it let's up. get this. Let's go on. In the meantime... I want to say swagger, but, like, oh, I feel like that, that would be, be funny, right? It might be. Um... Yeah, Snook to, yeah, that's the stalk, I think, and Snook doing really impressive here. I actually think this is an interesting counter pick for Selkie, because I do think this is a good stage for Snook. He has great stage control, great counter pressure, it's how to get out of the counter pressure. It's a little platform to help you in this stage. Whereas the center stage control is so much more impactful, because you get to have that platform above you. It's so hard to try to get in. So I think this is really, really good for Snook here, and you're seeing it, and Selkie's trying to close his stock out, but it's not easy right now. I'm not finding TM85, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, it's okay. I no, you. I need to find it. Keep, there could be different ones in different games as well. It varies. Uh, Tier 85 is uh, Dream Eater. Dream Eater? Dream Eater. Okay. Or Snarl in one of the games. Probably Dream Eater then, I guess. Yeah, Dream Eater. Still those. Oh, nice punish there from Snook with the jab there. I should react that option. I love when players drop shield, tilt, or jab. Mm, yeah. Um. Uh, no. Yeah, we got an offer for drink there. Sorry, guys. That. <laughs> important matters to tend to you. As an Irish commentator duo, duo alcohol is very <laughs> important to us. Oh, that's the I, I have to drive back home after this, so I can't have a, okay. can't have a pint right a now. A good boy. So you can have, you can only have one. <laughs> I've had no, the no, one. No, 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 no. I've had the one already. I don't I'm, know. I'm, okay, I'm okay, done. okay, yeah. <laughs> um, but going forward Snook now. Snook is running away with this, by the way. It's kind of brutal, yeah. I actually just don't understand this counterfeit from Selkie. This has been dominant. Yeah. I think this replays all Snook's strengths, and now they'll match. Oh, he's, he's just edge yeah. yeah, he's just like, nope, I don't want to do this. I respect that. That would have been a do slow you, crawl back. And do I you think that um, Snooky was just like, no, this music goes too hard. I can't, I can't use it now. It, it was so intense. I think one thing that Snook does really well is like he's a, really, a strong, solid but basic game plan. But then out of nowhere, he'll like read the shit out of you. Oh, back to Death by Glamour, the comfort song. Bum, bum, bum. You know, Kahal like Undertale. You yeah. can look at him. Oh look yeah, at him. look at him. The look at, that's an Undertale he's, player. He's dancing right now. <laughs> look, look at him dance. Look at him. Oh, look, look, at him, look at him in, the ca in that camera there. Look at him. Oh, dance. the jacket's coming off. Oh. Ooh, you got a fancy. Yeah. You got another new. Darius into shirt. this as well, by Ooh. the way. Look at him. <laughs> okay. No, this is interesting. This is like El Clasico. We're getting tallowed in every Irish grand Let's of all time. Let's get in here. We had that weird period where like Creeper played, and Dimitri played, but they're both gone yeah. now. Yeah, ooh, back, ooh. back to OG Selkie Snook who? finals. Like Creeper's gone. Dimitri, I think, is here, but he's not entering. We're back to like yeah, true Ireland is just Palu Grands at no, every event. Yes, finally. Except finally we're an back American to the here, so it's like yeah, but yeah, no, this is great. It says loses finals. This is really mm -hmm. grand finals, guys. Yeah, no, for us, right. for like for our spiritually, it's grand finals yeah. for us. <laughs> it's also like um, 
like back in the college tournaments, we have like certain rules sometimes where you can only give tr players in your college prize money. Right. So this is what's going to happen here, you know? Like, this is actually like, you know, there's going to be grants after this, but only the Irish players can win <laughs> money, you know? <laughs> like, the Americans are rich enough. Wow. We need Have you seen the rent prices here? That's true. It's no yeah. Get the rent, rent, here. rent in Dublin is not cheap, all right? We, we need to keep the prize money to the mm. Irish. I know. We have to talk about though. This would be such a big deal for Snook. AJ is not impressed with us right now. Look at <laughs> <him>. <laughs> but this would be such a big deal for Snook. It's been, as we said earlier, it's been yeah. like it's like nine. It's been a long time. It's nine one this year, I believe. And yeah. but I believe last year there was even more in Sucky Savers. I think it could be like ten one yeah. or something, or even eleven one. What I do you think last of year. Snook's chances against uh, uh, Remy to take to take it? Um, see, I, I feel like I, I think it's going to be different at the very least. Mm. And I feel like they're very different style of players. Snook is much more with a strong, fundamental game plan. Yeah. And then big reads. Whereas Selkie's more about reading. Selkie makes more like neutral callouts and then gets big punishes off those neutral callouts. Right. Um, oh, nice dash attack there from Snook. So it's going to be interesting, I think. But Snook is more safe control focused and Selkie is much more. Oh. Much more chases you down. Yeah. Um, so it'll be different. And it may go better, it may go worse. We'll have to see. Selkie's been doing some really good work here covering kind of Snook's uh, movement options. Mm. I say that as like Snook starts edge guarding this guy. Yeah, so going forward, it's, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's pretty even. This matchup is very weird that way. I've talked a lot about this matchup because we've been a lot of commentated this matchup a few times, <laughs> maybe. Um, Once or twice. Um, but um, a big thing that I think I've talked a lot about John, is it really John, is that, um, the matchup has to be very even, and neutral is very much like a guessing game. Mm. So what really makes it is that one big read, that big yeah. S smash, that big down smash, or yeah. that down air edge guard. Um, things like that, re re it's so even the whole way through that one of those reads will steal the games. What's really crazy to me is I feel like Palu does well against Palu, right? Like yeah, Palu's options against Palu are really good. Yeah, like Palu's that back air, the Palu attack. loves punishing characters that are in the air all the time. Yeah, and Palu can't play grounded, so exactly. then Palu's gonna go in the air. Yeah. Um, it's a crazy thing to think about, but yeah, I, I definitely think like it's um, definitely not a campy matchup. Like it's it's a punish heavy matchup. It's a neutral heavy matchup. Mm -hmm. um, I, I feel though it's, it's, it's not a, a combo heavy matchup. Yeah, I think it's a case of like you, there, there's two ways to play this, right? You can go for you can go ahead try to read their movements with Palu and get and get your neutral win that way. Yeah. Or else you can be the person to pull the trigger seconds That's and then react to make that, that commitment teleport. and then punish that. So that's the kind of interesting with this matchup, right? So it's um, ooh, oh, yeah, both these players no. are the GI. Yeah. Oh, the Selkie gets that up there, there. Mm. And yeah, the crowd is alive right now, boys. The, the, the oh. crowd is alive. The amiibo tournament is done. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, people have like the, the entire venue just like, walked over here. You know? <laughs> yeah. like, okay, okay. Still though, ooh. oh, great back right there. And, and Snow could take this. Snow could take this. Snow only one stock here. It's been a while. <laughs> the, the, I think <laughs> the crowd is actually Snook's side too. They know how dominant it's been for Selkie, yeah. and I think they really want to see Snook do this. <gasps> oh. Oh, the mix ups. Went for the Tomah so, Tomahawk roll is a yeah. cool option. <laughs> it is a cool option. Oh, we're getting something done here from Snook. Yeah, it doesn't get too much. Snook loves to try to catch this ledge here, but. Snook's playing well right now, yeah. but the present is still very much in Saki's favor. It's it about is. to close this out. Oh, it's a great catch. Too high percent to get the second air, though. I think Saki's being patient, though. Saki's waiting for the opportunity, you know? Like, Saki's letting um, Snook be the more proactive one, and he's just playing yeah. reactive. And Snook is getting the hits. Oh, gets hit by the explosive flame, though. But, but I've seen this before, right? I remember Rebellion in Grand Finals, where Snook was winning neutral for like a stock and a half at the end. But Saki just waited, and eventually the opportunity did come, yeah. and then Saki took the set. I think that's what we could see here. Like, Selkie just needs that one situation. <gasps> and the, uh, in terms of raw playing here. time, Selkie has more than anyone in the country. Yeah, absolutely. So that situation oh. is there. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Game five. Game five, Selkie Snook. And the fans are alive. Have you been alive. here before? Welcome to Ireland. Mm, <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, we are missing our trains this evening. Let's We're go. not <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but. It's, it's interesting. I think Selkie never brought it back. Game two was a uh, game three. Sorry, it was a bit of a wash. Yeah. I think Selkie seems much more comfortable now. Of course, Snook seemed to, uh, like seemed to control the end of that game. I think Selkie was just didn't want to overextend. Yeah. Selkie was like, waiting for the opportunity, and Selkie did get it in the end. Going back to Hollow Bastion here. It seems to be. Yeah. I mean, 
Yeah. It was so one of Delta. Delta. Got Delta Rune and Undertale in the soundtrack. What? <laughs> uh, why? Uh, where's Eb? I need to stare Eb down. Uh, <laughs> Robin. But yeah, this is I don't see them. Don't see them. It's fine. It's fine. It, it's interesting though. It's I John think Barrett though in the background. John Barrett. John Barrett. All right. So yeah, we everyone's not called. Yeah, we got Boise out here. Although yeah. both these players are Boise, Carl definitely one of the more active Boise members, I think. Yeah. Whereas uh, Snooka is kind of VKC Gaming, kind of TG Ado, kind of uh, Shrambles, kind of Twisty Rogue, whatever that means. He's not. He's in a lot of. He's yeah. a man of many pies. Oh my goodness. Okay, but going forward now, um, we did see Snoke dominate in this set, uh, game three, uh, this stage, game three, and I think we might see it again. But the thing yeah. is. That oh. was Pyre Mitha versus Pajana. It was a different matchup, for sure. But so look at this. We're already seeing so much here from Snook. Yeah, I just think Snook's play style, more so than even the characters, I think Snook's play style is so stage control focused. That down air would have been so good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think and so. Yeah, that's the thing, right? That one down air could decide the game. It 100%, could. 100%, you know? Because this is just an inherently an even matchup. Like, these players go back and forth with neutral yeah. so consistently. That one big neutral win, one big kill, so yeah. much. You're gonna see an edge guard here. No, that teleport is just so good at avoiding everything. You know? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you're gonna get caught. In. And this could be it. Yeah. This and could the be the the little push that Dara needs mm -hmm. to get through. And Selkie throwing on the fans right now. Dara fans coming alive. Yeah. We're gonna hear the Snook chant soon. On oh, this, it's gonna be a lot. Okay. Yeah. See yeah, Snook keeping the stage control. Now Selkie has it. But Snook's right back in there, takes stage yeah. control straight away, and Saki, in an attempt to keep stage oh. control, gets it with an air, oh. takes the damage. That was a great, great explosive play, mate. Good call out there yeah. on the teleport onto stage. So yeah, let's see what here. So Saki trying to keep stage control. Oh, Snook gets it. Snook gets it. Snook keeping stage control. And Snook's getting a lot of damage here, like yeah. extra credit. And now has like you know stage control and everything. Yeah, it's weird, right? You see Zalki trying to play Snook's game, trying to take stage, but it's not really working. Yeah. And then Snook is dominating an advantage. We're, we're usually where Zalki dominates in this matchup. We're going to see a back air here. Oh, gets clipped. Oh, the falling no. up air. Wow. No. And yeah. Ooh. Oh, the fair just, again, calling out the uh, option. Oh, that's, oh it. that's it. The same read in a row. Yeah. Zalki's not happy with that one. Snook, no. Uh, yeah, you saw Selkie there. Uh, no player can, but Shaking did not look happy. Yeah. yeah, we'll see what's going to happen going forward here, but it yeah. seems tough here. Well, the back throw. <laughs> the patience chance yeah. here. Shout out to Michael. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it was still Snook, dark. Snook has, yeah, like a whole stock to play yeah. with in advance. And oh. so much damage. It's looking rough for Selkie right now. It and is looking rough. The Trump Nair again, and... Oh, the down air advantage. It's, it's that S Selkie. smash was crazy. Am I watching Selky beat Selky right now? <laughs> like drop down, explosive flames, down air combos, huge advantage. Yeah. It's crazy when you see Snook play like Selky, right? Yeah. Because we, we know these these players so well. We've both been in the scene a long time. Is yeah. It, is it just me or is it like when Snook just like a like game two against James 102, I felt like Snook just changed. Yeah. He just became re oh, aggro. Three times. And three times. Three times we went to the up smash. Oh my goodness. What the? And he does it finally. Snook does it. Snook hey. finally takes a set off Selkie. That he's was back on top, baby. That's been a long time coming. Yeah. Right now. I'm yeah. so glad. I'm really happy to see Snook here. I mean, yeah. I love seeing Selkie win. Selkie's a homie. Oh yeah. But um, Selkie is the homie. Snook has been, been consistently just short. You know, yeah. like last PR, he was fifth. Maybe yeah. he could have been fourth. Maybe he could be top three if he could, came back a bit be earlier. Better, I think, yeah. This season, I feel like he got a bit unlucky, given the fact that like Dimitri had to go to Odyssey it, uh, and Selkie uh, dominated the start of the season. Like Snook, Snook had had a great 2022. Yeah. I don't think Snook. I I don't know honestly. I have but, to look, but like I feel like Snook hasn't gotten worse than like fourth place since 2022. The interesting thing about Snook though is even though he's been extremely consistent, Snook tends to thrive in monthlies. Yes. Or people like Salki and Dimitri tend to do better abroad. They tend to do better at the bigger yeah. Asmons like this. Yeah. Absolutely. Like even though like at the last big Asmon, Snook got second. Yeah. Salki got first. Yeah. You know? Um Selkie's always like the the ceiling, you know, the glass yeah. ceiling. He's trying like, to pull through. Rebellion's a bigger tournament, and sure Snook got second in Rebellion, but Salki won Rebellion. Yeah. You know? So even though overall, you know, Snook has his winning record in Dimitri, Salki certainly doesn't have 
a lot of that's from bigger fishes. It's from like Cork yeah. pieces that. Or Selkie has these peaks like the regen run last weekend, and that, that's. It's nice the to see. The regen run last run was super good. Yeah. So commiseration to call, oh, but I think oh. it's nice to see Snook finally making a. Get ready for the yeah. next battle. And here we go. I love what we're starting at PS2 every, every set. Yes. So it's such a cool... The, I, I, I love going to... I'm not going to call it PS2 anymore. It's the As One Arena. The right. As One Arena. We're they at the As One Arena right here. That's genius. That's it. I actually should try and get like the As One Arena PNG for them so they can put that one in. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah look. Oh, yeah. We should get it modded so it just says As One Arena instead of PS2. That'd be so good. <laughs> oh, that would be great, actually. Yeah. No, I think there's in the works, there's talks of a... Of a uh, Irish Sage mod pack coming in the works, so Ooh. we'll have to see what happens there. That'd be cool. Nice there. Nice there. So yeah, I, th I think here Snook is a much more of a, um, maybe less flashy, but much more of a bright and butter, strong yes. kind of player. I think that could be helpful here. He gets such an explosive Definitely. advantage to a character player like Remy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because Snook will be like, okay, I want to go back to this advantage. Uh, so I want to go back to neutral. I don't mm. need to push this advantage too far mm. and risk getting, you know, messed up. Um, patience, patience. Yeah. Which I think was something you know we saw Selkie struggle with. You know, yeah. trying to get you know, oh, I'm gonna get the grab right here right now. Yeah, I'm punishing the up smash, and then gets punished with another up smash. Yeah, and these PK fires casting here. It's not a if you don't have experience in this match, I'm not sure a Snook does. You know, yeah. it's like an option that you're not exactly ready for in every situation. You know. Yeah, so here, I we gotta don't. I don't know if Snook has any. Uh, experience here in a Lucas matchup. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that was a great down smash. He's actually been catching with that down smash a lot. I've seen like Remy miss all those all day, like trying to land them. Mm. But I get stuck there finally working. I think it's the yeah. immediate up beast from Stuck that already getting caught out. You need to stall a bit there to avoid that from happening. Oh, goes down so low. No. They're laughing it off. They're no. having fun, but I'm not happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's yeah. rough. This game is looking really rough now for Snoke. After, like, what was a pretty convincing like, first dog, yeah. I think just, like, um, it's falling apart now. And yeah, it is. And this is not the momentum oh. we want to see either, right? Like, we really want to start strong here because Remy's has been untouched yeah. so far. I don't think he's dropped a game in this tournament. And we are really hoping here to see Snoke, like, maybe come out strong, show that we ha can't sound for this guy, but it's This is right already now. tough, yeah. Oh, oh, that's it. it. Yeah. We've seen that. Nair combo down starter. Shows, Nair down yeah. to F tilt. Nair down to F tilt. Wow. It's crazy that you have a kill confirm. That's like. Off Nair. I'm, I'm sure it's probably hard to do. I'm sure, like, we're, we're trivializing it. Yeah. Um, but this character's kind of cracked. I'm not yeah. going to lie. Yeah. I've been hearing about it, but to finally see it, it's like. It okay. is nice to see. Look yeah. at that stuff. It's tough to do. So this, you need a good, a strong player like Remy to do it. Yeah. But when you do it. It is good. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Look, these guys are having fun. Look at them in the camera there. Yeah, I think they're having a good time. Yeah. I think I, I think there's a bit of understanding here that, I don't know, it's a bit of fun, you know? It's all fun. Yeah, it is all fun and game. Yeah, you know, you know, we're having a good time. Yeah. We're here as one arena, you know? Let's go. I wonder if he'll try the Min Min. I don't think we've seen the uh, Min Min today, but the Min Min could be the option just because Lucas, the advantage takes something really tough for you, right? Mm. And what if he never gets to the advantage day? What if he can't get in, Tilly? I could say I could see Snook trying it. Yeah. Yeah, I could see Snook trying it. He's for game. Are oh, we going to FD? No. Oh, we are going to FD. Yeah. FD could mean. Why are you going to FD Battlefield? Oh, maybe he's colorblind. Uh, for the background, less flashy. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we're going to. Yeah. Uh, Minmin. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. All this right. makes sense. Just this give it a shot, it. and we can go back yeah. to the pattern next game if you don't think it's working. Especially on FD. I feel yeah. like it's, it's an even better pick here. And here's the fact that you brought up earlier for winners finals. Remy doesn't have much experience against Fudders Pass 2, we don't think. Ooh, so, true. Um, and Min Min's a matchup you need to learn. You, do. you don't just play fundies against Min Min. You need to play yeah. the Min Min matchup. You need to know how to beat Min Min. And like, I guess a lot of zoners, you know, Lucas will use a downbeat. Like, oh, this is kind of slaps. Yeah. Oh my god. Let's go. I kind of love this music. This has actually been sick. I, I've, I, that's the best part about doing commentary today. Oh no. has been listening to the music. Oh, yeah, no, that's close, sick, yeah. isn't it? Okay, we're just starting trying to stay away. But, you know, PK Fire is a great neutral move. Yeah. Remy just in Snook's face all the time because yeah. Snook's slightly getting a bit of space. But it feels like he's having no trouble just threatening the range at all so far. Yeah. And in that mid range, oh, oh, yeah, that's, no. where, that's where Lucas wants to be. Where you can zare you, where you can 
know, get you with that fair. Okay, explain to you why Lucas is bad, right? Because from what I can see, their cover is actually much better than Ness's. Yeah. The advantage stage is insane. Yeah. Huge damage, huge kill power. Yeah. Um, a reflector, kind of. Uh, uh, kind of. Like, like F-Smash reflects anyway, yeah. yeah. But I, I mean, like, down B as well, I guess. Yeah. He has, like, a, proje a really good projectile. What's, what's bad about this character? Seems to have decent air speed. And the range with things like fair is bad either. Yeah, like it has kill power. He has kill power. He has damage power. And look at these confirms. Yeah. The Zair confirms. The Down Tool confirms. The Drag Down Nair confirms. It all it's confirms, Vince. Into it everything. It all confirms. Nair to Down Tool to F Tool to Nair to Down Tool to Grab but to Kill Throw. Is this uh, the beginning of the down Lucas to the era of Ireland? Are we going to see a I mean, pick up I, Lucas? I do believe Remy is moving to Scotland. So I'm um, hoping we see Remy doing some dominant stuff in Scotland pretty soon too. I think yeah. he's going to Aberdeen, but um, I, 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 oof. We, we'll hopefully we see him against the likes of Maze back, Beans yeah. and Bro Gamer shortly. But yeah, we'll see. Shout so, to Bro Gamer. Smash, smash ball. I just noticed I saw a snooks tag there. <laughs> so this is not bad. No, it's not awful right now, honestly. Yeah, nice 43% there. Yeah. But I know, I just oh. feel like Remy's movement in the air is Remy's like so Remy's just clean. able to get in, and that's it. That's, that's it, yeah. That's the soft, yeah. Ooh. I'm just so impressed right now. Um, yeah, Remy's good. He's good. Yeah, I mean, we knew. We put him first seed, but it's yeah. the thing of like... We, d we didn't This know. is America for us. Yeah. This is America. This guy is beating Chad. It's not easy. Yeah. It doesn't matter if he hasn't played much recently. It's crazy that like a player oh. who I relatively wasn't aware of, right? Um, and I'm always like, oh, I wonder how like the top players in the world would face oh, against the top mia. Irish players. Oh, no, most and I, I didn't think it would be this. I didn't think it would be this. I didn't think we would get so hey. di like beat up. I, I mean, look, it's not exactly for you if it's just Ireland, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because like uh, Silky does pretty well in in the UK, and like, yeah. all these guys do pretty well. In the We're UK, like at European. best 25th in UK in UK major. Well. Re region on internationals too, but uh, um, I mean, like we seen Dimitri got top eight at boss battles before, yeah. you know. So but like, what's scary is Remy isn't even PR apparently. Exactly. I mean, maybe he was PR. Uh, for probably Polish. PR in Oregon. I think they're part of Oregon. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, really. I was talking to him. I, I, I saw a tweet Oregon, that was so. saying like unpiar player for a seed, but I think oh. it's just like <laughs> unranked player. But that could just be post COVID. Right. You know, it, it could, could be, be he's not been active, so he's yeah. unranked. But yeah. Yeah. And he's bringing up the Greninja just oh, to flex him. Yo. Last time I saw this was... He knows this matchup. He knows this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Patience. Time. Patience. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, this, to Michael. this is something we can do. Yeah. Now, last time I saw some counter fix looking grand when they were beating Snook heavily was the unification with Zone versus Snook. Mm. And Snook did beat the PT. Um, right. Or maybe that was winner's finals. Um, so, we'll see here. Yeah. You know, Snook has a bit of a... It's a bit of a Pokemon Slayer, so... See if we make work here. And this is definitely more of a scenario. Like, Snook and Michael play all the time. Michael yeah. being, you know. Um, Iron's best Greninja. Uh, yeah. Really, and really best Greninja. Greninja. I think. Oh, wow. Oh, nah. the extension. Tried to go yeah, for it. I do be Remy's been like, playing a lot more Greninja recently. It's just interesting. They're very different characters. It's yeah. Playing, like, home in. I can see some similarities between the two. Oh, tries oh, okay. to go for the fair almost. Oh, to Down air, yeah. So definitely looking more impressive right now. A big thing as well is that, that Lucas advantage state was causing such problems. Mm. But without that advantage state, especially it's, uh, with the fact that Dara's much more aware of Grinch's advantage and how Grinch gets his value, yeah. I feel like, oh, nice. Oh, great. Uh, that, that's a, that's a matchup here. knowledge check right there. Yeah. No, Grinch's up smash can be pretty inconsistent on platforms um, yeah. at all times. So that's definitely a thing. Oh, oh yeah. no, great. Yeah, he knows how to DI that. He's not getting yeah. caught with this stuff. The things that like Remy's trying to get for, I guess not free, but like just a little cheesy. Yeah. Not getting right now. I mean, why wouldn't you? You haven't dropped a game yeah. all tournament. You can give one up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, oh yeah. that was nice though. Insane. That was clean. Yeah, this is. I don't know. I I, I want to believe, but um. Either way, it's really cool to see what it is like. It's like to see what, what Americans play like. Because I think one thing yeah. you hear a lot. Very nice catch there. Nice. Um, I haven't seen a single American air dodge, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever Wait came with that term.
<laughs> I've never seen him air dodge into a move. That was friend of the scene, Lucrecio. Yeah. The turn. Beautiful turn. Shout out to Lucrecio. It's my, fa new fa my, it's my new favorite thing. Yeah. But yeah, it's, um, I don't know, it's um, it's cool to see how we stack up, especially because, you know, we got experience with a lot of top European players, just like last week at Regen. Yeah. It's cool to see you guys experience against the US and see how we stack up against them, you know? Ooh, oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, nice catch. That's that knowledge. Good patience. Yeah, good patience there. And oh, patience, sir. Patience. Oh, wow. Well, just uh, just waiting there for Dara was really smart. Well, what was it we were saying at Reach again? It's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, like the Luigi, oh yeah, no one plays oh yeah. Luigi, Riley, really, but still. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had, yeah, M do Michael, the Michael Luigi. Did you hear Luigi. me with the, uh, if you're happy and you know it? Oh, yes. Before? I, I, yeah. I, I was playing a set, but I heard it, I was very yeah, much appreciated. Yeah. Nice. Oh, great back there. there. Okay, we got this as game. It's yeah. We get one, baby. We get we one. We get one. We There's get no one. way we don't get one. No, we have to get one. Wait, did he throw you? Yeah, he threw you in Selkie. Yeah, yeah, we need one. We definitely need one. We need one. We need one game. The god needs to believe. Come on, Dara. And you know, when he gets one, we can take another one, maybe. You know? And maybe. maybe you know, and then maybe we take a, a whole set. And maybe a second one? Yeah. Oh, Silky did take a game off. Okay. Sorry. I was wrong. Okay. That's good. That's good. Ooh. But this is looking like Snook could take this one. Yeah. Dara, 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 Dara. Dara. <laughs> No, okay, this is fun. It's comfortable. Yeah, great dash what he's doing, and I think we'll get the Lucas back next game. Yeah. Like he's like, he's aware of his limits now. He's probably trying to get. Dara, 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 dara. Let's great go, job, baby. Everyone. Let's go, baby. Were they already singing it? Cause I didn't hear them. I was just like, <laughs> you know, they sang it. They sang it. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. And here we go. Nice and patience, Dara. Patience. Ninety-five, hundred and six now on the Screw Ninja, and we have Max Rage on the Palu. And yeah, nice dash back there yeah. coming in. The Closing this out here just needs oh, one back yeah, air, back and air. that is it right there. There you go. There it is. There you go, baby. On yeah. the board, baby. On You'll the board, never on the board. beat the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> um, Easy, baby. Easy. That's a cock W Tipperary. <laughs> hey. Could you Easy. imagine if this goes to game 10? Hey, game one, SD. Game two, Schmidman. Schmidman. Game three, Palutena, easy win. Palu game Greninja. Game four. No, it's Palu Greninja. Game four, Palu Lucas, easy win. Easy win. Ooh, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? I believe, Lizzie. Believe. I believe. Oh, I, I don't see Snook pulling out the mid-mid again. No. After what we saw. <laughs> it was a good try, but I think the Palu's doing a lot better. Yeah, and now we got... Oh, yeah, the oh. Lucas. Yeah, this Lucas coming out. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. But you see who's popping his head right now? He's bobbing his head. It's this big snook. Big snook. Big D. Oh. Let's go. Let's go, baby. We're in. Next battle. Game four nice. of this grand finals. Again, snook is in the loser's bracket. So Remy and winners. Snook mm. will have to win two sets to take this. And what a good stage to potentially end the tournament on. Like, yeah. We're really glad we got to see this stage here. Shout out to Jasmine. Shout out to Rappin um, for really making this yeah. as a uh, uh, set uh, Mallow. Oh, yeah. yeah Mallow in general, man. Yeah. Greatest train station on arms. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so. That's, that shield was looking real small there for a second. But oh, it's oh, still oh, looking good right now. i got to say, he's, I'm, I'm pretty impressed what he's doing yeah. right now. Um, oh, nice back air there. Let's see if he can close this out. Oh, gets oh, the healing. And that was a really off. good side magnet, yeah. So Snook is keeping this gently despite the healing. Just trying um, to get a bit more. Like, I, mean, I don't uh, get ahead of myself, but he's looking pretty hot, pretty hot right now. Pretty this hot. is looking good. Like all these back airs are like connecting right now. I and mean, we love oh. when the back airs connect, Kenny. We do we? love a good back air. I do love a nice back air. Oh, nice catches, catches out of shield timing there. I think that's the thing, right? It's not even about what Remy does in um, in neutral. It's what he does like when he when he uses the move on your shield. Yeah. He always knows exactly what to do next. Yeah. Exactly. He has like the after mix up, right? So yeah. he keeps the pressure on. It's kind of a exactly. this, you know. Like, oh, I, I've hit your shield. Okay, well I'm gonna hit your shield with this other move, and yeah. then you can react. You can't like. Yeah. Right. He's it's, like creating like custom multi hits. Yeah. Right? It's, like, it's like the smash alter, right? You can't if you can't punish the move, you gotta push the move after. Yeah. You know? Oh, see, like yeah. narrowed down tilt. 
Yeah. Or Nair Jot. That might have been Nair Jot. I'm not sure. And that pressure is just so good here. And it's not yeah. something you're not necessarily used to in this game. Especially because Iron does a lot of sorties, a lot of oh, characters like Palutena. So a lot of Bowser's. A lot of characters in Iron are like much more single hit characters. You know, like yeah. your Palutena's, your sorties, uh, Bowser's, things like that. So it's, it's cool. To, it's interesting to see this kind of mix -ups. You know, you see these kind of mix ups kind of like Fox and things like that usually. But you don't have many of those in Iron, yeah. unfortunately. Um, oh, nice. nice. That's another stock there. That's but I, I was just saying, like, uh, Remy was like comboing them. Yeah. Like messing Dara out there for a few minutes. A few seconds at least. Yeah, for sure. And you, but you did see Dara close it out with the down throw. And I think you saw Remy's been called out for not dying down throw like, yeah. three times. And Milk Shifty knows it was nerfed. Because he, he obviously stopped playing the game as much. And yeah. I think he might be aware that you can DI it a lot more now. Oh, maybe. But maybe I'm wrong there. This is a good player. He probably knows what he's doing. He, I mean, I imagine, like, he's also downloading. Uh, the pile of matchup as what he's playing. Yeah. He's oh, like, oh, body oh, reflector. Nice. That is good. Yeah, you can do tell Dyer is getting more comfortable with this matchup, you know? Yeah. He seemed a bit lost earlier in the set. You could reflect that freeze as well. Oh, oh. but he just always knows when Dyer's yeah. going to drop shield. It's ridiculous. Yeah, good I have box. to say the fundies on, on this man is, is crazy. Oof. Yeah, just getting out of there. Using Palu's high, highly accelerated jump. Gets up there yeah. so fast. Getting out of the situation. Oh, wow. See? Always aware. Yeah, always aware. He just has a read in these shield timings, and it's so good. Oh. He Try to take Tree Twister, baby. That's an American one for you. <laughs> nice, nice. It's back air. Oh, dash okay. attack. Not going to kill just yet, though. Oh, oh. Okay. Remy doing nothing there. No. Ooh, oh, here, Remy's getting some start. Okay, yeah. thanks for this. Oh. See. Remy's, Remy's max rage now. This is scary. Oh, guess, yeah. yeah. He's being so patient. Right? Remy's really not pulling yeah. the trigger right now. I'm not sure why. I guess he's a bit afraid of trying this. He wants to yeah. close this here now. He wants to make sure it's done. Like He is on, you know, tournament stock right now. Oh. Um, well, Snook is. So, like, if, if he takes a stock, Remy wins. When was the last time Kelly, Remy went neutral, Kelly? I never mind. <laughs> Oh, here's Chris. Uh, that, you see that little... Uh, he's going to win right now. He's going to get an end. Uh, one neutral there. Oh. Okay. S S S S Snook uh, here. One neutral there. Rolling out a shield there to try and avoid... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Hard Snook. punish. That was Big good. Snook. Come on. Ganna Jr. Oh, oh. Oh, That's not this, gonna this kill, could be bad. He got the odd perfect out of that, uh, that yeah. zero confirm. Oh, oh. that could... Oh, this God. This scary. Oh. Okay. Oh, please. The PK freeze doesn't hit there. Oh, oh! What was he doing? Wow. The hardest oh. thing in his life. Remy's oh, smelling no. the blood in the water now. Remy's He's smelling it. Can oh, the up there. Living, though. Thank God living. he's living. Max Rage now on Dara. And Remy not a kill percent just yet. This is going to be tough. Oh, my goodness. That almost killed. And this is looking tough. This oh. is going to be really tough here for Dara. Nice drift back from Snook. That's oh, it. that's it. Remy takes and, yeah. it. And the American Invader. Takes Aslan Arena, July edition. Hey, well done. Well done. Free you. Free Let's you. No. <laughs> Free, Free you. you. No. no. Oh. Um, Remy, I mean, uh, props to him. Like, he's feeling tired from all the travel and all that. And, and he still then. kicked her ass, Kenny. And he, he still, still kicked, kicked her ass. Like, just really well. Yeah. Um, Very impressed. Very cool to see a top US I, player. Did Remy over. just say I've never lost to a Palu? Remy. Did you just say I've never lost to a Palu? He's never lost to a Palu. Which means that, like, yeah, I mean, no wonder he beat Chag. Never lost so to a Palu. He, so he beat Chag, third best Palu in the world, yeah. and now he's beaten the first and second best Palus oh in the world. Snook and Salki, fair play. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's it. But um, That was rough. A good turn, I think. Oh, the amiibo. The lads are trying amiibo to get stream. amiibo on stream right now, <laughs> and Jay, AJ's having none of it. And no, a, we're going home. No, we're AJ's going home. home. Okay, I'm going home. I'm gonna go get dinner, have some food, at home or with us. At food, at food, at home. Sorry. When am I gonna see you next, Kelly? Uh, bigger fish? You going as one? Are you going? Are you going cock and big, Bigger fish on Saturday or Sunday? I believe it's next weekend. Yeah, next what weekend. I know. Um, so bigger fish next weekend. Bigger fish gentlemen. next weekend in two weeks. Uh, I'll be holding a little Smash Fest. Ooh. Little, little Smash Fest. Uh, Sean Nace. Sean Nace. Uh, try to catch that on uh, the Critical Hammer stream. Don't tell, don't tell AJ. 
Um, and uh, yeah, that's nice. it. Nice. And we also have Car this is on an hour spot. I think we get an hour to here. Um, Cork oh. Monthly is going to be on the 13th, such as, um, as well. Bye so bye. that's nothing to look forward to. And I'm sure we'll have a Smashing Borders at some point this month as well. Yep. And then I believe the next Az one is going to be the at 27th. Yeah, 27th. 27th, 27th, 27th sounds right. 27th, yeah. So 27th. And then, of course, the, the big one, guys, it's only like two months away. We've got Celtic Throwdown coming on the 29th, 24th, 24th, 24th <laughs> of September. And um, Jim, let me remind you that Orion, 13th at Genesis, Orion, Beater of Cosmos, Orion, is on it for CT, ladies and gentlemen. Top three fans, I believe. So that's going to be exciting. That's going to be crazy. So it gets on it for CT. Loads of people come in. If you're a fan of uh, Smash or, you know, other FGC games, yeah. do come in. Street uh, Fighter, Guilty out. Gear, yeah. Tekken, all these things. They're all, all super here. All We're of those games. Doubles at CT this year, which is going to be very oh, exciting. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, Probably not multi. I don't know. Multiverse is a big maybe right now because it's it is like hard to set up. It is a pain. In, yeah. In, in the bump. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. But um. Yeah. All right. Lots to look forward to. So, I've been Hammer, and I've been VKC, and we'll see you soon. Bye.